Sorry, I started my stream completely not ready today. Oh my god. Oh, I'm here, I promise. Hi, hi. How is everyone doing today? Huh. I am here, I promise. I'm sorry. Oh, time for just care. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to start my stream so late. Woo. Thank you so much for the six months, decoy. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I got my hopium machine back. <laughs> we we living on the hopium machine today. <clears throat> Papa, wait, what about my camera? What about it? Oh my god. Anyway, I don't know why this is so loose. This is bugging me. I'm sorry. <laughs> my streamer problems. Hi. I hope y'all are doing well today. I have completely forgotten every character in this game, just so everyone's aware. Don't even remember the main protagonist's name. We're doing great. We're doing great. I just remember the character quirks and stuff, but like hell if I remember anyone's fucking name, dude. <laughs> This is gonna go, why is this so loose? This is so frustrating! Like, this should not be that loose. I'm trying to tighten it, oh my god. Oh, Gunta! Aw. I'm not 160p, get out of here. Lena, not 160p. You're 160p. Yeah, I do have a humidifier. We've been we've been keeping it in the bedroom because I feel like that's where my throat has had the most problems. Is like sleeping and breathing in dry air all the time. So we've we've kept it in the bedroom and going overnight. But it's really dry out here now, so I had to move it to to this room. <clears throat> yeah, you better be 4K as shit. I cannot get this thing to not be loose. I I, I give up. I give up. It's not terrible, but like, it's really bugging me. Sorry. <sighs> Do I have a favorite? I can't have a favorite if I don't remember any, any, any anybody's name. <laughs> like, fuck. I truly don't remember anything. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lost cause, dude. All I know is that somebody's gonna die. That's all I know. My sewing machine, it's not on fire. No! How did you quit when you... How does it look like it's on fire? It's not on fire! <laughs> Do I know your favorite? That's the question. Um, Hope, your favorite is... I'm trying to think if I met a character that's like high on hopium yet. <laughs> Uh... Oh, your favorite. Oh, that's wait. This is easy. Your favorite is definitely the guy that doesn't remember his ultimate talent. I told you I remember names a lot. I think it was like Ran Toro. That guy, that guy's your favorite. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, Ran... Ran Toro, Ran Taro, whatever. Whatever! Ran Taro, yeah, that guy. I remembered someone. Yay! Look, I remember... I only remember important characters, you see? Ran Taro is an important character. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. See, I got him, I got him! I know the important ones! Um, uh, the detective is, uh... <clears throat> Shuchi. That doesn't sound right. Shichi, Shuchi, Shuchi. Shu. I got this. I'm not reading chat because I got this. Hold on. <laughs> Shu. I know it starts with a sh. 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 I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard. Sh. 
<coughs> Shuchi. Shuchi? No. It has more syllables than that. Shuchi. 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 God, can I just call him like the boy that has an awful hat? Shuichi. Shuichi! Oh! Oh, it just came to me! Ah! Shuichi, that's gotta be it, right? Please tell me I'm right. Sheesh! <laughs> no! Not that! No! Shuichi! That guy! Yeah! Ding, 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 ding! I'm a genius! Shuichi. Arrow, thank you for the 19 months. I appreciate it. Koro, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> I should probably play the game because I, uh, I'm i not going to remember anything unless I start playing. I'm really trying to remember stuff. Oh, if I do remember anything, it's that Monokuma sus. Oh, what a surprise. Um, No, uh, I remember it sticking out to me. His first motive was... Uh, the first kill is free, as in, like, no class trial. But I immediately was sus of that because he died. I don't know if that makes that null and void. Uh, he kind of didn't clarify the fact. Because, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm sus on that. I'm sus on that. He said the first death is free. But does that count himself? Because he technically, you know, one of the Monokuma plushies got, you know, beaten up. So I'm thinking that might be a caveat. <laughs> I think it's a bait. So I don't know. I'm, I'm a little sus about that. Okay. That being said, I'm just going to get into playing video games today. All right. My brain, head, empty. Ugh. I need to... Okay, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I really need to remember these characters. Uh, report card. That's our mnemonic heads. <clears throat> oh, Kaede! That's her name. Kaede. Kurumi is the maid. Himiko is the mage. Magician. Maki, you're the ultimate child care. I don't remember her. Maki. Tenko's the annoying one. Sugumi is the cool one. Angie creeps me the absolute fuck out. I feel like she's gonna go on a killing spree. She's gonna she's fucking insane, dude. She's gonna she's gonna go like kill three people if she's if she can. She's gonna murder. She fucking scares me. Miu! I liked her. She's cute. <laughs> I like her energy. That's what I like about her. She's got that good energy. <gasps> Shuichi! See, I remember him, of course. Uh, Kayato was the ultimate astronaut. Ryoma, the ultimate uh, tennis uh, pro. Rantaro, the sussy boy. Gunta, the precious boy, and Keikaku Kokichi, the chaos gremlin. I remember the chaos gremlin, Kokichi. And then Kore Ki Kyo, we call him Kyo, ultimate anthropologist. And Kibo, this is Nagito 2.0. Hey, I remember that guy, Kibo. Right, anyway, moving on. <clears throat> Yeah, let's leave. I like Chaos Gremlin. <clears throat> Did I have a prediction on who killed whom? I feel like someone's dead. I feel like someone's dead right now. <clears throat> Thank you so much for the 10 months, Jayu. I appreciate it. Oh, I have free time. That's what we're doing right now. Oh, free time! Oh shit, who do, who do I want to hang out with? <gasps> oh fuck. Oh fuck. <gasps> I start off my day with some... 
Oh no! <gasps> I can hang out with Gunta! Gunta's so cute! I could hang out with Gunta! I could hang out with, um... <gasps> oh god. So many decisions. Rantaro, I could... Why is Rantaro in the library? Oh wait, that is him, right? That's sus. Sus! Um... Kibo? Oh god, I wanna hang out with... I wanna hang out with so many people! I want to hang out with Gunta, and Rantaro, and Miu, and Sh Shuichi, and, uh... Oh, Gunta. And Sugumi is cute, too? Fuck. I don't know who to hang out with. This is, this is stressful. This is stressful. I feel like I gotta know about the hat. Maybe I should hang out with Shuichi. Just so I can get hat lore. I, I have to know why he wears the hat. Maybe maybe we'll get hat lore. Let's go for the hat lore. <laughs> I need to know! That's true. <clears throat> there are a lot of weird things around here. Maybe we should investigate more. Yeah, let's spend time with Shuichi. I don't think there'd be there. Uh, they'd uh, they'd be there for no reason. You could really help me out, Kaede. I'd like to hear from a different perspective. <clears> oh! <throat> oh no! Do I have gifts? Oh shit! Shit! I forgot. Do I have anything that I can give you? Oh shit! Ah! Panic! I know I got something, but I don't know if I can give it. Yeah, this. Uh, hey! You want this ultimate academy badge? Fuck! <laughs> we fucked up! We fucked up! No! We're worst ending! God damn it! I forgot to use. I forgot to go to gotcha. No! Damn it! I gotta go gotcha. Okay, okay, we're not fucking up this time. We're going to get gotcha. <laughs> Can't believe I fucked up. Where's the gotcha room? Months of being sub to Crystal, am I cool yet? You were always cool, Alexander. Thank you for the mm -hmm. for the 19 months. I appreciate it. How do I go to that? Okay, that one. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. Maki, you scared me. Um, gotcha. School store. Oh, there's a lot of back seating already. <gasps> yikes. That's a yikes. Chat, what the fuck you doing? I get more gotcha coins in here. There's nothing to destroy. Oh, that's lame. I I I, I was a little desperate for more coins. the VODs up before I do like the next stream so I tried to get the v3 stream that we did on Tuesday up on the VOD channel before today 
But sometimes, whenever I export videos to YouTube, sometimes it uploads really fast. Sometimes it takes like a week. For some reason, the HD is still processing for it. So like I technically could launch the video, but it's stuck at 360p right now. I don't know why the export is taking so long. <laughs> So, <laughs> sorry that that first stream is not up yet. I don't have control over that. It's been three days. I literally uploaded it three days ago and it is still processing the HD version. Yikes. Non-alcoholic drink of immortality? Excuse me? <laughs> what kind of fucking, what? Rock hard ice cream? What the fuck? Home planet, what the fuck? <laughs> what are these items? Boba! <gasps> Jelly balls! What is a milk puzzle? What the fuck is that? What is this? Blanket? That's a coat. This game really out here like pulling is a hot dog a sandwich kind of thing. Coats are just wearable blankets. Isn't that just clothing? Isn't clothing just a wearable blanket? Keeps you warm. Oh my god, no, the ears. Get out of here! We're not having these discussions! No! I'm gonna ban you, Lena! Are there just like no presents in this game? Seems like a lot less. Shit. Fully automated. Oh. <laughs> I hate you guys. I hate you all. Hand knit sweater. Oh, that's so cute. Is mayonnaise? It is. Y'all. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm losing brain cells. <laughs> it is too early for these questions. Bitch, I just woke up. And I'm having like an existential crisis.
<laughs> Chad deserves to be the first victim. Oh. Who would commit the murder? Me? But then I die because I would get caught. I can't be the murderer. Suspect me, it's not me. It's not. What? Oh, my God. Y'all make me question my life. Matter of fact, I already broke Monokuma's no more than kill two kills at a time today. <laughs> Savage. Wait, you can't admit something like that, then you're gonna die! Photoshop software. What? I'll actually take that. That shit's expensive. I love this buggy. What? the 245 bits i appreciate it weather cock of what <laughs> jd thank you so much for the two months i appreciate it wait why are we roaching am i supposed to go away okay
Kevin! I have so many gifts now. If only Shuichi got one. Rip. <laughs> I left because chat chased me away. Y'all were roaching. I felt like I had to leave or something. Oh, new. Oh, they were executing you. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I knew that. Oh, that's so cute! 69%, it came and gone. It came, it came and gone, came and went. Yeah, there you go. It's gone. It's dead. Cufflinks. Kinky. Oh, I don't have any more coins. Okay. Now we can go see Shuichi and give him a gift. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go do that. No more mono coins for now. You know, we'll have our time. Can't tell if that means they're in the dormitory or outside. Yeah, we already at 73% after the first round. We might be able to get all the things. Maybe. Okay, I guess they're in the dormitory. Kyo is here. Does that mean like Shuichi's in his room? Shuichi, get out of your room! Hey! The time limit is nighttime two days from now. Honestly, I think it will all it will come all too soon. It will. Okay. Now what do I give him? Okay. Uh Uh I like this gyoza in the shape of your face. Maybe he likes a hand knit sweater. Maybe I give him cufflinks? Hmm. I'm a picture book artist. Oh, pocket tissues. I'm sure you, you like, I feel like you can't go wrong with giving pocket, pocket, <laughs> pocket book tissue, pocket. Pocket tissues. I'm, I'm giving it. Um, you like it? He'll cherish it. He'll cherish the tissues. Shuichi, what does an ultimate detective like you do most of the time? Uh, what do I do? Hey. Do you wear a cap, smoke a pipe, and use a magnifying glass to investigate crime scenes? Do you say stuff like, indeed, most intriguing? <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Hey. Uh, I'm not old enough to be smoking a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that classic old fashioned detective look is pretty outdated, huh? I suppose so. Yeah, I don't do much investigating either. Um, really? Then what kind of cases do you get? Do you spend most of your time doing nothing? No. Uh, actually. My uncle's detective office is actually fairly popular, so we receive lots of cases. 
but a lot of those cases are small jobs infidel infidelity cases background checks sounds pretty routine infidelity cases sound intense sounds boring but you still work hard doesn't sound boring infidelity cases sound intense huh well honestly there are times when it gets pretty hard I'm sure he's seen some pretty rough things. Hey. Are you all right, Chuichi? You're not worried out, uh, wor weirded out by romance or women, right? Well, uh, no. Uh, just because you see it happen a lot, that doesn't mean cheating is okay. Huh? Never. I would never do something so dishonest. Chuichi's frantically shaking his head. Yet, yeah, yeah, he doesn't seem like the type who would do that. Hey. Where did that come from? What other cases do you get? Uh, um... The other cases are just stuff like finding runaways and stuff. Uh, oh, that could be a that could be part of an even bigger case. Hey. Uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but those cases are rarely connected to crimes. It's my job to find them before it comes to that, and it's after that they they found that they are found. That's the hard part. Um, after they're found, okay. it's necessary to follow up with both the client and the runaway to make sure all is well. Detectives have to follow up with them, too? Well. Have to follow up with them, too? Well, perhaps not all detectives do that, but it was my uncle's policy. And it's a policy I agree with. People have reasons for running away, so the case is all only closed when all parties are happy. That's right. That's true. If you don't take care of the problem, they'll obviously try to run away again. I didn't know detectives were so considerate. Or is Shuichi just a special case? Considerate. Are they all considerate? No. After parting ways with Shuichi, I returned to my room. Dinga donga binga bongo. Oh god. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. So. As you can see, Mono Kid has had a little too much honey. I see. He was really, really happy about Daddy's return. <laughs> now let's play some darts. Mono Dam B can be the dartboard. Let's go bowling. Mono Dam can be the ball. Yeah, but. Uh, by the way, which announcement were we making? <laughs> the nighttime announcement. What? It's already it's already that late that we should go to bed soon. Bedtime or sign. Uh. It's already nighttime. At this rate, the time limit will expire before we know it. But I won't lose. I won't give up. Because I want to see everyone's smiles just a little longer. I want to spend time with them, laughing and talking like normal teenagers. So I won't give up. No, oh, no. Oh, God. I'll teach you guys how to win over a lady. First, you gotta give her a present. Ladies can't resist presents. But you can't give her any present. It's gotta be a present suited to her tastes. And it's gotta be a handmade present, too. So it looks like you put thought into it. For example, the kind of, the kind of lady who's into strong men would love a handmade. Pro wrestling group. What? She'll love being surrounded by macho dudes and you'll make money off the wrestlers too. If enough wrestlers get popular, then it might be good to host a big event. And after they've, they're done beating up each other, beating up each other, they could fight over, fight. They could fight other pro wrestling groups. Give it a shot and I'm positive you'll win her heart. Just in case it's not obvious, please don't. Oh god. Rise and shine or shine. This is an announcement. It is now 8 a.m. Bono Kid really drank too much honey. How long is he gonna keep sleeping? Ah. By the way, father time, father's time limit expires at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. The 
time limit ends tomorrow night. Shuichi is gambling on that, which means we have to watch the library wh while time is running out. Shouldn't we start preparing then? I'm getting worried. Uh. Oh, Shuichi, perfect timing. She's just assuming that Shuichi is at the door. Hold on. I gotta destroy my room for mono coins. This is very important. I don't know if I could get the table. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm getting the door. Shuichi, I wanted to ask you something, but as soon as I answered the door... Is on the scene. Too bad it's me! <laughs> it hurts my heart to be screamed at by a young girl. Hmm. But it hurts so good all the same! Oh, what do you want? Hey, um... I figured I'd come to let you know that some of the research labs are open! Huh? The ultimate research labs? Those classrooms tailored to our 16's ta talents? Yeah. Your lab is finally all set up, so you can go in whenever you want. Thrills, chills, now go to the ultimate pianist lab right away and compose a murderous melody. A murderous melody? What are you even talking about? And thing. Are you going to invite me inside or for tea or what? Uh, no, of course not. Get out of my room. He, I slammed the door in Monokuma's face with all my might. Aww. Jeez, that was super annoying. Jeez. God, how annoying. Jeez. Jeez, enough already. You're bothering me. Ah, oh. uh, of course it would happen. That's awkward. Uh, I'm sorry. Sh should I come back later? Uh, oh, Shuichi, sorry. Just ignore what I said. I wanted to talk to you too, Shuichi. I was pl wondering if we needed anything for the plan. Uh, um, That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I might know how to keep watch on the library. Huh? Weren't we planning on hiding inside the library and keeping watch from there? Hmm. If we did that, we risk the mastermind running into us. It's safer to watch from further away. Hmm. We also need hard evidence to convince everyone of the mastermind's identity. So that's why I thought it might be a good idea to set up cameras. Okay. I found some cameras and security sensors in the warehouse. With some modification, we could combine the two and have cameras that will detect movement and take pictures. If we set up a few in the library, we can capture proof of the mastermind. If we don't have to be in the library for this to work, and we don't have to be in the library for this to work, so we are less likely to get caught. I see. That's a really good idea, but do you know how to modify a camera? That's... Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know how. That's why I wanted to ask Miu, the ultimate inven inventor, to help mm -hmm. us. Oh yeah, that's true. But she is pretty uh, intimidating, so I'm having trouble talking to her by myself. That's right. Oh, in that case, we should ask her together. Uh, um, I saw Miu heading to the dining hall. I think she'll still be there. Is that all right? Uh, but we should be careful about what we tell her. She might be it. She might be it. As in, Miyu could might be the mastermind? I doubt it, but... Yeah. Well, if that's what you think. Miyu being the mastermind? Nope. Definitely not. Wait, I can't teleport? I gotta fucking walk! What is this video game? Uh, um... Sorry. I promised I would help you out. Come on, let's head to the dining hall. Oh, he said sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Don't make me feel bad. It's okay. I don't want to be healthy. I don't want to walk. So much effort. You think I play video games to walk around? Who's down here? Oh, hey, you. You creep me out. Talk, motherfucker. Hey. Yeah. Morning, Rantaro. Oh. Good morning, Rantaro. Uh, actually, may I ask you a question? What's wrong? What's up? Being questioned by the ultimate detective is making me kind of nervous. Uh, um... No, well, it's not. It's nothing bad. <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing. What's up, Shuichi? Hey. 
I wanted to know what you meant by the ultimate hunt. That's right. Oh yeah, I wanted to know about that too. <laughs> I told you, it's nothing. Just forget about it. But, no. Look, like I told you before, I was just a little confused. Not being able to remember my own talent is stressing me out. Never mind. Really, I would appreciate it if you didn't ask me about it anymore. Sorry. I understand. Sorry if it seemed like I was interrogating you. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry that I, that I'm not much help. Well then, I'll see you later. Shuichi. Do you think Rantaro is really just confused? Could it be? I don't know, but he certainly doesn't want to talk about it. We shouldn't ask him any more questions. I see. We should be focusing on exposing the mastermind. Rantaro scares me. He's too sus. Everything about him is sus. <gasps> Kibo! You're cute. If I can... Uh, it, hold on. Okay. Uh, morning, Kibo. Yeah. Good morning. Your timing is impeccable. I have something I wish to ask you both. Huh? Well, what is it, Kibo? Well, then. What are your thoughts on this door? No matter how hard I try, it will not open. Um, well, it doesn't seem like an exit. That's right. What do you think is on the other side of this wall? Hey, hey. Why don't you just fly over and see for yourself? Huh? Whoa. Hmm. Kokichi. <laughs> Come on, I want to see you fly. Robots just have jetpacks or whatever under their feet, right? Uh, what? You don't? <laughs> no, I don't. Have a dick? Please stop! What are you talking about? Ah, uh, yeah, if you had a jetpack, then you could have flown over the wall and called for help! Oh, man. Jeez, you're just a huge disappointment, Kibo! Chaos Gremlin. Chaos Gremlin. Um, Kibo? I'm fine, just please, please just let me, let it be. I don't like sci-fi functions like flight. But aren't you already pretty sci-fi? Oh, man. Kokichi, where the fuck did he come from, though? I don't want to know. Oh my god, Drift, hello. <laughs> Chaos Gremlin strikes again. Uh what are we gonna do with this man? Keo, you also creep me out. Hi. Uh, morning, Keo. Oh. Good morning, Kaide, Chuichi. Have you come for breakfast? If so, Hirumi said that she would make anything you ask. So why not just why not do just that? Uh, I feel bad if I made her serve me. I see. I yes. had the same thought, so I declined, but it seemed to make her more restless. If left on her own, I'm guessing she would prepare enough food for everyone, regardless. I see. I see. Kurumi really likes taking care of people. <laughs> it's not something you can describe in such simple language. Her devotion to her duties is, as a maid is extremely impressive. Despite knowing her end may come tomorrow, she does not so much as flinch. This, too, is beautiful. Rationality, poise, even in the face of certain looming death. It is exactly as I surmised. I can bear witness to the beauty of humanity here. <laughs> um. Bye! Uh, morning, Maki! <sighs> morning. Huh? Is she in a bad mood? Heading to the dining hall? You guys better brace yourselves, then. Why? Because Miu's there. Huh? Miu? I understand. She's always weird, but this morning, she's be she's been even weirder than usual. Since our re research lab opened, she's been pretty excited to tinker with her machines. I can totally see Miu bragging to Maki about that. I see. So Miu's lab is open, too. Monokuma told me this morning that mine, that mine mutt was open. Hmm. And what about you? I'm not yet. I suppose only I suppose only Miu and Kaede's labs have been prepared. Is that so? Oh. 
Uh, um. Sounded like Maki was in a bad mood. Hmm. I think Mia was bragging about her lab being open. But I don't think that would bother Maki since she seems so level-headed. I guess she heard something that she really did not want to hear. What are we walking into? And we're going to ask her for a favor? Uh, I don't feel good. Uh-oh. Mio is sitting down looking like her usual haughty self. Seems like she's alone. Oh god. Miu. Hey. Morning, Miu. If it isn't flat chested Kaede, what do you and you per your pathetic tits want? I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. Um, um I have a small favor to ask of you, Miu. Right, Shuichi? You're right. Yeah. Actually, there is something that we want you to make. We found cameras and security sensors in the warehouse and, uh... Do you think you can make cameras that detect movement and take pictures? As in, it would automatically take a picture if the motion sensor detects something? Huh? The hell are you gonna use that for? Uh, um... uh keep... to keep Monokum under surveillance. We might learn important information. Yeah. Yeah, exactly that. Please, Miu, we need your help to get everyone out of here. Oh, I see. I get it now. Bitch. My answer is no. Huh? You know. You plebs got a lot of nerve asking me for a favor. <laughs> Were you grubs in a past life? Is that why you don't understand basic human courtesy? Fuck all y'all. I'll forgive you just this once. Now get out of here before I whip out the bug spray. Without thinking, my body moved on its own. Oh, bitch slap? You bitch slapping her? Oh, fuck. Please, Mew. Oh, man, that's the opposite of a bitch slap. I really want to get out of here with everyone. And to do that, I need your help. So, please, I'm begging you. Kaede. Shuichi? Oh, shit, Shuichi too! I'm begging you, too. We could really use your help, Mew. Please? W what the hell? Quit bowing to me. Bow down to no, me, you peasants! Bow I'm gonna down. Like this until you say you'll do it, Mew. I'll do it for however long it takes. Okay. <laughs> Who the hell uses bowing as a threat? <laughs> Fine, I'll do it, okay? Damn, it worked! What? Really? Okay. I grasped Miu's hand. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, I owe you. Even after we escape, I'll owe you forever and ever and ever! I, I I'm know. not doing this for you guys my research lab in the garden just opened up so i was already thinking about checking it out um, so can i have my hand back now because this is starting to creep me out uh, sorry i was just so happy but are your hands always this clammy uh, what did i do anyway bring me the security sensors and cameras before i change my mind I'll be waiting in my garden lab in the garden. Uh, we research lab in the garden. Oh, the garden lab in the garden. <laughs> Miu wobbled out of the dining hall as if she had been thrown off balance. <sighs> Thank God. I'm glad we managed to convince her. Then... Let's go to the warehouse to get the cameras and sensors right away. Do I have to walk there? Oh, wait. The warehouse is literally right behind me. Never mind. We're fine. But still, this is right across the hall. Hmm? Uh, give me a sec.
All right, you roaches. <laughs> uh, this place is huge. I hope we can find all the things that we're looking for. That's. Don't worry, I know where the camera and cameras and sensors are. I'll go get them. You can wait here. Yeah. Oh, are you sure? After he said that, Chuichi walked to the back of the warehouse. It's a high jump bar. Cool, I guess. It doesn't matter, though, because we're getting out of this place. There's a wooden box. Are these iron balls? They look like they're for shot putt, but I picked one up to see if it was uh, if it was as heavy as it looked, and it was. The athletes who have to hurl these things are pretty impressive. Hmm. Kaede, what are you doing? <gasps> oh, Shuichi, done already? Okay. Yeah, I've got the cameras. I think three should be enough. Huh? Disposable cameras? Will these work? Uh, uh... Uh, that's all they had, but if they work, it, so it should be fine. There's also a photo developing solution here, so we don't have to worry about that. Hmm. Well, if you're fine with them, well. these three cameras should be okay. Also, here's a security sensor. With this sensor, when this sensor picks up movement, it triggers this receiver to make a sound. We should get three of these as well. I see. As huge as this warehouse is, I didn't expect it to have security sensors in stock. Oh, do you want me to carry the cameras? I can put them in my backpack. I only have my music sheets and a spare vest, so there's still a lot of room inside. Yeah. All right, let's go talk to Miyu. As I took the three disposable cameras from Shuichi, I suddenly stopped. Will these cameras really work? Even if we take pictures of the mastermind and persuade everyone, what will we do after that? The mastermind could just smirk and order the Exosols to attack everyone. Can we really protect everyone with this plan? Will we really be able to escape this place? Hmm. Kaede, is something wrong? We need to go before Miyu changes her mind. Shuichi was already at the door of the warehouse waiting uh. for me. Oh, sorry! I shoved the things in my- I was holding him into my backpack and ran after him. Then, All right, let's go to Miyu's lab. I saw it in the courtyard. Oh, you mean the large building in the garden at the bottom of the stairs? Hmm. hmm. Up until now, our research labs have been in just normal classrooms. Well. That seems all right, doesn't it? I gotta walk there. God damn it. <sighs> all this walking. So I'm walking in my video game. Oh, God. All of these people scare me. Looks like a castle gate. What's past here? Um, that's actually Sonia's castle. Little do we know that Sonia is actually also here. I mean, she's a princess, so her castle gotta be somewhere. She's just here, you know. Oh god, you. Chaos Gremlin, hello. How exciting! I guess that building over there is Mew's lab! I saw Mew run over there earlier. She was all sweaty and had a total creeper smile. You are just, uh... You're something.
Right after I knocked, the door violently swung open. Trashy skank. You're fucking late! How dare you waste precious seconds of my time! Oh, looks like she's back to normal. Fuck all y'all. Well, don't keep my golden brain waiting. Give me what you got. Okay, it's just these, but... I took out the three cameras from my backpack and handed them to Miu. What was that? <laughs> disposable cameras? Hmm. Are disposable cameras too difficult to modify for you? Huh? Huh? Do you ask bird watchers if they know how to gawk at dumbass birds? Of course I can do it. Piece of cake. Yeah. Here are the security sensors. Oh. So you want me to use these sensors to make the cameras take pictures automatically, right? Uh, um... I was thinking the camera should could be triggered by the security sensor. As in, if the sensor detects movement, the receiver goes off and the shutter activates. That's how I'd like it to work, if possible. After I heard that, I whispered into Shuichi's ear. What are you going to use that for? That's... I'm going to set it up to the moving uh, uh, up on the moving bookcase. That way we can keep watch from anywhere as long as we have the receiver with us. If someone moves the bookcase, the receiver will let us know, right? And the camera connected to the sensor will take a picture of whoever moves the bookcase moved the bookcase. You mother Hey! What are you two whispering about? Is that alright? I wrote down the details here. Hmm. Two cameras with built-in security sensors that will take photos automatically. And a third cam a camera that will trigger the sensor receiver as it automatically takes a photo. Sure. How soon do you need these? Uh, um... Can you make them by tomorrow morning? Shut up! Of course I can! You could you could tie me up and drip hot wax on me and I'd still finish in time. <laughs> I think I like her. With that bold declaration, Miu slammed the door in our faces. Did she just reveal some of her kinks to us? Of course she did. Anyway, I think this will do it. We just have to wait for Miu to finish. Um, Kaede, what's wrong? No. Nothing. I was just thinking about how amazing you are for coming up with this plan, Shuichi. Huh? Huh? You know? Honestly, when I first met you, I didn't think you would be that reliable. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> but look at me now, relying on you like you're Sherlock Holmes or something. Uh, okay. uh yeah. Okay, so she's into that. Oh my god, y'all are taking notes. <laughs> we went our separate ways and returned to our rooms. <laughs> Free time! Okay, I can't do Shuichi again, right? Okay, our options are gonna be Gunta. I'll throw in Sugumi in there. Rantaro. Fuck it, I can't resist the man. Rantaro it is. Hold on. Oh god, I have a little bit of drift. I don't care what anybody says, this is the real gameplay. Why? But why? Okay. is so bad. <laughs> How do you fuck up gameplay this bad? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> okay, now I can talk to you. Wait, can I, can I that desk? Okay, no, okay. Hi, Rantaro! Oh yeah, your lab opened up, right? I wonder if I'll ever find my lab. If that happens, I'll know my talent. Should I spend time with Rantaro? Mmm, fine. 
Ana. Hey. I want to try finding my lab, even though I know I probably won't find it. If it's not too much trouble, would you help me? Spend some time searching around the school with Rantaro. I don't trust you. All right. Would you like some boba? How about cake? I feel like you can't go wrong with like giving someone cake, right? It's both healthy and vegetarian friendly. What? Okay, well, take some cake. Thank you very much. This looks really valuable. Are you sure you wouldn't want me to have it? I'll get you something special one day, too. I have some pretty rare things myself. Hey. He's gonna give me his underwear. Kaede, would you like to have some tea and chat for a bit? And here I am, sitting across from Rantaro, drinking tea with him. I wonder... Hey. Hey, are you hitting on me? No. No, I'm not trying to hit on you. I guess people assume I'm a sleazy guy because of the way I look, but I'm not. Right. Besides, would you like to have some tea? What kind of old school pickup line is that? You think so? <sighs> but maybe it's so old school that it's looped around and become cool again. <laughs> eh, yeah, maybe. How should I put it? Although, it is true that I wanted to spend time with you. I'm surrounded by strong personalities. I like them, but it's a tad overwhelming at times. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the ultimate students here are pretty unique. Uh, oh, but I think Shuichi is pretty normal. Yeah, that's true. Because he, But he's a detective. Could be hiding his real personality, you know? I understand. But, but he's reliable in tough situations. That's not so bad, is it? That's right. True, but the sort of situation where you might need a reliable detective would be... No. Nah, it's nothing. By the way, who's the most unique person here in your eyes? Oh my god. Kyo, Kibo, or Miu? I mean, okay, he's asking me the most unique. I would say Kibo. Uh, I'll go Miu just because I like her. Um. That's right. Yeah, Miu's talent is beyond understanding for ordinary people like us. How should I put this? But I understand her thought process. She likes to be the one on top. On top? <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to make a joke. Actually, of course, I'm just guessing she's a top. You know? You seem pretty composed, Rantaro. Where did that come from? Because... From how you observe everyone and make rational judgments about their personalities. I think so think so? Yeah, how do I put this? It's like he's already used to this kind of situation. But that's a weird way to put it. There's no way he could be used to any of this. How should I put this? I guess I feel more relaxed around you. I also, I almost feel normal. Oh, no. But don't misunderstand. I mean normal in a good way. <laughs> okay, I get it. He still scares me. I don't know what to think of Mr. Randaro, man. Nighttime won't start for a while. Yay! More free time! Hell yeah. I cannot get that table. We have so much free time. Okay. Do I go Kibo? Gunta? Tsugumi? Hmm. I feel like I should go hang out with Gunta, you know?
Junta! Hi! What would true gentlemen do in time like this? Should I spend time with Gunta? Absolutely! Oh. You! Thank you for the three months! I appreciate it! I spent some time trying to cheer Gunta up. Yay! Now what do I give as a present to Gunta? He likes bugs. I don't have any of that. I have a monkey's paw. <laughs> Wait, a planetarium machine that can project the cosmos onto your bedroom walls when it's time for bed. Whoa, that's kind of... That's something, ain't it? Okay, I feel like, um... Gunta, do you like bunny apples? Often used as bait for certain animals and insects. I don't know if you would like or dislike that, but I'm gonna try it. Wow. Gunta think bug friends will like this. Oh, yay. Kaede likes bugs too. Gunta's so happy. Um. Kaede, you like music. Of course. I'm the ultimate pianist after all. Hey. Gunta like music too. Huh? Oh, really? What kind of music do you like? Gunta. Bug songs that Gunta bug songs that Gunta's favorite. Uh. Mm. Gunta think Kaede probably like bug songs. I'd rather not talk about bugs, but maybe I could talk about crickets or something. Hey. In Gunta forest, lots of big bugs. They real good singers. Big bugs, scary looking, but make pretty songs. I don't really want to hear about bugs. I'm sorry, Gunta, but I'm gonna change the subject. Yeah, that's right. Um, don't you think music is great for changing the mood? Huh? Oh yeah. You're right. Fun music make Gunta happy too. When no can sleep, Gunta take off clothes, play music, then can sleep all night long. Huh? You sleep naked? Mm. Gunta learned to sleep naked in forest. No can sleep good in clothes. I don't think it's very gentlemanly to sleep naked. Huh? Really? Um, what? That's just how I am. That's just how I imagine a gentleman. What? Not good. Gunta want everyone to see him as gentlemen. If Kaede say it's not good, Gunta not do it anymore. Anything else you think ungentlemanly? Hmm. Kaede has crossed a line here. Anything else ungentlemanly? Please tell Gunta what you think is most important to be true gentlemen. <laughs> uh, your state of mind? You know? Huh? State of mind? Yeah. When I imagine a gentleman, I see someone who's nice, earnest, and polite. To me, a gentleman is someone who sincerely has the, all those qualities, you know? Mm. Yes, Gunta thinks so too! But Gunta not know exactly what to do. Um, well, I suppose. What? But Gunta can be nice to people. Gunta can be serious. Gunta doing his best. Gunta doing all he can. <laughs> hey. Kaede, you okay to talk some more with Gunta? Gunta wants you to tell him when he's not being gentleman right. Now the man's not gonna sleep naked! Why is that any of our business? I spent some time with Gunta trying to figure out what a gentleman is. But I feel like I was only bringing out more of his wild side. He still has a long way to go before he becomes a gentleman. Sleeping naked has nothing to do with that! <laughs> what? Kaede, you're killing me. 
Ding a donga bang a bonga. This is an announcement. Oh yay, announcements. Mm -hmm. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime. Don't do something violent to start the killing game. You can make it one more night. Crystal clear to me now. I understand everything. Look at your face. The way your eyes are angled, the way your face is floating. That's a crazy face. Mono Kid seems really out of it. Is this what happens when you drink too much, honey? I hate these bears. Last night time ever, huh? No, it won't be our last night time ever. Just our last night in this horrible place. Tomorrow night, I'm getting out of this place with everyone else. Yeah. We promised that we would all be friends once we got out. <gasps> Kitty! I hear kids these days don't even say thank you anymore. I blame the parents. They haven't properly taught them the true meaning of thank you. It's very important to express gratitude to someone who has done something for you. It will make that person feel happy and they might do something special for you later. In other words, thank you isn't just about conveying gratitude. It also conveys the expectation of a favor in the future. So the more you say thank you, the more you can use the people around you. So always say thank you to people and make them do lots of stuff for your benefit. Or you could not do that. Rise and shine, or shine. It is now 8 a.m. My heart's racing. Don't worry. Time limit expires. Don't worry, get up in the hall. At least you can be proud that you didn't do the killing the game. Hell you saying? They're gonna go to hell. This is it. You are 16 are the, the who to leave and come as they please. Uh, the, the humans. Uh, what? Uh, uh, Mono kid, why don't we go over there and drink some more honey, okay? Yeah, I hate these bears. I think I'm like losing my sanity the more I have to interact with them. The time limit was set to expire tonight, but weirdly enough, I was looking forward to it. Even then, I barely slept the whole night. I slapped my cheeks and leapt at, leaped out of my bed. All right. First, I need to go to Shuichi's room. We're going to catch that mastermind together. But first. Okay. No response. I wonder if something's the matter. Shuichi is the first to die. Oh god. Thank god. <laughs> ah! I thought you were dead for a second! <sighs> Kahiti, good morning. Jeez. Finally, you came out. You had me nervous for a second. Sorry. I was just going to the bathroom. Are you ready then? We have to get the cameras from Mio, remember? Okay. My god. Yeah. Gamer Master, thank you for the 20 months. I appreciate it. Uh, hat plot armor. Oh, right. He can't die without us knowing the lore of the hat. Yeah. Oh, hi. Hey, hey! Have you decided how you want to spend your final moments? Maybe you want to pray to a Tua with me? Oh, what? You shouldn't be giving up so easily. <laughs> true, true! But, uh... You two get along so well! I was hoping it'd rub off on the others in the dining hall. What are you talking about? In such ti dire times, why won't they stop fighting? Huh? Oh. They're 
fighting in the dining hall. Atua is really bummed out about it. Fighting in the dining hall? Shuichi. Can you go get the stuff from Miu? I have to see what's happening. Leave it to me. I'll go get the cameras. Let's meet up later at the classroom by the stairs to the basement. Yeah. The classroom by the stairs to the basement. Oh, okay, got it. Um, Angie, you said the dining hall, right? Do you mind coming with me? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, we'll stop it together. Who's fighting who, though, and why? As long as Gunta is there, I'm sure everything is fine because he'll just... Wait, who is back here? Huh? Like, you're way back here. Oh, you? Okay, never mind. Dining hall. Who's fighting? It's probably K Kikiro. K I forgot his fucking name again. Kokiro. K Is that it? Kikiro? K Whatever. Hey. Oh. Okay, day. Perfect timing. I really don't know what to do, Kaede. Ryoma started talking crazy. <laughs> All I was doing was making a suggestion. So that more people can survive, even if it's just one more. What'd you do? What did you do? That's a shame. Ryoma started talking crazy. We didn't know what to do. Kaede, listen to him. Fine. Do your eyes have to look like that, though? Staring dead ass into my soul. So that more people can survive? Ryoma, what do you mean by that? Don't you get it? If time runs out like this, we'll all get annihilated, you know. The only way to avoid that is to play along with this killing game. Huh? No, hold on a minute! Kill me. Kill me. Huh? Ryoma, what are you saying? Sheesh. You don't get that either? I'm saying that I'll give you guys my life. Fine. I don't have a reason to live anymore. Well. So if the rest of you want to live, I'll hand my life over to you. That's wrong! No way! We promised that we'd all get out of here together! <laughs> I hoped it'd end this sweat that way. That's why I waited so long to bring this up. But we've just been waiting for the deadline without doing anything to change it. There's no more, more time left for idealism, don't you think? Uh, no, it's not idealism. However, this is the best choice for this situation. Whoever murders me gets to leave without a trial. Everyone else survives the time limit. After that, the person who gets to escape can go for help and rescue everyone else. Well, How about it? If you've got a better idea, I'd love to hear it. Um, well... What should I do? Maybe if I share Shuichi's plan with him, Ryoma might change his mind. Actually, Ryoma, there's no need for that. I'm going to end there's no need for that because I'm going to end this game. I've, made my decision. I've already decided. Huh? You're gonna end this game? Hey. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game, it's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. However, Can you even accomplish such a feat? Oh yeah. I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. Yeah. And how will you end it? You understand that the time limit expires tonight, yes? <laughs> Sorry, can't tell you. Actually, if I could, I wouldn't be having so much trouble. What do you mean? I'm going to end this game. Just what I said, I'm going to end this game. Get it. So don't any of you go and do anything unnecessary, all right? Uh. What? You've still got a ways when to When you go. put it like that, it seems like I still have a ways to go. Got it. I got it. I take back my suggestion. Do what you want, whether you guys live or die is up to you. <laughs> um, Gamer Master, thank you for the twenty and Appen, thank you so much for the three months. I appreciate it. Rantaro just keeps getting scarier. After Ryoma said that, he left the dining hall. That's a shame. Jeez, that Ryoma. I hope I helped him calm down a little. Um, Rantaro, were you serious when you said that you knew a way to end the game? Yeah. Not sure. Huh? What? How should I put this? Well, even if I did have an idea, I couldn't tell you. Can't risk anyone interfering. Rare time. Okie dokie.
Loki, then Angie will pray for your strategy success, Rantaro. But if you are lying, Atua says he will punish you for three generations to come, okay? <laughs> now that's a treat. Well, I'll do my best to live up to your expectations, huh? Action. I guess I have to do my best. Rantaro left, but what he said had really affected me. But ending this game, is that even possible? I suspect he only said that to defuse the situation and stop Ryoma. I mean, ending this game? Yeah. You don't know that! Why is her hands... Oh, not just hands sparkling. She got sparkles. I kind of missed that before. Maybe Rantaro's hidden talent is actually a huge explosion. In the end, only Atua knows. Rantaro's hidden talent. I want to know what it is, but we don't have too much time left. I can't worry about that now. I need to do something. I don't have time to worry about things I don't understand. I just need to do what I can, or else I won't be able to protect everyone. I should go meet up with Shuichi. It's the classroom by the stairs of the basement, right? Bye. The ultimate exploder? No, he's the ultimate. Wait, what was my theory on that? I, I gave him an ultimate before, didn't I? Fuck, I already forgot. Who's here? <gasps> Gunta! What happened? Kaede, something happened. Gunta see Rantaro walk by. His face looks scary. Um, uh, about that, Ryoma and Rantaro got into a fight. No can do that. Fight? Where? Gonna go stop them. No, no it's fine now, so you don't need to worry about it. Sorry. Uh, Gunta not know where he is needed most. No. Don't worry about it. If Angie hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known about it either. <sighs> okay. That's right. Anyway, Kurumi, Kyo, and Angie are in the dining hall today. How about you eat breakfast with them? Oh, really? <gasps> then Gunta also go to dining hall. Gunta, I hope you never die. <laughs> I've never wanted someone to just stay alive. <laughs> ah! He's too precious! Good morning, Kaede. Hey! Hey, so earlier I saw Shuichi. Huh? I saw Shuichi come out of Mia's research lab. Yeah. Oh, you don't say. Uh, going up here as I wonder where he was, what he was doing in there so early in the morning. Uh, Sergeant, thank you so much for the two months. Appreciate it. Like I thought. I don't think that's enough, and that anything happened. But in a life or death situation like this, do you want to try? You'd expect people to suddenly develop feelings for each other, right? Um, I don't think so. Uh, you're right. Now's not the time for that. It's, it's the timer. The time limit's up tonight anyway. <sighs> After going through so much, it's strange, but I feel like I've come to accept it. Aww. How should I spend the last day of my life? <laughs> These kids already given up. Oh, guess I'm dying. I need to meet up with Shuichi at the ba classroom by the stairs at the basement. Okay. Stupid, I was there. Oh, this classroom. I read it wrong, because I'm dumb. Shuichi. Sorry I'm late, Shuichi. No. It's all right. I just got here, too. Um, How did it go? Did Miu finish the cameras? That's... She must have been working all night. She was too, even too tired to make fun of me. Anyway, here's the result. Two cameras that will take a picture when the sensor detects movement. Remember. And this one will take a picture and trigger this receiver. Of course, they are turned off right now, so they aren't taking any pictures. Mm. Since they're disposable cameras, we'll have to manually win wind the film, right? No. Yes, Mew thought of that. She told me that the cameras will wind automatically. I see. Once they're set up, they take pictures every time the sensor is triggered? Okay. She also modified them so that they'll be completely silent to not attract attention. Okay, that's what I was wondering. This is perfect. Well. It needs to be. They're, these are absolutely essential to our plan. Uh. And do these cameras have flashes? That's... Yeah, they still have flashes on them, but I switched them off. They shouldn't be a problem. But... 
but we need to make sure that they don't get turned on by accident and alert the mastermind. That's right. Yeah, I'll be careful. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed though, Miu modified them to our specifications. Yeah. I'll tell you a little bit about this classroom before we set up in the library. Tell me about this classroom? Is that all right? I think this is the perfect place to keep watch after we set up the cameras. That's fine, but why this classroom? That's true. Because we can see ever anyone who goes down to the basement with the door open a little. Look, you can see the staircase, right? Oh yeah, you're right. We can give a lookout for anyone who goes down to the basement. Hey. There's one more reason I chose this specific classroom. One more reason? Oh, I have to talk to him to find out. Why? Oh, so they can give me the chance to destroy the classroom. Oh, this is why he said this is the other, this is the other reason. He wants to give me gotcha coins. He knows that if he sets me up in a classroom, I will be able to get gotcha coins. Shuichi really is such a fucking bro, dude. I cannot, I cannot get these. Emma. What are these hitboxes? What, uh, what are these fucking hitboxes, bro? Bro. Don't mind me, Shuichi. I have a life, I swear. Shuichi is very smart. He knows that I care more about gacha than the rest of this game. Hey, It's because of something, something that's only here. Gacha coins. This doesn't seem like the other reason. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, is this a vent? That's... It's connected to the library in the basement. You'll recognize the smell immediately. Hmm. After Shuichi told me that, I leaned in closer to the vent. <gasps> oh, it smells musty like musty old books. Does this lead to the library? Oh. Probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. Remember. Remember the duct that we noticed in the basement hallway? It leads here. I see. But a vent in a classroom? That's an odd design choice for a school. Then again, everything about this school is odd. Uh, um... This vent is the other reason I chose this specific classroom to keep watch. This vent is just big enough for someone to be able to fit, so we should watch this carefully too. I don't think I could fit through here. Well, maybe I could, but it'd be a bit tough. Yeah. I guess this is a perfect spot to keep a lookout. Then... Anyway, it's time. We should set up the cameras now. It's finally time to set our plan in motion. I'm getting nervous. Oh, my heart is racing. Alrighty. Then... It's time. We should set up the cameras right now. Okay. Shuichi big brain. Shuichi's the mastermind. He's the ultimate bro, sure, but he's also the ultimate mastermind. Maybe that's Rantaro's name, actually. Ultimate mastermind. <laughs> so, where do you want to place the cameras? You're right. Let's aim the one linked to the receiver at, at the moving bookcase. If we place the security sensor on the book bookcase itself, then when it opens, the receiver will let us know. Mm -hmm. And if we place the camera to face the moving bookcase... Okay. Yeah, the camera should it, capture the exact moment the mastermind moves a bookcase. Hmm. Where are we putting the other two sensors? Remember. 
There are two entrances to the library, the front entrance near the stairs and the rear entrance to the hallway. Let's aim one, of e one at each entrance. That way we'll have pictures of everyone who enters the library. But how about over there? Um, Didn't you say a person could fit through the vent that connects to the classroom? Oh. Wait, shouldn't we make sure a person could actually fit through? That's... I think it's fine since we'll be keeping watch in the classroom. But we should investigate it a little more just in case. But we can't reach that high. Uh, we need something to stand on. The globe! Oh. Oh, this very tall moving ladder. I don't know, that seems a little bit like it's too obvious. Oh. <clears throat> I can probably use this ladder. I positioned the ladder below the vent and climbed up. Whoa. Now that I'm up here, this is pretty high. It's kind of scary. Do you want to switch? Nah, I'm fine. By the way, can you see my, um, delicates? <laughs> uh, sorry. So he just says sorry! <laughs> We did see them. Well, whatever. He can't unsee them. Anyway, this is the vent. There's a grate covering the vent, so I don't think anyone can go through. Can I take the grate off? There we go. Oh, the grate came off pretty easily. Did you break something, Kaede? Um, no. I didn't break it. I saw the look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a klutz. I pushed the grate into the duct. Then I lifted my body and looked so inside. Look? Could a person fit in there? Hmm, it would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. And I can't really Honesty the is the best policy. Way, I mean, I'd rather someone be honest about it. Well, we'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom. So that should be okay, right? Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vent so no one can get through. With that, I began to arrange the books around the vent. After I finished stacking the books, I climbed down the ladder. Are you okay? Kaede, what's wrong? Yeah. This will work. This will definitely work. Huh? Got it? I think this plan might actually protect everyone. Yeah, it definitely will. This plan is perfectly composed like Chopin's ball ba ba ballads. I actually really like complicated contraptions, like Rube Goldberg machines and stuff. I do like those too. So I'm positive that this will work. This setup is perfect. Uh, um, you really think so? Of course. We'll definitely catch the mastermind and then we'll all escape. Oh, right. Let's hurry up and set the cameras. I think it would be a good idea to set up the cameras between books so that... Oh, hold on. I had an idea whenever I was on top of the bookshelf. Uh, what, what if we place a camera up there? I'm sure the mastermind wouldn't notice it. But with all the books stacked on top, I don't know if there's room for a camera. Then I'll test it out while you prepare the sensor on the bookcase. I'll organize the books on top of the bookcase and see if I can make room for a camera. That way we won't waste any time, right? Okay. That sounds like a good all idea. Right. All right, then let's do it. I climbed up the ladder and looked at the top of the bookcase. Uh, there are more books here than I expected. On top of the bookcase is covered is covered end to end with cluttered stacks of books. Oh, right. This is nothing. As I move the ladder, I reorganize the books bit by bit. Jeez, there are too many books. It might be too hard to set up a camera here. I thought so. Wait, I just gotta try a little harder. Hey. Kaede, I know you don't really like to admit defeat, but really, it's all right. <laughs> but no, I can do it! I continue moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. Oh my god. She completely reorganized. Girl, now the, the person is going to know that you set up the place. Now it's too obvious. Oh my god, she's insane. Oh, these books are so heavy. What is this, an encyclopedia? I flipped open the book. Wait! 
Heidi, is this really the time to be reading a book? Sorry, I get distracted easily when I'm organizing things. After I made that excuse, I rushed to organize the heavy books, but... Um... Looks like there are too many books after all. You can't really make space, can you? Aww. It'd be easier if I can move them to the ground, but that would look suspicious. Right. As if it already doesn't look suspicious. Uh, spider Max, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. I appreciate it. Also, GW, thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate it. Yeah, we have to minimize any risk of the mastermind noticing the cameras. Then I guess it'd be better to put the camera between the books like you suggested. Right? Yeah. <laughs> You look oddly happy. Uh, um... No, I don't. Uh, if we put them on top of the bookcase, the angle wouldn't quite reach. And here I thought it'd be a good idea. Right? About the places to put the cameras. Hmm. We decided to move the security sensor on top of the moving bookcase. And the camera linked to it will be set up right here. That way, it will capture the movement when the mastermind moves the bookcase. We're gonna place the other two cameras near the exit and entrance, right? I suppose so. I think here and here is the and the and this bookcase is good. They would have to pass by here no matter which door they used. Yeah, yeah sounds good. I'll set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it up carefully so that the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Yeah. Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase. And we'll set the cameras near each door. Hey. And I almost forgot, I brought duct tape from the warehouse. You can use this. Yeah. Thanks. With that, we got to work. I meticulously placed the, sh the cameras and the gaps in the bookshelf. We need to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. I better use a lot of duct tape so that the camera won't fall out of position. These cameras are important, so I gotta do it right. Yeah. All right, that should do it. Okay. I'm finished too. Now, no matter which entrance they use, the mastermind will be caught on camera. But what if they go through the vent? And if they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect that and signal this receiver. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, the camera attached to the sensor will snap the critical picture. Yeah, this should do it, no doubt about it. This plan will probably work. No, not just probably. It'll definitely work. Yeah. All right, then. The final step, turn the sensors on. Oh, right. We should turn them on before we leave. All right. There's a 10-second delay as it starts up, so we have to leave quickly. Yeah. Got it. It'd be a waste of film if we took our pictures. After setting our trap and powering on the cameras attached to the sensor, we quickly exited the library. Now we wait for the mastermind to show themselves. Okay. There's still some time left. Do you want to go see anybody? No. I'd rather focus on the plan. No free time! Besides, I'm sure everyone else is safe. <laughs> Plus, once we get out of here, I'll have all the time in the world to see them. Right. That's true. Well, let, let's go leave the class. Let's go to the classroom. Man, this sucks. No free time. I wanted to hang out with... I don't know. Anybody. Literally, okay, not anybody, but. A lot of people. I wanted to hang out with a lot of people, okay? Oh, all the desks are back. That's great. Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. My heart felt like it would beat out of my chest at any moment. Then. Let's keep the door open a little so we can see anyone going to the basement. Uh... Yeah. Uh, um... Kaede, about the security sensor receiver. Hey. Could you hold onto it, please? I just feel like you're better suited for that than me. There's a power switch on it. Make sure you don't turn it off by accident. No. No, you hold on to it, Chuichi. You're the one who came up with this plan, and I trust you. Um. Also, Shuichi, 
You just said I'm better than you at something. Why do you say things like that anyway? Huh? You know? I guess it's good that we have some time left because I wanted to talk to you about that. Uh, um... Talk to me? Yeah, but first. <laughs> I want to talk to you about why you're why you're like this. But my gotcha. <laughs> At least I know exactly what I want in this game, you know? I know, this gameplay is riveting. Okay. Now we can talk. Ooh, it's probably none of my business, but I think you should be more confident. Right? Especially since the Ultimate Initiative selected you as the Ultimate Detective. No. Uh, I sh really, I shouldn't be the Ultimate Detective. I'm not even a real detective. Huh? What do you mean? I'm... I didn't even really want to be a detective. My uncle runs a detective business. I would sometimes help out as an apprentice. It was usually just cheating couples, background checks. But... But one day, I came across a murder case completely by chance. Uh, um... I solved it before the police did. They just called me the boy detective. That's when I got scouted by the Ultimate Initiative, though I only solved one case. Huh? Even so, it's still amazing that you solved a murder case. Most people can't do that. No. I wonder. I wonder if uh, it was really a good thing that I solved the case. The look on his face when we caught him. I can still see it even now. He stared at me like he hated me more than anything else in the world. Later, I heard that he murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. People told me the culprit was right to do what he did. The victim deserved it. But I led the police right to him. That's not true. It's not like you took sides. You uncovered the truth. That's what detectives do, right? You're right. Yeah, I uncovered the truth. Which makes it my fault, and I'm still suffering the consequences. I'm... Ever since that one stupid case, I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. I'll never forget the forget those eyes, the hatred, the way that they stared into me. Uh, um... Anyway, that's why I have trouble looking people in the eyes sometimes. So that's why he wears that hat. We'll get you a better hat, sweetie. I'm... I'm not a real detective, Kaede. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? <laughs> hat lore. <laughs> this is what I've been looking for the whole game. I've only been playing for like six hours total, and all I've wanted is hat lore, and we got it, and I'm still like, hmm. We'll get you a better hat. I'm not a real detective. What kind of de stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? Right then, I noticed... Right then, I noticed Yuichi's hands were trembling. I gently reached out and held his hand. Oh, <gasps> Hand-holding. Oh, <gasps> Kaede. Hand-holding! I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Dude, this is so lewd. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I can do this, I can do this. Oh god! Okay, there we go. Uh, you don't see shit. Okay, we're good. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta cover that shit up. We gotta cover that shit up. Okay, this is great. Hmm, a pretty a song. song? For you. Oh. oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. You noticed, huh? Yeah. I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. Oh. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. 
you give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Okay, I'll try. Oh. I can, but I'll try. Yep, that's a promise. Okay, the hand holding's done. Uh. After yeah, letting. That's right. Oh, also, I think you would look way cooler if you didn't wear that hat. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you should maybe hey, ditch the hat. You, you look are, awful. Do you want to hold hands? Um. I'm shy. <laughs> Crimson, thank you for the eight months. I appreciate it. Huh? What are you talking huh? about? What? I'm serious here. Once we're out of here, I want to show you what you look like without the hat, okay? Huh? I just want to see everyone smile. You know? I love seeing the expressions people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play piano, to see the smiles on everyone's faces. Mm -hmm. And that's why we need to expose the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. Right? So we can smile with everyone else. <laughs> After our serious talk, we talked about this and that to kill some time. We did all we could and prepared for whatever happened next. I was nervous, of course. But all we could do was wait for the moment to arrive. As the time limit drew closer and closer. And then suddenly... The moment arrived. Oop. Oop. Huh? What is this weird music? Is it coming from that monitor? Could it be? Maybe it's a warning that we need to start killing. The time limit is almost up. jeez. Uh, they need to stop screwing with us. How much suffering do they want from us? Uh. Wait, Kaede. I hear people talking in the hallway. Huh? People talking? I focus my attention on the hallway. I could hear a group of boys and girls talking. I try my best to listen while I peer through the gap of the classroom door. I saw seven boys and girls head down the stairs. Oh, God. Kaito, Gunta, Mika... Tenko, was that her name? Uh, Angie, Himoko, and Rentaro. I remembered names. Look at me go. Kaito, Gunta, Maki, oh! Tenko, Angie, Oh, Shinko, shit, and I did it before Rentaro the game did. Too? Let's go! The seven continued to walk down the stairs. Gunta would never kill. Gunta would never kill. Don't worry, he's not he's not doing it. Why? What's a big group like that planning to do? Rantaro was with them too. Didn't he say that he would end this game? Hmm. It's almost nighttime, right? If they're all heading to the basement right now. Could the mastermind be with them too? Kaito, Gunta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himuko, and Rantaro. What if one of them is the mastermind? It's Rantaro. No. Is it unusual for such a big group to all go to the basement? No. They're not planning on going to the library, are they? That would be bad. They'll scare off the mastermind from using the bookcase and ruin huh? the plan. All right. I'm gonna check out the basement. <sighs> I'll come with no. you. No, you stay here and keep watch, Kaede. With that, Shuichi dashed out of the classroom. Uh, Why am I all alone now? Realizing I was alone, all the fear and anxiety I was trying to hide rushed back into me. jeez. Uh, Aww. I like the fact that Shuichi and Kaede both vie off of each other for, like comfort and confidence right now because what they're doing is so ballsy and scary so whenever they're alone they all get scared but they depend on each other it's so cute <laughs> i couldn't keep still so i grabbed the broom from the corner of the classroom i started cleaning for no reason at all i had to move my body the anxiety was getting to me 
Chuichi, please come back already. I continued to distract myself with cleaning until Shuichi finally came back. Hmm. Kaede, what, why are you sweeping? Huh? Uh, no reason. Anyway, what about the people down in the basement? Uh, okay. Everything is okay. They all went to the game room. The game room? Why there? Ding dong dong ding! In one hour, everyone dies. Hmm. There's only one hour until the time limit. Yeah, it's almost time. That's true. I'm sure that the Mastermind will make their move soon. If Monokuma is going to show up when the time runs out, the Mastermind will go to the library. Then, it happens so suddenly. Oh. My heart nearly leapt out of my chest as the receiver in Shuichi's hand suddenly went off. <gasps> Shuichi, the receiver! That's it! Someone move the bookcase! Hurry, Kaede! Shuichi sprinted out of the classroom with the determination of a true ultimate detective. <gasps> oh, wait for me! I'm scared. I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Shuichi. I could feel my heart beating faster and faster. I was so nervous. Oh, God. All right. Kaede, let's go inside. Yeah. Bracing myself to confront the mastermind, I had balled my hands into fists without realizing it. It'll be fine. Everything will work out. I was still convincing myself when I caught up with Shuichi, who had his hand on the door. Huh? What are you- huh? What are you guys doing here? Uh-oh. Got it. Never mind, your timing's perfect. You should join our strategy what? meeting. Kaede is definitely welcome to join! Huh? Strategy meeting? Yeah. When the time limit hits, we're gonna fight Monokuma. We gotta plan for that battle. We had, we thought it'd be harder for Monokuma to get to the basement, so we're going to the game. Hey. Hold on, both of you, come with us. The mastermind is in the library. Yeah. Okay. We'll explain later, but right now we need you to come with us. We need we might really be able to end this killing game. Are you serious? Sneak attack. I don't really understand, but you just need me to Aikido throw whoever's inside, right? All right. I'll do it. I'll be the one to take him oh, down. Geez. This isn't a competition. I'm going to open the door right now, okay? With the unveiling of the mastermind so close at hand, all my anxiety had disappeared. I stepped inside the library. As I walked in, I noticed that the moving bookcase at the end of the room was slowly closing, but there was no sign of the mastermind. The moving bookcase had closed on its own without any outside help. Hmm. Where is the mastermind? We quickly walked toward the moving bookcase, and then not too far from the moving bookcase we saw... Wait! No, you can't die first! It's fake! It's fake! It's false news! It's false news! It's false! It's false! It's false! It's fake! He can't be the first to die. He had plot armor. No, no! You had plot armor! No, 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 no! He's not dead. He's not dead. Rantaro Amami, who had yet to reveal his ultimate talent to the rest of us lay dead on the ground. He's, he's not. Oh my God. He's not dead, dude. Plot armor, he had plot armor. Oh, Rantaro? What in the world? Those cameras what are so obvious. What the fuck? Ah! Right after uh, Tenko screamed, the front door of the library burst open, and the four people who were in the game room rushed in. 
What happened? Gunta, uh, Gunta hears scream. Huh? Blood, so much blood. Oh me, oh my. Isn't that Rantaro? What's wrong with him? Oh my God, girl. You don't know. He's dead. Huh? What? He's dead? Well, that's unfortunate. But how? How can you be so calm? Shuichi examined Rintaro's body and placed his hand close to his mouth and to check for breathing. It's no use. We're too late. He shook his head. No way. You're too late? You mean dead? Are you serious? He's dead? Rantaro, you can't die. My vision began to swirl. My legs wobbled beneath me. But sh out of sheer desperation, I kept my mind working. Why was Rantaro here? And... The monitor is off. It was no longer displaying Monokuma anymore. Does that mean the mastermind is dead? Yeah, that has to be it. This means Rantaro was... Well, this means this means the killing game has started, huh? Huh? What? what? Killing game? Then someone killed Rentaro and uh, wait, maybe not. I don't get it. What do you mean, maybe not? Uh, maybe the killing game hasn't started. Maybe this just ended it. What? Ended it? What do you mean? Because the mastermind, Rentaro, was the mastermind. Uh. I don't know how he died, but if Rantaro was in the library before the time limit ended... That's true. There's a high chance that the Mastermind planned this, and if he's dead... Uh-oh. Huh? A body has been discovered! Everyone, please gather in the library! What a relief! A murder took place just before time ran out! What? Monokuma, but how? I gotta admit, I was a little nervous there as j there because the killing game hadn't started yet. Jeez, you guys really know how to keep me in suspense. How? The mastermind controlling you is... By mastermind, do you mean the real mastermind who's controlling me? No, and you think it was Rantaro? What an imagination! Of course that's wrong! If the mastermind had died, this killing game would be over! That's wrong! Hey, um... The victim was Rantaro Amami, the ultimate who cares! Nothing more, nothing less. Huh? What are you talking about? The he's the ultimate corpse. He's the ultimate play debtor. The ultimate uh play debtor. Yeah, play debtor that's a word, right? He's just playing dead. That's his that's his talent. Yep. Shuichi, what does he mean? What's going to happen? No. Monokuma is wrong, isn't he? Isn't Rantaro the mastermind? Huh? We came here as soon as the sensor went off, right? No one else was in the library. Rantaro was the only one who could have moved the bookcase. Wouldn't that mean that he was trying to use that hidden door and that he was the mastermind? No. But if he was the mastermind, why is this killing game not over? Uh, um, why... why is he dead? It's no use. It's no good. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Shuichi... Uh. The pictures. We can check the pictures. I'm sure that the cameras we set up in the library will give us a clue. At that moment, the library door swung wide open. Oh, there's everybody else. Ah! Oh no! But why? Really? Ugh, that's Rantaro? Oh, thank God! I thought that was a pile of dirty rags. What? Miu? I see. So this ended up happening after all. My my, what a world this is! So full of jokes like this. How? What? This is a lie, right? My dearest Rantaro is dear. I was killed! That's the same thing! How ironic. The guy who wanted to live ended up dead, and the guy who wanted to die survived. Either way. 
How can somebody explain the meaning of all of this? An explanation isn't necessary. Thanks to the first blood perk, there won't be a class trial, so that'd just be a waste of time. With that said, if you're the blackened who killed Rantaro, raise your hand! What? The one who killed Rantaro? Degenerate male! A degenerate male killed Rantaro, didn't he? Wait! How you know boy do it? I won't forgive you! I just know, okay? Violent crimes are almost now always committed by violent, disgusting men. That dumbass. How dare you go and get himself killed? Don't screw around! How the hell did it? I'm, I'll freaking punch you into the orbit! <laughs> Don't get so angry. Send off your graduation classmate with warm farewells. Rise and shine, or shine. Why do you need to be here? It's getting interesting. I'll send off with hostility like a bunch of catty popular girls. That's fine too. It's my time to shine. If it's gonna disrupt the process, then we're gonna bust out the exosols. Oh, I'm gonna look. I don't wanna look at a nasty dead body. <laughs> Nothing beats crashing a funeral. It's way better than wedding crashing. I'll throw in a wedding every now and then, but funerals are insane, like fishing with dynamite. So whoever did this really gets to graduate, huh? Yeah. Heck yeah! I'm a real stickler for the rules. I'm also tough on convenience store clerks. My heart's racing. Would the blackened who's about to graduate please raise their hand? What? No one's raising their hand? You bastards! Hey, did you hear me? All the blackened has to do is graduate to graduate to speak up, you know? Eh? No one's stepping forward. What's going on? <laughs> I see how it is. The blackened has no need for the first blood perk. They would rather do a class trial. Oh. Excuse me? Oh. Very well then. I will give the blackened what they want and hold a class trial. Oh, it's getting interesting. Hold on. What the heck's going on? Got it. We're gonna hold a class trial so you bastards can find Rantaro's killer. Get it right, and the only blackened will be punished. If you get it wrong, <laughs> so to you, surgery, brain, and need that brain surgery My again. Everyone besides the blackened will be punished. Uh, besides everyone, besides the blackened, everyone. This outcome is much worse. The culprit should have just stepped forward. Thrills, chills, but before we can encode the class trial, you gotta investigate first. If you don't investigate the murder, you won't be able to argue over who did it. Jeez. So you're saying that we need to do the investigation ourselves too? Mm -hmm. Of course, the investigation is what makes the killing game so good. You guys are gonna investigate this crime and uncover the truth. The blackened handiwork has made this much more entertaining than I expected. Shing. The trial will begin soon, so please give the investigation your all. So long, farewell. So, all right. It was definitely. <laughs> it was definitely Kaito. <laughs> Wait. Where do we start? Don't you get it? We're looking for the truth of Rantaro's death, right? If we can't figure out who the culprit is, then we'll be annihilated for sure. Huh? I was kidding, it's actually Sonia. I don't want to be annihilated. The girl should be allowed the to the yeah, do something that I totally forgot to keep reading <clears throat> i'm just a cute normal girl who can use magic you know Why you? you're the last person who should be calling herself cute then. do not fret just imagine this is something as as uh something out of a police drama or detective manga do you agree right shuichi uh, okay right impossible i'm in trouble i've never watched police drama or d read detective manga let's see there's no need to think so hard we need only converse with the corpse 
A corpse is not simply a dead person. That is just an assumption made by the living. Wonderful. By coming face to face with the corpse, you will learn a great many things. Wow. Why are you getting excited? You're not into dead bodies, are you? Actually. But is this true? If Is one of us the, really the culprit? Hmm. The odds are 1 in 15. That shouldn't be hard to figure out. Don't screw around. That's not the problem here. Who's the fucking culprit, huh? Is it you? Or maybe it's you. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <gasps> Who's the killer? Only a two one knows. Weird. You no can choose that way. How exciting. Ah, <laughs> everyone's competing to see who's the most paranoid. Yeah, that's not boring. That's wrong. Wait, wait, stop. We can't do this. We can't go back and forth accusing each other. Uh, um... For now, we need to trust each other and start a serious investigation. Huh? Hey. If we all lose our trust in one another because of this, it's all over. We have to believe in each other and investigate this case. Huh? Investigating is the same thing as not trusting each other. No. It's completely different from what Monokuma wants us to do. He wants us to throw accusations at one another and lose all trust in each other. But... And we can't let him get what he wants. We need to investigate this murder, not because we don't trust each other, but because we do. <clears throat> Did I say something wrong? <laughs> you are just so direct and assertive. Uh, um... No, I just said what was on my mind. Yeah. You really are a detective. Now that we need now that we need to investigate, you're becoming super reliable. All right. I agree with Shuichi. Actually, he just said exactly what I was going to say. Males are degenerate creatures who can betray others easily, but I'll trust you this time. The only good thing about males is that girls give birth to them. Gunta. Gunta not smart. Not sure Gunta be much help, but Gunta do his best for everyone. I, I will work hard with the two as guidance. I'm much happier alive than dead anyway. That's right. As novice investigators, logic dictates that we work together rather than give in to paranoia. Will do my best. If this is what event everyone desires, then I shall give this task my all. Okay. You can leave it to me. I'll find the culprit in no time. Okay, Kokichi. Phew, I'm glad. No one's given up yet. Yeah, of course they haven't. I can't really, I can't change what has already happened. All I can do is, uh, I'll do is what must be done. Otherwise, Rantaro died for nothing. I have to do it. I won't give up. We're all escaped from here. I'll make sure of it. Well then. So let's get started. We need to do this so poor Rantaro won't have any regrets. And so we can survive. Yes, let's find the culprit who killed Rantaro. Yeah. You're right. Let's do this. So much has happened in such a short time, and I haven't been able to keep up with everything. But I know that I need to fight back against this class trial to protect everyone. Hmm. This isn't quite the mood I was expecting, but... Oh, it's okay! Bad. At least now you guys seem like you're getting into it! You again? The fuck are you doing here? Don't be so crude. I've come to bring you all a wonderful present. This is giving me the heebie-jeebies. A notebook that will kill anyone whose name is written on it. Could it be the... D you can't say that that's copyright. Whoops, my bad. It's a monokuma file. You did that on purpose, didn't you? The Monokuma file is a detailed report that summarizes all the info about the dead body. But there's no info that would point to the blackened, because that would ruin the trials. Let's all get along. I don't know, maybe you guys will find it useful since you're not experienced investigators, you know? Don't screw around. Monokuma file, like hell am I gonna believe something he made? Yeah. Whether you believe it or not, it would still be prudent to examine its contents, no? Atua has spoken. He says that we shouldn't take our eyes off of the monopad. Yeah, I think we should read it. This file has all the info about the victim. I wonder what it says. 
The victim is Rantaro Amami. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The victim's body was discovered in the library. The estimated time of death is 9.10 p.m. Whoa, that was really weird. I was like gonna in sneeze, but the sneeze turned into a yawn. That's awkward. Uh, the victim was subjected to blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, resulting in cranial fractures and immediate death. No other injuries were detected. Monokuma file one has been added to the truth bullets. It doesn't say whether or not he's the mastermind. Well, that's obvious, but the killing game is still going on. So I'm gonna assume that he wasn't, right? But if Rantaro wasn't the mastermind, then who is? Actually, I know it's a little late, but seeing this makes it real. Rantaro is really dead. That's right. This is the mastermind's fault. No doubt about it. The mastermind killed Rantaro. That's... Mastermind, I'm sh I'm sorry. What are we talking about? Please. Kaede, please explain what is going on and spare us no detail. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Yeah, okay, thank you. I don't want to go through talking about all this. So we told them about the possibility of the mastermind hiding among us, and about the trap that we had set in the library to lure them out, and that someone got snagged down in our trap, and we came to the library to check, and discovered Rantaro's body. Understood. I see, so that is what happened. I was not aware that you two had planned such a thing. <laughs> so you used those cameras I modified for this bullshit? No. But what would you keep something so important a secret from us? Why would you? Once we knew one of us was the mastermind, we'd start fighting over who it was. That's when you two were afraid of it, wasn't it? Yeah. Afraid of. Yeah, that's right. But... But if there are cameras, won't this case be solved real easy? Oh man, that's so boring. Wait! Your amusement is the least of our concerns. We need to check the cameras right now. The culprit should be in the picture, as it'll be it'll be case closed. Then, all right, let me go get the cameras. They're gonna be broken. They were so obvious. Shuichi quickly retrieved all three cameras and rushed back to everyone. Is that all right? Okay, I've got them. Well, it was hard removing the camera that Kaede set up. She really taped it down well. Because, well, I really didn't want that camera to fall since it was aimed at the moving bookcase. Remember. Here, it's these three uh, cameras. Um, now that we have the de now we just have to develop the film. Allow me to perform that That's task. Amazing. Wow, is there anything the ultimate maid can't do? Leave it to me. I heard everything you said. If that's what you just ne you need, just leave it to me. Huh? I'll do it. I'll develop the photo so you bastards can focus on the investigation. <laughs> Because if you guys get punished, it would be way too gory. Stop it. Don't butt into our... But she ignored my ejection, walked up to Shuichi, and took the cameras from him. Oh. I am a strong, sensible, sensual woman. Do not underestimate me. Uh. Hey, give those back. Give no need to worry. We have... We all have to follow the rules. We won't do anything underhanded or devious. So I'll let you know when I'm finished developing the photos. Wait, give the cameras back. It was pointless to yell at her. Monophony, monophony, I left as swiftly as the wind. Oh my. Oh, there she goes. Uh, no, that was important evidence. Sorry. I was being careless. Um, it's probably okay. She said she'd develop photos and give photos back. That's right. And she said she had to follow the rules, so I don't think that she would destroy evidence. Sheesh. Looks like we got no choice but to believe that. Because Atua is watching over us. It's important to believe. Atua only shows mercy to those who believe. Uh, um... Kaede, I know that you're worried, but you can trust me. We just have to be patient. That's not at all... That's not all I'm worried about. I thought this whole thing would be over once we exposed the mastermind. <sighs> but now we'll just... We're just in a bigger mess. A mess and we'll have to see it through to the end. Hey! Kaede, I have a proposal for you. <gasps> Proposing so soon? Oh! Is that all right? If it's all right with you, could we keep working together during the trial? Like we're doing now? Oh. <laughs> Wait, this is turning into so cute, like, huh? cute territory. I'm... I know I'm just an apprentice, but I think I can help you as a detective. 
no, I, I want to help you. Shuichi. Of course, with you at my side, it'll be like having a hundred people helping me. Thank you. Thank you, Kaede. Um... Hey, so I don't care about this mushy stuff, so let's get started already. And try to take this seriously, okay? Our lives are on the line. Actually, it takes a lot of mental power to say something like that so cheerfully. Before we start, let, I'd like to suggest that we not investigate by ourselves. Why? Why? In other words. If we let the culprit work by themselves, they might try and destroy evidence, right? Oh, you're right, since the culprit is one of us. If each of us watches the other, no one will be able to hide any evidence. My apologies. My throat's dying. I do not intend to offer a suggestion that would further arouse suspicion, but... Logical. No, that's logical. Please speak your mind, Kurumi! That's right. It's not something you should be proud to say, but I guess we don't have a choice. After all, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be killed. The game is quiet? Yeah, sure. Thanks for letting me know. I'll try that. Okay. Once we expose the mastermind, we'll be able to escape. We can definitely do it. Ugh. Better? Okay. Oh, I like this music. I don't know who killed Rantaro, but it's Monokuma's fault it happened. Because he's pressured us. He pressured us. This happened. That motive he gave us is part of it. So is that strange music. I like this music. He played that music at such a high volume to make us feel sick and want to, want to kill. Uh, okay. It was awful. I thought I'd go crazy. I can't believe it. I bet someone felt pressured by that and killed Rentaro. Oh no! It's the 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 TV from the the future arc. It's the same thing. Oh no! Just kidding. It's all Monokuma's fault. Um. Anyway, we just have to stop the mastermind, so this is the last murder that ever happens here. We just have to. Promotional video BGM. Trashy skank. Don't talk to me, crotch itch. I'm fucking busy. Crotch itch? I don't know. What? <laughs> I don't understand how that's like an insult or like a... I don't I don't understand what that means. Miu continued ignoring us while she fiddled with a controller. What's that controller for? Ah. Dun dun dun! It's a prone! Um, I don't mean to butt in to the conversation, but don't you mean drone? Actually... If it was a prone, it'd team up with the rest of the ga gal ganglion alliance to destroy humanity. Okay, you nerd. I have no idea what she's talking about. Yeah. Wait a second, the controller is... <laughs> now you're getting it, dick cheese! She laughed obnoxiously and pointed her finger upward. Ha! Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Miu Iruma. Okay, okay. It's a drone. I told you, that's a drone. If it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. What? I don't get it. When did you have time to make this? I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for. So I modified this RC plane. I even decked it out with a camera so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. From there, I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. Okay, okay. This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta respect her. Gotta respect that hustle. Drafting a floor plan with photos? That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. The only problem is I'm not used to operating a drone and taking pictures with it. Jeez. You shouldn't be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. Bitch. 
I can't do shit about that, so just calm your tin tiny tits and shut up. Oh, jeez. Shut up, you. My chest is way better than your nasty cow udders. Ooh! <laughs> oh my god! Damn girl! Okay! You're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Fucking wrecked. So this drone is just here. Let's let's slap that shit. Slap it. Slap it. Damn, girl. Kaede held no chill back. Why did the culprit not step forward and take advantage of the first blood perk? Huh? What? Then. The culprit must have killed to survive, so it is odd that they would not step forward. Mm, that's true. true. I wonder what that means. I can think of several possibilities, but the worst case scenario is the culprit's objective wasn't to survive, it was to kill everyone here. Huh? That is correct. That would explain why they would forego their survival in favor of a class trial. Uh. But doesn't that mean seem like a bit of a stretch to you? Do you agree? Well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it's certainly possible. Yeah. Well, true. Killing us all does seem like something the mastermind would do. Yeah. So we cannot lose this fight. Even on this pe uncharted path, we must find our way. You're back here, too. Well, if you're the ultimate detective, then you're then you've got your eyes on the culprit, right? Uh -huh. What? I'll leave it to you. Tell me who you think the culprit is, and I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. Uh, oh, I want to know, too. I'm sorry. I can't say anything yet. Not cool. There's someone that you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's got to be. But you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? That's just how it looks to me. But, but with things the way they are, wouldn't it be better for you to suspect others? <laughs> and let me just warn you. The way the world works is that those who speak win. The truth can easily be twisted. In order to fix a twisted truth, you need something even more powerful. Huh? What do you mean? Be careful. I mean that testimonies without evidence are powerless. Be careful. All right, Ryoma. Okay. A little scary. Um, Kaede, do you remember what we saw when we came in here? Yeah, yeah I remember. Um, we saw the moving bookcase close on its own, right? No one even touched it, so how did that happen? Hmm. Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. Shuichi moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. Is that all right? Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase, he let go of the bookcase and after waiting for a bit. closed on its own. Hmm. The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closes after a period of time. It makes sense when you think about it. If it didn't close on its own, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside. Dude, we were literally like two seconds away. I see. The bookcase has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. But wait, if the bookcase closes itself after you enter the hidden door... Uh, maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself was because the mastermind was hiding just past the hidden door. You're right. After killing Rantaro, they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible. Let's check that now. Huh? Huh? How do we check it? Remember. The dust on the card reader, remember? Is 
then. All right, let's see. We leaned in to get a closer look at the gap of the card reader. Huh? huh? The dust is still there. You're right. It looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means that the mastermind didn't hide it here. Hmm. What if the mastermind replaced the dust after they used the card reader? No. No, I remember exactly where I put the dust. This hasn't been moved at all. Okay. I think it's safe to assume the mastermind did not go through the door. Then the book, then the one who moved the uh, moved the moving bookcase at the time was Rentaro himself. No. I can't say for sure. We'll know more when we get the pictures back. There's a chance that someone else was hiding here. I see. I still think the mastermind is the culprit. Um. So we just need to find the clues that can connect us to the mastermind. We end the killing game that way too. Yeah, we're gonna end the killing game. That's how this works. Uh, hidden door is currently out of sight. You guys set up a security sensor on top of this bookcase, right? Okay. Yeah, it should still be there. Let me check. Chuichi climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the moving bookcase. Remember, it's still here. I I, can, I should take it down now. Oh. Removing it is fine, but won't your receiver go off when you move it? No. No, it's all right. I turned the receiver off. You can turn it off? Okay. Yeah, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside, and I didn't want to alert them. I see. Smart thinking. That's interesting. Wait, what does that exactly say? The sensor was placed on the moving bookcase, so in case someone moved the bookcase, it would notify you. Okay, no, no, okay. Near the body. All right, let's go. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you this, but shouldn't we investigate Rantara's uh, body? Um, if we want to find clues, we have to. But if it's too much for you, Kaede, you don't have to, okay? No. No, it's fine. I can do it. My mind was set, and I started to walk towards Rantara's body. The last time I saw Rantaro, he was alive and well. Hmm. Why did Rantaro die here? Huh? What do you mean, die here? Remember. I mean, if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, that would mean that he came all the way over here after opening the book, after the bookcase opened. He moved away from the hidden door to this spot. Why would he do that? Because he was also trying to figure it out, right? And there's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Are you okay? You've gone pale. Although I guess that's normal. We have to investigate a body after all. The body of someone who was alive and talking to us just a little while no. ago. It's okay, really. We just have to do our best. Not just for Rantaro's sake, but also so that we can avenge him. And so we can protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. Hey! Hey, Day, I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I am sort of a detective, after all. Jeez. Sort of. You are a detective, remember? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. A bloody shot put ball is on the ground. Could it be? The shot put ball, could it be? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. Mm. There's blood all over it. Mm. That's the murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that they could have used. You're right. The shot itself is heavy. You would have to be fairly strong to use it as a weapon. Fairly strong, huh? Rantaro opened the bookcase, but he moved away from the hidden door to this spot. Yeah. I think that he had his own agenda, right? I know that we need to examine his body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. It's okay, I can do it. 
Shuichi showed no hesitation as he began to examine Rentaro's body. There's blood on the back of his head. It looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with blood force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The Monokuma file is accurate. This must be a fatal wound. Um, so we can trust the Monokuma file? Uh, okay. Yeah, for now. Shuichi then stuck his hand into Rentaro's pocket. Huh? Wait, what are you doing? Uh, um... I'm checking what he has on his person. There might be a clue. If we're gonna do this, we have to be thorough. I told you I would support you after all. Aww. How can you say that with so much confidence? Come on, Kaede, pull yourself together. Mm. Rantaro had in his possession the key to his room and the student handbook monopad. Monopad is definitely his, and it's not exact, and it's exactly the same model as ours. He didn't have a key card with him. Could it be card key on him? That's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. Rentaro really wasn't the mastermind. Mm. If he was the mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the card key. So, with what we know now, that is the most likely possibility. Why was Rantaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? He said he was going to like, end the killing game too. Are you okay? Are you okay? We finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Sorry. Something is bothering me. Why did Rantaro come to the library? It seems likely that he is not the mastermind. What reason did he have for coming here? Uh, I'm guessing it had something to do with Rantaro mentioned with what Rantaro mentioned earlier. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Hmm. Ending the game itself. Could it be? Then it's possible he noticed the hidden door in the library, just like we did. Huh? Uh, um. He might have come to the same conclusion we did that the mastermind would come uh. here. You mean he had the same idea as us? No way! He should have told us! Uh. We could have worked together! I collapsed to the floor, crushed by the weight of my frustration. No. no, he probably couldn't risk telling us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone. I have you, Kaede, but Rantaro didn't have anyone, anyone he could trust. Hmm. That might have been the only difference between me and him. <laughs> you had a girlfriend, and he didn't. As he said that, he offered me a hand. I took his hand and he firmly pulled me to my feet. Remember. Kaede, let's go. We can waste time now. We can't waste time now. You're not going to give up, right? You're going to save everyone. Yeah. Shuichi. He's right. I can't give up now. Shuichi. I feel like I can rely on you even more. Huh? Shuichi is right. We can't give up until it's over. I can't stay depressed forever. I have to help everyone get out of here. We have to continue the investigation. We gotta find the mastermind. So you open this door and you chuck a ball and then you can just like run right out. That's the only reason, by the way, I said Kaito. It wasn't just a random guess, it was slightly educated. Because, like, uh, him and Tenko were the two people that stopped us from going into the library, but he was the one that was standing closest to the rear door. This is the rear door, it's the furthest door from the stairs and it leads to the hallway. <gasps> by the way, this is a sliding door, see? It opens when you slide it. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Do you think Rantaro entered through this door? Uh, um, I can't say for sure until we get those pictures back from the Mana Cubs. Mm. You're right, we just have to wait. It was calculated, I don't just throw out bullshit. Okay, you can always count on me. Whenever I say bullshit, it at least comes from something. Like, it's not just bullshit for bullshit's sake comes from something. 
Tons of books are crammed into the bookcase and arranged into various stacks on top. Nothing changed. Remember. The books that you stacked up uh, yeah. up haven't moved. Oh, you mean the ones I stacked to keep people from going through the vent? Yeah, those have been left alone. Oh, I didn't need to go there. I thought that was just looking at the book bookcase. I don't want to see this. <laughs> Poor Rentaro. Wait, what am I saying poor Rentaro for? He's not dead. The time limit start to killing game has almost expired, but the countdown stops and the obnoxious noise went away. I wonder what would have happened if the time limit had expired. It's the front door that leads directly to the basement stairs. We went through this door before we discovered Rantara's hmm. body. We entered the library through here when Kaito and Tenko... Yeah. yeah, we saw the moving bookcase close, and then when we ran over... That's true. We found Rantaro's body behind that bookcase. Hmm. I wonder if Rantaro entered through the same door as we did. Maybe the mastermind did too. That's... When we see the pictures after the Mono Cubs develop them, that will be clear. Aww. Guess all we do can do is wait. Or maybe it's not Kaito. I mean, Tenko was there too, but like Kaito was just closer to the door. It would be weird because they were just like both together. It's a little, it's a little weird. I guess maybe I shouldn't just go on that line of thinking. Shuichi, I need some advice. What do you think we should check first? I'm thinking about it too, but since you're a detective, you might know more than That's me. True. Which we should check first, if uh, is if the areas where we place the cameras have changed in any way, like the bookcases, the then I feel like there might be clues around there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, remember correctly. I think there may be clues around Rantaro's body. It might be hard to do, but well, we need to hear from everyone here. Oh, they're just yeah. giving me. Okay. okay, that did nothing. I can be of some use. Oh, please. Uh, I hate you. <laughs> Shuichi's gonna kill me. We talked to everyone. I want to see... We put the camera... Okay, yeah. So we checked that the camera was not tampered with. Oh, the vent. Oh my god. I didn't look up. That's it. The vent is open. I was the one who took out off the grate and left it in the dock. Hmm. And when we kept keep and we were keeping watch in the classroom this vent leads to. I don't think the culprit came through came in or out through here. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay, now we should be done. Um Kaede, I think we've investigated the entire library now, but we still don't know anything yet, and anything yet. I feel like we didn't even get clues to the ma get any closer to the mastermind. You're right. The most important piece of evidence will be those photos. Once we get those, but then again, we can't just say that and do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. Hmm. Keep investigating. That's true. Yeah, I think we should collect alibis. We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Rentaro was I killed. See. If that's the case, then who should we question? Who should we question? Mm -hmm. The six people that went down to the basement with Rantaro? Kaito, Gunta, Maki, Tenko, Ange Angie, and Himiko. Let's talk to them first. Hmm. They should have been in the game room along with Rantaro. Let's ask them about what happened yeah. there. Let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. Game room time, let's go.
This game room makes me so sad. All right, Maki. Um, Maki, you were in the game room when Rentaro was killed, right? Hey. What were you all doing down here? Rentaro was with you, right? Okay. Am I a suspect? Uh. Oh no, that's not what I meant. Mm. You should suspect me. In fact, you should be suspicious of everyone. Huh? Because. Someone got killed right after we all gathered here. The timing is too perfect. Then again, with the time limit so close to expiring, maybe that's why it happened. You don't know? To, so trust no one, Kaede, or you'll lose. Got it? I can't get a read on Maki at all. She just saw a dead body, yet she's perfectly calm. It's hard to imagine her as the ultimate child caregiver. But why were you all here in the first place? <sighs> it was Kai Kaito's idea. He suddenly wanted to hold a strategy meeting and gathered us together. He said we should confront Monokuma once the time limit expires. I don't understand. And he picked the seven people he thought would be useful in a fight. Um, I'm not sure that those seven would all be useful in a fight, though. Kaito thought Himiko's magic and Angie's connection to Tua would be useful. Huh? But what about you, Magi? Why did you also pick the ultimate child caregiver? He just looked at me and said, yeah, you probably know how to fight. That's it? Jeez, that doesn't sound like something Kaito would do, though. But... <laughs> Kaito. <laughs> Small brain. But why have a strategy meeting in the game room in the basement? Beats me. Maybe Kaito figured it would be harder for Monokuma to find us here. In other words, it was just a coincidence. Uh, um... And what was Rantaro doing at the time? Was he in the strategy meeting with you? That's true. He was at first. But then he excused himself to the bathroom and left on his own. <sighs> Kaito and Tenko went looking for him so we could finish the meeting before time expired. That must have happened around... Huh? What are you guys doing here? Never mind, your time is perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Kaede is gonna definitely welcome to join. This just happened. Um. Then did the four of you just wait in the game room the whole time? Nope. Angie, Himiko, and I were the only ones who stayed behind. Gunta never joined us. Huh? Gunta wasn't with you guys? <sighs> Gunta did arrive, but then he left and locked himself in the AV room in the back. Mm. He was in the AV room by himself? Ew. <laughs> Suspicious behavior, isn't it? The other two felt the same way. Um, what about oh what other God, two? Yeah. Why don't you go to the AV room? They're probably still there. Lucky's account. You have anything to say, Shuichi, or no? Uh, um. Okay. Shuichi. The AV room, is that room in the back? Is that room in the back, right? Could it be? Kai, have you ever been in there before? Yeah. Nope, not yet. Anyway, let's go. Wait! Gunta not murder anyone! On, I told you, we're not saying you did. We just want to talk. No. No, it's him, all right. We gotta face the kid. He's got the face of a killer. No way. No, 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 Judge Gunta by his outside. On inside, Gunta, gentlemen. Hey. Hey, what's going on here? Uh. Oh, hey there, Kaede. We're just trying to ask him. Uh, just tell him. Just tell us why we're still asking nicely. Are you or are you not the culprit? Or are you not not the culprit? Or are you are you not 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 the culprit? Huh? Gunta not not no no uh oh. It's just been this over and over. We can't move forward at all. Um, I think your questions are the problem. <laughs> then I'll change the question. Timmy buys five strawberries for fifty cents each and one fifty cents each and one apple. Jeez. That's totally off topic, Himiko. Do your own math homework. You know? Hey, Gunta, I talked to Maki earlier. Oh my god. You were in the basement. You were in the basement AV alone the whole time, right? Hmm. But what were you doing here alone? Um. Gunta happy to be invited to meeting, but Gunta think he not be much help because he's not smart. 
Bugs are. So Gunta in here alone watching bug movie. Oh my god. Huh? How does that help? Honest. Bug movie fill Gunta with fight. Make Gunta ready to fight Monokuma. I see. So it helps you fight. Okay, sure. You do that, Gunta. No. But why was it locked? What was locked? My magic. If you don't answer honestly, I'll change you into a girl with my magic. Huh? Ah, Gunta no can become girl, Gunta. Then Gunta never become gentleman. Jeez. <laughs> Can't become girl, Gunta. Ah! <laughs> Himiko, can you just shut up for a second? You're making this harder than it needs to be. Is that all right? Gunta, can you tell us what happened next? Gunta. Gunta just need focus. If Gunta no focus, Gunta no can fill up with fight. Honest. Then it really, Gunta just want to protect everyone. <sighs> but you guys not gonna believe Gunta, huh? Cause Gunta so big and scary looking, huh? Wow. Gunga, all down. You're making a really scary face. How can this be? Gunta feels so useless. He mad. After hearing his story, I can see why people would suspect him. But I wonder what really happened. Could he actually be the mastermind? No, no, honey, he can't. It's true. <laughs> Kaede, let's investigate this room a little more. We also need to verify Gunta's yeah. alibi. Gunta. Gunta watching bug movie to fill Gunta with fight, so Gunta can fight Monokuma. But Gunta need focus to fill up with fight, so Gunta locked door. Mm. That sounds like a lie. If you don't tell the truth, I'll blow your clothes off with magic. <gasps> if Gunta naked in public, then Gunta never become gentleman. Oh, Himiko, shut up. Stop saying ridiculous Honest. things. Gunta just want protect everyone, Why? really. Why no one believe Gunta? Gunta feels so pathetic. I feel like I need a minute. <laughs> I am not focused at all. Ugh. No offense, but I'm like reading too much of chat and y'all are making me upset. <laughs> I feel like I should just go in emote only for all these streams. Ugh. It's like, it's really killing my mood. I just need a break. Just give me like a second to like clear my head. I, d I just want to, I want to get back into the game. I want to like, I want to feel immersed, but right now I'm just totally disconnected. So give me a quick second.
I'm sorry. <sighs> just tried to like walk it off a little bit. It's not really that big of a deal. I just just needed a minute. It's not it's not like anything in particular. It's just like the building up the past hour. I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh I don't know what to do. I'm like super overwhelmed. <laughs> uh... Oh, I'm sorry. I just want to be in the into the game. I, I like that's how I play games. I like really getting into them. It's just like ugh. I can't even give an example. Like just every time, every time I look at y'all comments, it's always like talking about characters, and I'm just like y'all are giving me so many preconceived emotions about characters that I barely know, and it's. Totally killing the mood. <laughs> it's partially my fault. Like, I really, I know that I really should not be reading chat as much as I am. I know that. And y'all really aren't too bad. Like, you guys are really, like, okay. It's just like the few comments that I do read is just like totally killing my vibe right now. Ugh. Like, I don't want to like a character just because somebody else likes a character, you know? But, like, the way that you guys talk sometimes makes me feel bad about liking or disliking a character. And I hate the feeling that I get sometimes. It's really, really kills me. <laughs> like, I just, I just want to feel what I feel without having... Ugh. I don't know. I don't want, basically, I just don't want people to skew my judgment is, is all I'm looking for. Like, I don't want my, I don't want my judgment of characters to be skewed. That's all. Like, I don't care if people flame me or you can have opinions about, you know, whatever. That's fine. I just, I just hate it whenever it's something like starts to skew what I feel about a character. Because then that's like outside influence and that's not me really experiencing the game raw. That's what I hate the most. I hate it. Ugh. I just, I feel like I just need to deal with it better, so I'm sorry. I feel like this is a me issue. I just really need to deal with all of this way better. I'm so sorry. Sending hugs and love. It's Ugh. okay. You're totally right. You do you. We'll follow less. I'm sorry. I'm just like, my head is totally not in this trial right now totally not there thank you for the six months i appreciate it i'm sorry um quinsley thank you for the prime gaming uh, i just want to like clear my head a little bit Whew. i want to i want to keep going Uh, sorry, give me like another couple minutes. I just... I'll get there, I'll get there.
Thanks for letting us know that's an issue. We'll try to force our views less now, right chat? Okay, okay. Huh. I don't know what okay, sorry. I grabbed I grabbed a banana, I'm gonna I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna chill and I'm chilling uh it calming down with a with a banana because this is totally logical. I don't know. Um <laughs> I need something. Also me hearing Dom scream in the background. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. I don't I know I don't need to apologize, but I will do it still because I know I, I can do better. So. Woo. Um, but mods, it's up to you. Like, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know if we should do emote only. Like, I don't want to. I don't know. Maybe we just needed to talk about it. Maybe I just needed to talk about it. Maybe, maybe it'll be a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I feel the bad. I feel I feel really bad about it. You don't want to ban half the stream. Yeah, it's hard. I think it was just becoming a little bit too much. And then if the mods start banning like 50 people, then other people are like, why are the mods being such dicks? <laughs> and then you just never win. <laughs> Man. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe, eh. I want to give it another chance, though. Maybe I just, like, read it a little bit less as, like, a, I don't, I don't know. I want to give it another chance. Maybe we can try that. I'm, oh God, I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. I have such a guilty conscience right now. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, this is something I really should be better about taking. Hmm. Okay. Um. Okay, I want to keep playing. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. I don't want to. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't want to create too much work for the mods either. If it's too much, then you guys can go into emote only. I do, I do want to give it one more, one more chance though. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll open it up, but just like keep the things I said in mind, chat. Um, don't be too offended if, don't, well, don't be too offended. Don't be offended at all if like a, a mod deletes your comment. There's a difference between getting a comment deleted versus a timeout. So like, just, uh, yeah, if you get, if you get deleted, just, you know, at least like try to figure out what you did and then like, you know, <laughs> uh, just don't take it personally. It's it, a delete is a delete. And don't yell at mods. They're just doing what I tell them to do. I know that my rules in the stream are a little bit strict, but it's for reasons like this where I'm not like the rules are strict in this channel because if I, if they're not strict, I don't get immersed into these games. Like that's why they are like this. So I hope you guys understand and I'm sorry, I, I apologize again. 
Ugh. Oof. Try not to cry. Um, but thank you guys for all the support, though. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Sorry for my, like, mini breakdown. I just, like, hit a kind of hit a tipping point. Um, Red Arrow, thank you for the tier one sub. Animation, thank you for the hundred. Um, Learn, thank you for giving, a, gifting a sub to the community. Celestian, thank you for gifting a sub. Koro, thank you for the five gifted subs. Corneco, thank you for the two months. Uh, Gino, thank you for the hundred bits. Quint, thank you so much for the prime. Azure, thank you so much for the six months. Uh, Killer, thank you for the 13 months tier two sub. I appreciate that. Thank you for all the support. I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna move on. I think I'm, I think I'm a little better. <laughs> it was just getting to me a little bit, but uh, okay. It's all good, it's all good. I got a banana for a distraction because <laughs> I don't know. I felt like eating something would help. <laughs> you know, like whenever you upset Please tell me I'm not the only one. Whenever you're upset, you either, like, clean everything in the house or you just eat. Because eating helps. <laughs> so, yeah, that's me right now. I'm upset, so all I want to do is eat. <laughs> Banana is comfort food. I don't know. It is now. <laughs> Hey, it helped, okay, it helped. Okay. Anyway. Back in this case, I gotta get my brain back in this. Okay, so we are trying to um, we're confirming Gunta's alibi. I forget the other reason why we were here, but it'll come up whenever I talk to people. <clears throat> I'm interested in the bug movie he was watching. I wonder if it was good. Jeez, I can't believe that happened right next door to our strategy hey. meeting. Kaito, can you tell me more about this strategy meeting of yours? You gathered everyone to meet in the basement, right? Uh. What, am I one of your suspects uh. now? No, that's not what I meant. Uh. It's natural that you're suspicious of me. Of course. But I'm not the culprit. I swear it on the universe. Got it. I've got nothing to hide, so you can ask me anything. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, now that we have the chance, let's look back at the entire incident together. Oh, Melvis, thank you for the 2,000 bits. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, Bugs Life. That's a good movie. I used to watch that a lot growing up. <laughs> Kaito went to the scene with us, so he might have noticed something we missed. Okay. All right, then. Where should we start? Mm. After Kaede and I set up the cameras, we were, we were keeping watch from the classroom. Some time passed, and then we saw you guys go down to the basement. When did you start asking people to go with you? So... I don't remember the exact time, but I asked them one by one, and we all went there together. Okay. That's when we saw you. How many times are they going to show this picture? Oh my god. You, Gunta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Radzar, yes. <laughs> you know... Now that I think about it, the monitors started going off just before that. That creepy music made it hard to keep the strategy meeting going. I want to confirm what you've told me so far. Everyone went to the game room for this meeting and no one went to the library, right? Ah. Yeah, we went straight to the game room, but right after we went inside, Gunta went into the AV room and wouldn't come out. Yeah, yeah Maki told me about that. So... After that, during the meeting, Rantaro left to go to the bathroom. But we thought it'd be bad if the meeting stopped, so me and Tenko went to get him back. And that's when we met up with you guys. Okay. Huh? okay. We had gone down to the basement because the security sensor receiver yeah. went off. And right when I was about to open the library door, you guys called out to us. So after you and Tenko left the game room, Himiko and Maki were still there, Got right? It. Yeah, can guarantee it. But you know. However, I can't guarantee that Gunta was in here the whole time. So we can't confirm Gunta's alibi yet. Hey. Gunta would never! The library's re-entrance is at the end of the hallway, correct? Did you see anyone there? That's right. 
Well, I didn't get a good look, but I'm sure I would have noticed if someone was there. And I opened the door to the library with you guys and found Rantaro's dead body. That's just about how it went. Yeah, we didn't learn any new information, though. Come on, man. I'm not clear to suspicion yet. No. No. I think you did it. Don't worry, you're not a likely suspect. Ah, oh, Shuichi said he's not. Fuck. Dumbass. <laughs> That's not something a detective should say. Huh? What? Listen up. If you suspect me, you better pursue it to the end. Investigate until you're satisfied. If you don't do that, you'll never reach the truth. Rantaro will have died for no reason. Shine. This is where you need to let your ultimate talent shine. Stop making me think that you didn't do it. God damn it. <laughs> My theory. <Yeah. laughs> anyway, if you notice something or remember anything, let us know. <laughs> well, I'm not planning on leaving it all to you guys. I'll investigate my own way. Damn it. Not fair. This guy. The culprit is definitely Gunta. He's, he's suspicious no matter how you look at no. it. No, it's too early to determine that. There are a lot of things to consider. Thank you for gifting a sub to the community, you person. I appreciate it. <coughs> <coughs> it's still too early to determine that. There are a lot of things to consider. Really? Even so, it's definitely Gunta. He's suspicious no matter how you look at it. Mm. Why don't you help investigate before you decide that, Himiko? <laughs> Gunta's suspicious no matter how you look at it. it. Like I said, you need to investigate before you decide that. Hell, use your magic for all I care. The oh, she's sweating. <laughs> It's impossible. Magic shouldn't be used like that. It'll lead to corruption. Jeez. And stop being so lazy and put some actual effort into solving this. A backsliding door. <clears throat> it's a scream from the projector, but the projector is turned That's off. True. If you roll up the screen, you could use it as a long pool of sorts. So what? No. I was just thinking that it could be used for something. Used how? <laughs> Sometimes you say weird things, Shuichi. Must be a detective quirk of yours. Uh, okay. You think so? Sorry, you could treat it as me talking to myself. Everything he says is important. 5.1... Ch 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 speaker? I bet this huge speaker produces some high quality sound, but that's not relevant now. What? I wanted to know all about it. Alright, it's different. Um, Is this connected to the hallway? You're right. It seems that way. Let me check. It's a sliding door. I'll open it. That's weird, it doesn't open all the way. Um, Looks like it wasn't installed right. I can only stick my arm through. Hmm. I can see the hallway on the other side, but I suppose it's not possible to use this door. No, no, no if it's Gunta, it doesn't matter if the door was stuck. He's strong enough to throw that super heavy manhole cover. That's right. Yeah, you could eat this door for breakfast. Gunta never do that. Gunta not eat door for breakfast. Breakfast most important meal of any gentleman's day. Okay. I agree. Huh? I love him. You think Gunta could eat this door? No. <laughs> no, not that. I mean, I don't think he did anything like that. Look at this. He ate the door. Oh my god. Is that all right? There's dust piled on the railing of the door. This sliding door hasn't moved in a while. Hmm. But he ate it? He just forced his way through the gap. Hmm. That's not possible. There's maybe enough space for a baseball to fit through. I could, I guess an arm could fit through as well if it were thin enough. It's magic. He probably used magic that makes you slim and keeps the fat off. Wait! <laughs> Guta no can use magic. Okay. I can use magic. Uh, these two never have anything important to say. <laughs> What's the matter? No. Just something I want to confirm. I'm gonna try the sliding door one more time. I knew it. Thought so. You can see the rear entrance to the library from here. This door and the rear entrance are located straight across from one another. Um, that's 
I'm not sure if it matters yet, but it is a little concerning. Huh. That's how you get a visual. I think we've investigated everything mm -hmm. here, too. Then what should we do next? Let's ask the people some questions. Like, if there are some people we haven't talked to. This would be this would be done if with if we had the pictures. We wouldn't have to waste our time like this. We already know who the mastermind is. That's true, but we shouldn't wait around and do nothing. Yeah, yeah you're right. All right, time to go talk to more people. I hate people. Just kidding. Oh wait, Sugumi, me who exist. Let's go talk to them. They're pleasant. <laughs> I just call me you pleasant. <laughs> Okay, I didn't mean that word for Miu, but <laughs> I don't know. She's fun to talk to. <laughs> Tenko, I wanted to ask you something. We asked Tenko about what happened in the game room, but she only confirmed what Maki had told us and didn't provide any new information. Mm -hmm. I like how they That's just right. kept it like that. You know what? Bravo. Don't give me a bunch of bullshit. I knew it! Gunta would be the most suspicious since he locked himself in the AV room. Not to mention he's also a male. Hmm. Are you submitting that as evidence? Hey. By the way, how has your investigation been going? No. I haven't done any investigating. Huh? What? Degenerate male. Don't give me that face. I've been doing something else. I've been watching Angie. Huh? Angie. Listen up. We agreed to investigate with one other person, right? But Angie's just been wandering around alone. That's why you're with Angie. Um, I don't want to suspect anyone either, but girls' lives are at stake here. Okay. <laughs> Fuck the guys, the girls' lives are at stake. <laughs> For an investigation like this to work, we have to trust each other. Oh, she does not look happy right now. What is that face? Like. Ugh, degenerate males. Okay. No. Sorry, that wasn't my intention. She's really annoying. Oh god, Angie, what are you doing? Hey. You're not gonna investigate, Angie? I Investigating is important, but I gotta say my prayers to Atua too. Amen. Oh Atua, please let Ranta Rantaro enter heaven safe and sound. Hey. I suppose a prayer couldn't hurt. Hmm. Rantaro died in such a gruesome way. Would he be able to go to heaven in peace? It'd be nice if you could. It'll be okay. Don't worry, I'll pray hard. If I pray hard enough, I'll earn enough points to become a platinum disciple. Oh my god! Ah! What? I don't think that's how it works, honey. Oh my god. <laughs> my religion has a ranking system. I must become a platinum disciple. That's sus. Get out. Sounds like a credit card rewards program! <laughs> Run! <laughs> so yeah, this door is directly... But if the ball was thrown this way... if Okay, let's say you open this up. They said that the door opens up a baseball width, which is the same width as the fucking iron ball. One, you would need insane aim. Two. Does that not? Oh, no, that does cover it. Wait, wait, wait. If you go through. Oh, oh, that would check out. Because the way his blood was spat splattered, if he was like this and then it splattered that way. Yeah, that does check out, huh? Mmm. In front of me is the library's rear entrance, and this door here connects to the AV room. Gunta didn't do it. That's all I can say is Gunta didn't do it. <clears throat> oh, first Celeste, thank you so much for gifting five subs to the community. That's really sweet. <clears throat> thank you. All right, we got to find people. Oh god, this kid, Chaos Gremlin. Ki Kokichi. Oh? 
Oh, investigating together, are we? You two sure have gotten awfully chummy. Uh, are you here alone, Kokichi? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why? Jeez. We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person. Oh, did we? Well, just because we agreed doesn't mean we have to have to do it, right? Hey. Why would you do something that would make everyone suspicious of you? Right? Because I'm an evil supreme leader, remember? I'm gonna, I'm supposed to be suspicious. Is that oh, right? you got gifted as subs you're paying it for. That's really sweet. Oh, thank you. There's something I wanted to ask you. What were you doing at the time uh, Rantaro was killed? Oh. <gasps> An interrogation from the ultimate detective himself? What a rare opportunity. <gasps> then, I'll tell, then I'll gladly answer. To tell you the truth, <laughs> I was in the library smashing in Rantaro's head. Huh? Quit screwing around and take this seriously. Why? Do I really need to tell you guys what I was doing? Huh? Because? If I gave you honest answers now, it'd just make everything boring, right? I'd rather just tell you at the class trial. That way, that would be way more fun. This guy. Chaos Gremlin. The trial is going to be boring anyway, since we'll have photo evidence. Wait, I can refute. Hostile. I don't think so. What are you saying? Anyway. I'm just saying, this is a game. Let's have some fun with it. That's wrong. People are dying. Let's just go have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kid. All of our lives are at stake. How exciting. Exactly, it's a game of life or death. <laughs> I'm so excited. I want the class trial to start already. Is Kokichi actually enjoying the situation? Okay, okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. This kid. All right, can I have an overhead view of where everybody is? Oh, the classroom. Oh, they're in the classroom. Turn back. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I turned too much. Yeah, that feature is weird, but it's here. I can do that. You know, you got to add your own like flavor text here and there. That's what it's for. <clears throat> I can destroy the desks again. <gasps> Kibo! <gasps> Kaede, Shuichi, I would like to ask you two a question. You were on lookout inside this classroom, right? Yeah. Yeah, from here we could keep an eye on the basement and it was close to the library too. Right. That's our alibi. We were both in this classroom when the murder occurred. I see. I see, then the probability that you two committed the crime is extremely low. By the way, were you two together the entire time? No. Wait, he's in bed. He's interrogating us! <laughs> Kibo! I did leave for a bit to see what was happening in the basement, but besides that, we were together the whole time until the receiver went off. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Thank you very much. Oh my god, Kibo. Hey. Uh, is that all you wanted to ask? Um, may I ask you one more question, specifically about that vent? Kibo, okay, okay, Kibo. It appears to be connected to this classroom. The air duct in the basement hallway leads to it. That's. I was also concerned about this vent. That's why we kept watching That's this classroom. Right. Because the culprit wouldn't be able to use this vent if we were in here on lookout. That's right. Under those circumstances, it would be difficult to sneak into the library from here. Okay. Kaede stacked up books in front of the library vent as well. With those in the way, it would be even harder for someone to go in and out. Commit that to my memory bank. Really, I will be sure to save that information pe if important piece of information to my memory bank. <laughs> Keep up. Oh, thank you very much. I hope my line of questioning has not offended either of you. I am not offended. In fact, I'm honored. All right, he's taken this case seriously. I like that. Mm. Go, Kibo. Kibo, you totally sounded like a detective or a lawyer just now. Maybe you were a detective or a lawyer in a past life. A past life? How could I have a past life when I am not made of human components? You are Nagito 2.0. I know it. I know it in my heart. Nagito went full robot. <laughs> Let me guess. You wish to hear my alibi, yes? Huh? How did you know? 
my appearance and actions thus far suggest I am someone who would commit a murder. Oh, at least he's self-aware. <laughs> so to briefly state the truth, when the body discovery announcement played, I was in the dining hall eating supper. Ah, yes. The other people there were uh, there with me were Miyu, Kurumi, and Tsugumi. The mono cubs prepared the meal for me. It was listed on it was listed on the menu as pasta that tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids birthday cake. Hmm. That pasta sounds depressing. Do you understand? That concludes my alibi. I do hope it could be of some help. Hey. Okay. What about the people around you? Did you notice anything in particular? Yes. Ah, if there was something to note, it would be that Miyu was tinkering with something or other. There was also a brief period of time when Tsugumi left to use the restroom. Mm. The restroom, huh? Interesting. Well, Tsugumi is the ultimate cosplayer. She could have gone to the bathroom to secretly disguise herself as someone else. What? Uh, um... I'm not- what? No. Yeah. I don't know, but I'll go talk to her. She should be at the crime scene in the library. What? What? His color scheme? Yeah, I like it too. It gives me creepy vibes. I think that's the point. All right, I had to clear the way for the bed. All right, do they want me to talk to Shuichi then? Oh, that's a closed door. <clears throat> Oops. Oh my God, the drift. that all right oh did i i thought i talked to both of them already do i need to do it again my joy con i think is dying oh my god the drift i, I didn't go over there no oh my god I just want to click on Kyo. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Hey. Oh, what were you doing where, uh, and where during the body discovery announcement? Ah, oh, my alibi. Oh. Oh, I got confused because he was the one questioning me, but I actually didn't question him. Oh my God, Kibo's five, five, five head. He's, fi he's fucking five head, dude. How? I didn't even realize I didn't even question him. Oh God, is he okay? Huh? Are you glitching right now? Well, No, I'm just searching for the right words. In all honesty, I was alone in my room, so I admit my alibi is not altogether reliable. Um, so you don't have an alibi. <gasps> but Ryoma said he was alone in his room too. Aww. Jeez, way to throw him under the bus. Huh? That was not my intention. <laughs> But I see, both Kibo and Ryoma don't have an alibi. That means it's possible one of those two is the mastermind. Um, Am I under suspicion because I don't have an alibi? No. No, I won't suspect you just because you don't have an alibi. Of course. I'm not saying that because you're a robot or anything. I'm not robophobic at all. Thank you very much. But you don't need to be so PC. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Putting aside the things about Tsugumi, now we know everyone's huh? alibi. No. We don't need to ask him. He was definitely alone. Everyone we talked to hasn't seen him, so no one would corroborate his alibi, right? That means he must have been alone. I see. Oh, you're right. I guess that's why you're the detective and I'm not. All right, time to see Tsugumi. <laughs> Good thing I'm a Mac. No. All right, Sugumi, 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 Sugumi. I'm trying to run as fast as I can. 
I actually forget. Did they say she was in the dining hall? Oh no, she said that. Oh, she's in the library. Fuck. Oh, I can wait. I can. No, I can't. Oh no, I can fast travel. Okay, yeah. Thank God. I don't want to walk all the way down the hallway. I don't know why. I, uh, oh, they said that Miyu Sugumi were in the in the dining hall. That's why I got confused. But she's in the library. <laughs> Alrighty. Sugumi, you have arrived. Hi. Sugumi, I need to ask you something. She looks like she's busy thinking about something. She won't talk to me. Okay, but that's no excuse to give up. I grabbed the hem of Sugumi's shirt and began to lift it Got slowly. It. Oh my god. I'm gonna lift your, lift your skirt, Sugumi. You okay with that? Ugh. Wait, Kaede! <laughs> you better talk or I'm gonna lift your skirt for Shuichi to see. And then I'm gonna tie your skirt around your head so everyone can see your panties. Understand. <laughs> Sugumi! Mm -hmm. Oh, it took you long enough. Oh, oh my god, Kaede is brutal. Hey, girl. Ooh. Well, I can't let Chuichi's innocent eyes get dirty. That's wrong. No, th they, they won't get dirty. Shuichi. Are you saying that you've seen dirtier, Shuichi? What's wrong? What did you want to talk about? You know? I'm just gonna cut to the chase since you're the ultimate cosplayer. That means you could disguise yourself as anyone, even one of us, right? Uh, uh so that's what you think of me. Well, since we're in this situation, I'll be clear. That's impossible. I only cosplay fictional characters. I don't cosplay real people, or rather, I can't. Uh -huh. You can't. Isn't it easy to just wear someone else's clothing as a disguise and- You can't! Cosplay isn't a disguise! Huh? Yes. You'll probably have a hard time believing me if I say it, so I'll just show oh. you. Show me how. <gasps> Come on, Kaede. Uh, uh wait. Sugumi so grabbed me by hand, grabbed my hand, and dragged me to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. Um. Why is the music all creepy? Are you gonna punch me or tie me up? Hey now. There's no way I'd do a thing like that. Hey! Well, hurry up and take your clothes off! Huh? What? Why? Uh... Because I'm going to cosplay as you, of course. Now give me your clothes. Huh? Right? Come on, come on, hurry up! Huh? What? I slowly undressed and handed my clothes to Sugumi. After telling me to look the other way, I waited while she changed into my clothes. Yeah. Okay, now you can look. Huh? Are you okay? A gross, bumpy rash has spread across Sugumi's body. Hi. I'm Kaede Akamatsu. Is she okay? <laughs> this isn't cosplay of the spiky-headed underling of a certain space emperor. This is cosplay, an allergic reaction that happens when I dress up as real people. Cause pox, oh my god. This is the price for my power. The equivalent exchange for my cosplay. Uh, okay, I get it. Change out of my clothes already. Okay. We exchanged our clothes and then returned to the library where Chuichi was waiting. What happened? Kaede, what's wrong? Uh, Sugumi couldn't have disguised herself. Yeah. You understood since you saw the cosplay, right? Cosplay is love. You're right. You're, you breathe life into characters. It's almost like you're summoning them. Have you ever had this? I don't think I've ever tried to cosplay as a real person. But maybe I should test it out and see if I have that one day. Who would I cosplay as? <clears throat> um. That's why I can cosplay various characters from across the wide world of fiction. 
But it's impossible to cosplay as someone who exists in the real world. Right? Cosplay as Dom, as Shen, Trudeau. What? Trude what? Yeah, do real people have a default outfit? I could cosplay Dom one day. Yeah. I can maybe do that. I feel like I could cosplay a Shen one day. That's an idea for later. Hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> I cosplayed Elon Musk for Halloween. Of course, this doesn't affect me since Elon Musk isn't real. <laughs> Okay, that was a good comment. <laughs> See, now I'm glad that I left the moment only on, just solely for that comment. Thanks. <laughs> Elon Musk is it real? Um, shit. I'll try cosplaying Dom one day. I bet I could do that. Yeah. Hmm. Cosplay as Santa? No. Oh wait, shit, that puts me in an awkward situation. I can't say to them. What if like a what if a five-year-old is watching me right now? God, I hope not. <laughs> huh. I'll think about it. That's not cosplay, it's just impersonating someone. I really didn't need that long explanation. Huh? This chime! We're all five-year-olds. <laughs> True. <laughs> Me too. Not that. <laughs> it's not ready. We're just announcing that the photos are ready. Don't interrupt me. Waiting at the warehouse. Okay. Does my face look weirder to you? Has my face always looked this weird? I hate these bears. Hey. Did you hear that, Shuichi? The pictures have finally been developed. Let's go, come on, get a move oh. on. Shuichi, go! I ran as fast as I could to the school warehouse. I couldn't stay put knowing that the truth was so close at hand. I'm sorry, I didn't say anything about Santa. Santa's real. Doesn't mean I can cosplay him, though. <laughs> because of reasons. I ran a f at full sprint to the warehouse. I have a feeling that the, the picture is only going to reveal uh, Rantaro. But nobody else. I have a feeling it's going to be, like, empty otherwise. <clears throat> Like in the scenario that is in my head right now for how the murder played out, I, that means the cameras would be empty or depending on, wait, it's so okay. They, they take pictures when the sensor goes off. So the sensor would only catch Rantaro, but nobody else. I wonder if it'll catch what he was doing though. That could be interesting, but there shouldn't be anybody else in the, these pictures. Jeez. I can't help it. We're so close to learning the truth. We're gonna find out who the mastermind is. Rise and shine, or shine. <gasps> We're intruding. I came to see you, Toots. Uh, you're as lovely as always. Oh, Minosuke, you're such a flirt. Man, yeah, may I join you for a drink? Drink as much as you want. I've got cash to burn. Thank you. Excuse me. Can we get a bottle here? <laughs> this is great. Oh, hey, how long are you guys gonna do this for? Take these. Rear entrance, front door, bookcase. It's all the photos. They're separated in envelopes for each camera. Use them to take that bastard down. It's all up to Dead. you now. Dead. <laughs> he died. Dumbass. Oh, that's great. I'm so rich. What's a journalist gonna do about it? Nothing. That's what. By the way, Monophony. Wanna get out of here after your shift ends? Uh -huh. I want a fancy steak dinner. <laughs> Same. What's your name and age? Home district, salary, do you have another job? So long, yeah, you can leave now. 
<clears throat> uh, um... It looks like we have the pictures now. Yeah. Finally. Oh god, and everyone's here. Um... Kaede, are those the developed photos? What? The culprit should be in those photos, right? <laughs> How exciting! I want to see the dumb look on the culprit's face. All right, All right let's take a look. Um, let's take a... Let's look at the photos taken by the camera near the front entrance first. The envelope that says front entrance. Let's see. This is when we arrived at the library, so took a picture then. This was right before we found Rentaro's body. That's a pretty bad picture of me, but said, but don't focus on it too much, okay? But of course. All right, let's go check out the other. Um, this is, is this? it's a picture of us running into the library after we heard Tenko scream. That doesn't help us at all. Hurry up, hurry up and show us the next picture. Yeah. It seems as if... This is everyone else who came to the library after the body discovery announcement. Yeah. Everyone pictured here, myself included, was on our way to the basement. So we got there a bit late. You know... Hey, these are all pictures of when we found the body. There was only, there is one more photo of the front entrance, correct? Yeah, yeah let's take a look at that one. Huh? Oh. Sorry, it looks like I tripped one of the sensors when I was removing the cameras. What are you saying? Uh, this picture doesn't seem to have any clues that will help us either. The camera pointed at the front entrance only snapped these four pictures. <clears throat> Shuichi had a time. Hmm. Neither Rantaro nor anyone else who could have who could be the culprit are in the photos. Sorry. Did that did they both enter through the back door then? That is correct. Let's examine the photos taken by the camera near the rear entrance yeah. then. Only two photos were taken by the camera pointing at the rear entrance. Let's take let's see the picture first. That's the one we were expecting. I, see. I thought it might be possible that he was moved to the library after being murdered, but that does not appear to be the case. So that means that he was killed in the library after going there of his own will. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Maybe it'll show the mastermind. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> Shuichi, please. <laughs> he looks like he's posing for this, man. Sorry, me again. This is one from when we, I was removing the camera. <laughs> what an attention hog! <laughs> he had no choice to remove the cameras. He had to be close to the sensors. Um. That's all for the rear entrance, just these two photos. Huh? Culprit not in rear entrance photo either? Why? What does this mean? They're not in either the front or rear pictures. It's uh, pretty odd. Why isn't there a picture of the mastermind entering? Hey. Shuichi, don't you think that's weird? Uh, yeah. Let's look at the camera pointed toward the case. Yeah. I hope that was the case as I removed the photos from the envelope. There were two photos. The first one was... Should be Rantaro? Uh, yeah. Hmm. But the second one? I guess would be Shuichi. <laughs> the next one should be a Shuichi selfie. Oh. Could it be? Could the culprit have gone into the hidden see? door? That's a possibility. Do you understand? Let us see the next picture. There is one remaining, yeah. isn't there? Yeah, here it is. Rantaro doing? Huh. 
and that's where he was hit. This is literally right before he got bonked. Yeah. He was reaching for the camera. Maybe he was trying to remove it. I did notice something while I was removing the camera. The security sensor for this camera was switched off. If so. In that case, the photo was likely taken just before the sensor was turned off. But that would mean that Rentaro noticed it. He saw our hidden camera. By the way. Moving the bookcase triggers the sensor, move, which in turn activates the camera, right? The bookcase appears to have already been moved, so why did the sensor activate? I don't get it! Who cares? What happened to the culprit? So what happened? Oh. The the sensor snapped because the iron ball hit him at that point. Did the iron ball trigger the fucking sensor? <laughs> oh, that would be movement, technically. How come they're not in any of the photos? This last photo must have been taken shortly before Rentaro was killed. If so, then the culprit should be pictured right behind him in this photo. Then why is the culprit nowhere to be seen? So we gain no new clues and we still don't know who the culprit is. <laughs> what a fucking waste! Why? Did she really develop all the photos? Maybe she just got rid of the ones that showed the culprit. How oh, rude! I developed all the film that was dead that I was given. I swear by my almighty daddy that I did. You bastards! Those are all the photos from the hidden camera, so relax and get to deducing. Okay. Don't screw around. Those are seriously all the pictures? You gotta be kidding me. The culprit's not in any of them. If the culprit didn't go to the library, then how'd they kill Rantaro? Yeah, this must be what they call a perfect crime. Huh? Perfect crime? I'm disappointed. Man, I've been slacking off because I thought those photos would reveal the culprit. Uh, no. You should have been helping us investigate. By oh, by the way. Wait, didn't, uh, he said that there's a flash? So the light would be coming from the front. I do not agree. His student handbook did not contain much in the way of pertinent information. Wow. I doubt it has anything to do with the case. I simply had his monopad with okay. him. I inspected his monopad, but it didn't. I didn't find anything suspicious about oh, it. Man. Oh man! So it's got nothing to do with the case. How confusing! Are you okay, Kaede? Are you all right? Uh, why? Why aren't they in the pictures? If the mastermind had these photos, it would have solved everything. Uh, why the hell, uh, um... Kaede? Uh oh, dinga donga bingo bongo. All right, it's time for what you've all been waiting for the class trial. Please assemble in front of the Shrine of Judgment. It Remember that red door surrounded by plants? From there, you'll be escorted to a delightful class trial. <laughs> See? Huh? Time already? That is correct. It seems that we have no choice but to continue the discussion, this discussion at the class trial. <gasps> I don't want to go. What a pain. What a pain. <laughs> what, you scared? An NPC like you has nothing to be scared of. No. It'll be fine. I just feel like my back is up against the wall. Yeah. We just need to expose the mastermind in this class trial. Yeah, that's right. And then everything, including this killing game, will come to an end. That's right. That's right. Got it. Let's find this mastermind. If it and if it's a man, let's beat him to death. Jeez. You are annoying. <laughs> it's beating them to death going a bit far. Everyone followed Monokuma's instructions and walked toward the courtyard.
Chuichi. Are you okay? Sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. I'm just so shocked. I really thought that everything would be resolved once we looked at the photos. But I can't give up. I can still expose the mastermind in this class trial. And then everything of even this killing game will come to an yeah. end. I'm okay now, Shuichi. Right? Let's go! It's the red door in the courtyard, right? It helps. Okay. Please tell me I can fast travel. Oh! I like this music. The Shrine of Judgment! My first initial thought was that it's Kaito. I still am not ruling him out, but now I'm more thinking it's Himiko. Hey! Kaede, I have one more question. Hmm. Do you really think it's one of us? Not just the culprit. But the mastermind as well? Huh? Isn't that what you told me, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Yeah, but... It's just, that was my only, that was only my deduction. I don't know if I should trust that. Hmm. I don't know if it's true either, but that's why we need to confirm it. If you just dismiss a possibility and look the other way without confirming anything, yeah. then you're just turning your back on the truth. What's the matter? You seem so sure of yourself during the investigation. Sorry. Let's go. I'm sure they're waiting for us inside. Gunta. Then give me a piggyback ride. Come on, carry me. Bitch. Oh my god, you are so fucking annoying. So are we doing the class trial here or what? No. Monokuma made it sound like we'd be guided somewhere from that here. But Monokuma is nowhere to be seen. What's going on? Shuiji? Sorry. Before, this is important, and I... Aww. It's okay, it's okay. This Monokuma statue gives off such a weird vibe. Huh? Oh my god. Is this an elevator? Does he want us to board I it? Wanna. I don't do scary riddles. I don't want to get on it either. Oh. Stay behind then, though I'm sure that'll just be worse for you in the end. I guess. Yeah, that's true, I know. If you desire. However, if everyone wishes to run away, I will cooperate as well. No. It's probably not a good idea. There's nowhere to run. As long as that end wall exists, escape's not hey. an option. Let's all work together. Remember our promise? The music is weird. Okay. We're gonna escape this place and remain good friends afterward. I'll get us out of here. So let's do it. I'm gonna be all... We're, I'm sure we'll, we'll be all right. Mm-hmm. Because we make such an incredible team. Huh. I wouldn't be able to call myself a man if I was still scared after hearing a girl say that. Kaito Bring Momota, it! I'll show them, the show them how I, Kaito Momoda, Luminary of the Stars, live! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mean die? Dumbass. Don't say something all ominous like that! I'm ready! We've come so far already!
already. Well, it's, we just gotta do it. So let's do it. Okay. We have no choice. We can't turn back now. All right, let's go. I was shaking with anxious dread, but I kept going because I decided to fight. And then everyone had boarded the elevator. I don't like this music. Oh, that's super cool. It's actually an elevator. Even so, this elevator is going pretty far down. <laughs> We're falling. I wonder how far we will plummet. Uh, I suddenly have to go to the bathroom real bad. By all means, go ahead. Of course, a robot wouldn't understand how inappropriate that is. <laughs> As we waited to reach our destination, I whispered to Shuichi. Um, Shuichi? About that talk from before. What? I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So, fight for the truth, even if it is frightening. I know you can do this. Hmm. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping, and let that be your strength. I used to be like you. Before a piano concert, I was always so nervous that I thought I would vomit. But then I would remember all the people I've made smile with my performances. Kaede. All right, let's go. It's better to end bad stuff like this as soon as possible. Hmm. That was so cute. Those words were mainly for me, to inspire me, so I would not turn back. After some time, the elevator finally came to a halt. The doors slowly opened to reveal what was waiting awaiting us on the other side. Oh boy! Why, hello there! Yay! Bingo! A game that feels like a game. Okay, just as the prophecy foretold. Listen up, from here on, things are gonna get so violent you'll wish you could turn back. No way. There won't be any gory or violent scenes, I'm positive. This is... This is an authentic replica of a courtroom. <laughs> what a bad taste. Oh, jeez. Why are you making us do this? Is this fun for you? Psycho! Putting strangers in life or death scenarios is the best entertainment! The worst of the worst! <laughs> worst or not, those who have fun are the real winners of the world! <laughs> It doesn't matter what terrible things you do or are done to you, as long as you're having fun. Oh, I see. This is so sickening, it's almost refreshing. So, how do we get this game going? Well, now. <laughs> there are podiums over there. Please stand behind the one with your name on it. <laughs> Following Monokuma's instructions, we headed to our respective podiums. As I walked toward my podium, an image of his body flashed in my mind. He died without knowing his own ultimate talent. No, he was murdered for some horrible low-life scumbag. I'll never forgive his killer. That's why we're going to expose this mastermind and end this killing game. That's all I can do for Rantaro now. I don't think I'll ever be fully prepared to find out who that person is. But we have to find out who it is so we can lift our suspicions of each other. Angie still creeps me out.
I will face this life or death class trial. We will? <laughs> yes, I would like to save. Alrighty, skills. No one wanted to believe it was real, but Rentaro was killed just before the time limit. I think Dom died. I'm not ever going to be able to read that text. Oh, it's more clear now. I feel like I have so much. I don't know what... Okay. Uh, instantly silences loud voices. Saint Miko's ability. Reveals V points. <laughs> I know what all these things are. Two fragments. Two more. Oh, well, I want that one, so I guess that's all I'm using right now. Okay. I still think someone chucked it through the wall, or through the door, rather. Okay, estimated time of death is 9 10 p.m. Uh, no other injuries were detected. Okay, the promotional video and background music. The moving... Oh god, I really hope that, uh... Hmm. One of the bookcases on the far left end of the library. Wait, I just realized this played... Oh, wait. It was on full volume until the murder occurred. Okay, it was still there then. That was, that's weird. When it was checked during investigation, the desk was left exactly the way it was originally set up. The moving bookcase, one of the bookcases on the far left of the library, after it's been moved, it automatically shuts itself to its original place when a certain amount of time passes. The bookcase moved back to its original place right before Kaede and Chuichi found the body. <clears throat> okay. The receiver, security alarms receiver. A sensor was placed on the moving bookcase so that in case someone moved the bookcase, it would notify Shuichi. Uh, bloody murder weapon found on the floor of the library. It seems to be the same as the shot footballs at Norhouse. Rentaro's belongings. Rentaro person, personal belongings. He had a key to his dorm room and a monopad. A, he did not have anything that looked like a card key. Uh, it's act books. Library books that could not fit in the bookcases and were instantly stacked on top of them. Nothing can ch has changed since Shuichi and Kaede placed the hidden cameras. The books Kaede stacked in front of the vent were left exactly the way that they were. Connected to the classroom vent on the first floor, the, uh, the library vent. The vent grate was still propped open exactly the way Kaede left it when they had set up the hidden cameras. Maki's account. Uh, before the murder, seven people went to the game room to the in the basement. Rantaro, okay, yeah. But Gunta had immediately locked himself in the AV room in the back. Rantaro left to go to the bathroom. After Kaito and Tenko went to get Rantaro, the only people left in the game room when the murder happened were these three, Maki, Angie, and Himiko. <clears throat> A sliding door in the AV room that leads to the hallway. The door was poorly made and opens widely enough to slip an arm through. It would have been difficult for a person to enter and exit through it. 
Kaede and Shuichi were on lookout in the classroom near the stairs to the basement, although Shuichi left briefly to go check on the, the basement. The two were together and the entire time until the receiver went off. Connected to the library vent, the classroom vent. Both Kaede and Shuichi were on watch until the security alarm went off. It was not possible for anyone to sneak into the library by going through the vent. Oh, like Kiyo's account. During the body discovery announcement, Kiyo, Miyu, Kurumi, and Sugumi were in the dining hall. Miyu was in the middle of building a remote controlled gadget. Sugumi had briefly gone to the bathroom and returned to the dining hall shortly after. Kibo! During the body discovery announcement, Kibo and Ryoma were in their rooms. Okay, here's the four entrance photos. That is everyone. It's 15 people. <laughs> uh, the Shuichi selfie. I don't know what to think about it. Second photo. I'm just seeing if there's any differences between these. It's, uh, I keep scrolling just to see if I can find anything, but I'm not seeing anything myself at least right now. was triggered it's just the lighting that's weird but i think it's just from the flash it's not like it doesn't add up still think it was triggered by the ball though if that's even possible because it would have been pretty fast moving but a sensor is a sensor it would have it would have detected that regardless okay let's just go everyone besides the blackened and also refusing to vote will result in your death so you better vote for someone now let's get this crazy awesome crazy awesome trial underway so it's starting huh <laughs> oh man i haven't been in a trial in like forever what So you have experience with trials? <laughs> Honey? <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> since I'm a leader of evil and stuff, <laughs> I've done a lot of bad things. Chaos Gremlin. So, what are we supposed to do? Where do we even start? Gonta never done trial before. Not sure where to begin. First, let's breathe in. And breathe out! We need to remember our no, no, no's. No pushing, no running, no talking. But communication is the foundation of any discussion. We should not worry about our procedure, especially since this is not a normal trial. Each of us will be serving as a potential culprit, lawyer, prosecutor, and jury member. Let us proceed with that in mind, shall we? Then might I offer the first topic? Okay, Kyo. Don't fucking get ahead of us. You trying to start some shit? 
Yes, that is the point. C calm down. How about we listen first? Atua has spoken. He says it is vital that we hear everyone's testimony. I'm a good listener because my ears are clean. Once, I cleaned them so hard, they bled. I'll begin the conversation then. There's something. Thank you for contributing so much. Why, I wonder, didn't the culprit take advantage of the first blood perk? I thought that was strange too. I bet they just wanted to do a class trial real bad. Then Monokuma's the culprit, the doy. Because this whole class trial was his idea. Oh yeah! Easy peasy! I'm a fucking genius! Wait, is it even possible for Monokuma to be the culprit? Of course not! I would never do anything to you guys directly. Even if you can't, it's a different story for the person controlling you, right? Hmm? Is it possible that the mastermind controlling Monokuma killed Rantaro? Mastermind? What's that? I don't know any mastermind. N never heard of them. Don't play dumb with me. Who's the mastermind controlling you guys? The mastermind, huh? Odds are, it's one of us. It's Keyblade over here. Everyone else thinks so, too. Does everyone really think that? No, I don't think that, Kibo. We'll get to the bottom of this. Kibo is precious. <laughs> uh, 60, Before thank you so much for the two the months. I appreciate it. Uncover the culprit. Then we could start by determining the sequence of events. Let's take a closer look at the circumstances of Rantaro's death. Gonta agrees with Shuichi. After all, Shuichi is ultimate detective. Yeah. Then let us start by reviewing the incident. We can find the mastermind if we work together. When the class trial is over, we'll know exactly who the mastermind is. Yeah, okay. That's how this game works. As things progress during each class trial, non-stop debates will occur. Woo! Uh, without pause, it's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions in their statements. Woo. Not bad. Uh, you'll have to use the truth bullets you gathered to refute what they say. Aim for the gold words. There's a chance that the lies and contradictions are hiding within those weak spots. But remember, you might have to you will review them all, and you have to use the right truth bullet. Yeah. New element. You can concentrate or slow down. Oh. V counter. V counters really improve your score. Well, I'm not going to be getting any of those. That requires being, like, good at the game, kind of. That ain't happening. Whoa, 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 whoa! The podiums are moving back and forth. Rantaro's body was found just before the time limit, right? He was killed in the library. Rantaro was alone in the library. The culprit could have snuck up on him. What was he even doing in the library anyway? He was opening that moving bookcase for one reason. Because he knew about the hidden door. That means Rantaro was masterminding this whole thing. I like this music. Rantaro's body was found. Library. Rantaro was a little. What was he even doing in the library anyway? Holy shit! Moving bookcase for one reason. Look at the. Okay. He knew about the hidden door. Mike. That means Rantaro was master. 
Oh dang! Oh my god, this is a nightmare. No, that's wrong. The the cursor moves so slow, and I even have it on the fastest speed. Wait a minute. I don't think Rantaro was the mastermind. Huh? Why? Because Rantaro didn't have the card key to open the hidden door. You'd think the mastermind would have that card key on him, right? Perhaps the culprit took the card key after killing Rantaro. But none of the pictures show Rantaro holding the card key. So I don't really think he had the key at all. Also, if the mastermind had died there, this killing game would have already ended. You are correct. The possibility of him being the mastermind is quite low. Then how Rantaro know about Hidden Door? Maybe he stumbled across it in the library. You know, like how Shuichi did? Or maybe the mastermind told him about it. What? Why would the mastermind tell him that? To lure Rantaro to the library and kill him. Does that mean the culprit and the mastermind are one and the same? Hmm. That does seem plausible. It's very likely the mastermind knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap. The mastermind knew about our trap this whole time? You didn't really hide it that well. This case may have become the perfect crime thanks to your hidden cameras. The mastermind knew about your trap and exploited it to commit their crime. So after the mastermind lured Rantaro and murdered his ass, they used Kai Idiot and Puichi's hidden cameras to arrange the perfect crime. Kai Idiot! Did they really take advantage of our trap, though? Is this really the perfect crime? Are we in an unsolvable mystery? I guess this is a dead end. Wait, don't give up that easily. We already know the culprit is the mastermind. We gotta work together to find the mastermind. Then we can end this killing game. You yap about teamwork and all that, but you still think one of us is the mastermind. Yes, and I know that's a horrible thought. But that's why I want to end all the terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. I'll... I'll even use this class trial to do that. Kaede. <laughs> wow. Looks like you're determined to face even a cold, hard truth. I don't know why we're assuming the Here it comes. The cold, hard truth. Why are we making that assumption? I don't understand. Huh? I already figured out who killed Rantara. Oh, Kokichi got it figured out. What? Why are you surprised? Because if he's right, that would make this the fastest class trial to date. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? was the previous record anyway. Real fast, let me tell you. He was like a leaf on the wind. Oh yeah, I guess now he's one with the wind. Oh yeah, I think about him this time of year too. I'm so annoyed with these Please bears. He soared through the enemy. Shut it, you weirdos. This is an important conversation. Kokichi. Are you serious about knowing who the culprit is? Yep. So, we all agree that the culprit knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap, right? No shit! That's why they're not in any of the pictures. So who is it? So whoever knew about the hidden cameras is the culprit. So who the hell is it? It's you! You! What? You made the cameras used for the trap, right? Obviously, whoever made the cameras knew about the blind spots. <laughs> Before breakfast was the only time someone would be able to sneak by. 
Well, what the hell brought this on all of a sudden? I... I just designed the cameras. I didn't know they'd get set up in the library. If someone asked me to make cameras, I'd totally ask what they were for. How come you never asked what the cameras were for, huh? Huh? I... I, I pulled an all-nighter making them and... Afterward, just sort of passed out. You're getting awfully worked up. Look at you. You're sweating. Shut up. It's not me. You. I'm always wet. I'm just feeling extra sensitive. Like these big boobs I am of okay. Mine. Oh, boy. With someone so aggressive, you're kind of a wimp, huh, you? Come on. Throw me up the hook already. Do you want money? Is that it? Your pathetic excuses are consistent with those of a common male criminal. Everyone's starting to suspect Miu, but is that really okay? No. Uh, blue. Agree points. Instead of arguing that the other person's testimony contains lies or mistakes, tell them why they're right. When you're, uh, then you complete you compliment each other, resulting in a consent. You can also be consent if you're not, if you're confident, give that a shot. I'm not confident. Thank you for your time, respectfully, system. Consent! Why don't you just admit it already? You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? No way! That's not possible! Oh, the, the thing moves forward. So you knew nothing about the trap in the library? That's intimidating. I'm telling you, I had no idea. Not like it matters. Because I never went to the library, okay? I agree with that. I don't think Mew went to the basement either. Right, Q? Of course she didn't. Mia was in the dining hall during the murder. I saw her there while dining on what I thought would be my last supper. <laughs> the pasta on the menu tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake. Thank you. Don't feel bad for her. She got to eat her tasty grandkid on his this birthday. This contributes nothing. Shut up. That's too sad to make sense. Okay. So there you have it, Mew's alibi. You fucking slug! Why didn't you say so earlier? Good job, Kaede. Guess I shouldn't have judged you by your lackluster rack. <laughs> what Gilgamesh level condescension? But which Grail will I from? <laughs> wow, another reference we don't get. <laughs> Hey, I got that loser. reference. Shut the fuck up. You suck. Oh, sorry. Sometimes my hobbies just sort of slip in. Hey, don't be acting all cocky, Kokichi. You put my ass in the hot seat earlier. How about you just keep your fucking mouth shut, you lying little abortion? Oh, shit. What? I was really uncalled for. I only said that to find the culprit. Bro. <laughs> You're so big! Bro. Hey, I feel a lot better now. Oh my god. <laughs> cool your jets, kid. <laughs> Holy shit. Samugi and Kirumi were both in the dining hall as well. We can dismiss those four as potential culprits if they were together the entire time. No, not the entire time. At one point, Sumugi went to the restroom. Oh, I keep oh, calling her Sugumi. So you brought that up after Sumugi. I've been saying her name backwards this whole time. It just now I registered. Went to the restroom closest to the dining hall. Oh, did I hear that right? The restroom, you say? Excellent! 
I was waiting for this moment. I'm getting so excited right now. Ew! Why? Did you take a firm dump, or was it a soft one? Why are you assuming she was dropping a deuce in there? Shut the fuck up. But I really did. These just bears go are to not the funny. Room, not the basement, you know. They are so goddamn annoying. I almost want to kill them awesome. myself. I don't think I was there long enough to be suspicious, right? You're the ultimate cosplayer, though. You could have just disguised yourself as someone else while you were out. Disguised? No, no. I don't do disguise. I don't think that's possible, and I know the reason why. Aw, because of Cosbox. Sudden stomach ache. Right, should I test the flavor text in this game? Maybe now's not the time. I'll do it later. I get it. Sumugi can only cosplay as fictional characters. That's what cosplay is supposed to be in the fr Lately, some people prefer to cosplay as non-fictional characters, which is unforgivable. It's so unforgivable that I break out in cospox if I even attempt it. Yeah, the cospox was pretty gross. I see. If that's the case, then there's no way you could have been in disguise. Sorry about that, Samugi. I just thought it was something to check. Oh no, it's fine. I'm not bothered by it at all. Aww, Samugi is so nice. She's way better than you. Why is Tenko's face too. like that? Getting back on topic, we now have alibis for the people in the dining hall. So we know that Kirumi, Samugi, Miu, and Kyo can't be the culprit. Congratulations to the four of you. You can all leave now. Huh? Can they? Gonta. So what about the swines who went to the basement? Gunta. They're all suspicious, right? <laughs> Which of us went to the basement? Well, when Shuichi and I were on lookout, we saw... Oh, they're gonna show the picture? Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Kimiko, Angie, and Rantaro. So, seven people in total. So the culprit is among those seven? <laughs> but of course! Why are you laughing? That includes you too! Excluding Rantaro, one of the six people who headed to the basement... ...is the mastermind of this killing game? Why are you assuming? What? The person who's making us endure all the, these terrible things? Why not torture the truth out of them? It would be the quickest method. Wait! Please! No torture! My tolerance for pain is actually really, really low. I'll tell you everything! Anything! Just please don't hurt me! Please just tell us what happened. If the culprit is among that group, then wouldn't Maki be the most suspicious? Just look at her. She could definitely kill someone. Stop being so stupid. The culprit could easily be anyone, like Kaito. What are you talking about? There's no way I'm the culprit! Who's the culprit? Kaito no! looked like he aged like 50 years and that's very... Gonta is gentleman. Gentlemen not hurt people. Yeah, what Gunta said. It's not me either. Murder sounds like way too much work. I have an alibi. Who's the culprit for fuck's sake? We need to calm down. If everyone talks all at once, then we can't discuss anything. It's all right, Kaede. We just need to listen to everyone's statements. You can do this. Right? Aww. Listen to everyone's statements? That's right. I can pick out everyone's voices as they talk over each other. I only went because I was invited. Why don't you ask the shady guy who invited me? What? You mean me? But I just said it wasn't me. Hmm? Don't thrust the blame onto me. You degenerate males and you're thrusting. Ugh. Not a bad girl, really. If you don't believe me, 
ask my mom. Ask your mom? Really? I have an alibi. Oh, I have an alibi too. Oh no! All three people are talking at once! Everyone is clamoring to prove their innocence. There's a panic! Ah, mass panic debate. All right, three debates will happen at the same time. But remain calm, just like a non-stop debate. You're just hearing triple the opinions. Oh yeah, that's easy. Pfft. Aim at the conversation you really want to hear and connect, concentrate to listen more. Um. Uh, sort through everyone's opinions, find the lie or a contradiction, and refute it. You can also use V counter. Sorry to take up your time. Yeah, you should be. Sorry, my brain's exploding. Who disappeared other than Rentaro? That idiot already forgot. Gonta also left during the strategy meeting. Yeah, he locked himself up in the AV room and. Hey, wait a sec! Idiot! Is that right, Gonta? Y yes, Gonta watched Bug Movie to fill Gonta with fight so Gonta can fight Monokuma. Were you trying to imagine yourself as a huge mantis with swords for hands? Uh, Samugi? Oh, come on! How is looking at bugs supposed to put you in a fighting mood? A uh, terrible idea. Like putting ketchup on a hot Shut door. Shut the fuck up. But why did you lock the door? Cause Gonta need focus. Hmm? Everyone suspect Gonta? Why? Oh, Gonta just need alibi? Okay, Gonta will get alibi. Just tell Gonta where to find it. Gonta! The way this debate is going, this will be difficult to refute. <laughs> Gonta! <laughs> what will you do without an alibi? We'll all choose you. Gonta. Please understand that in order to reveal the truth, you must also participate. But, Gonta not sure where to start. You just have to tell everyone why you couldn't have done it. If you're not the culprit and we all vote for you, then we're dead too. Our lives are riding on your word. You got this. Okay, Gonta will try, for everyone's sake. Nah. Oh wait, I'm a bobblehead. Hopefully we can expose the mastermind. Going to not culprit. Cause to leave A B room, Gonta must walk through game room where friends are. To even reach hallway. If you can't get to the hallway, you can't go to the library. AB room's got more than one entrance, though. There should have been a door facing the hallway, too. The sliding door across from the rear entrance, correct? With that sliding door, you can quickly go in and out of the library. Then he got past the camera somehow and killed Rantaro. Well, that's settled. 
Gunter, not culprit. Gunter, not culprit. Cause to leave AV room. I, we really just back. put sliding door <laughs> against sliding door. I didn't. Okay. AV room's got more than one entrance though. There should have been a door facing the hallway too. Sliding door across from the rear entrance. Correct. With that sliding door. No, that's wrong. It's not possible to use the sliding door. You're saying I'm wrong? You got a lot of ass to be contradicting me. Did you mean to say sass? <laughs> I um, think you left out an S. You got a lot of ass. The sliding door always jams. You're only able to open it a crack. The only part of your body that would be able to go through is your arm. And there was no indication of the door being forced. There was dust on the track. In other words, the chance they came out the sliding door is zero. Uh, I see. So, I made a mistake. How rare. It's not that rare for you to make a mistake. Your entire existence is a mistake. <laughs> if Gonta couldn't use the sliding door, then in order to get to the library, shit, you'd have to go through the game room. But I didn't see him at all. This game is so fucking savage. Everyone, everyone. See, Gonta tell you he not culprit. No, we cannot confirm that just yet. Yeah. Huh? My apologies, Gonta. I do not mean to put you on the spot like this. Because I promise to do my best, I will fulfill that responsibility. But are you saying Gonta could still be the culprit? There is the possibility that Gonta killed Rantaro from the AV room. From the AV room? Oh, uh -huh. I didn't know that was a possibility. Not only could he have killed Rantaro from the AV room, but also... He would not appear in any of the pictures from the cameras placed in the library. Whoa! Perfect! But wait, then how did Gonta kill him? Well, it's obvious to this glamorous girl genius. But maybe explain for these dimwits. First, I will explain the layouts of both the AV room and the library. Oh no, we're really going through this? Okay. The sliding door in the AV room is because of this. It is possible for Gonta to have... Um, but how? In order for the murder to take place, the rear door of the library... Oh, wait a sec. Isn't that impossible? The AV room sliding door doesn't open. If you cannot enter the hallway, how would you open the rear door to the library? Although you cannot fit your whole body through the sliding door, it would be possible if you used a particular item in the AV room. I really hope the cursor isn't gonna fuck this up. I'm trying to like get it there as direct as possible. I get it. Is it the projector screen? That is correct. You can make a long pull if you roll up the screen. It would be possible to reach the library door with it. If you use the rolled up screen to reach the library's rear door, then you can open it. The screen itself is quite heavy, but that would not have been a problem for Gonta. Yeah, no problem for Gonta. Gonta, no! How oh, honest. Honey. <laughs> Gonta. <laughs> Actually, the camera wouldn't be triggered just by opening the door. Shuichi and Kaede's pictures were like that as well. The shutter only went off once someone said... Okay, so the mods, they deserve it. The library door, but where does that get us? 
Gonta still couldn't have gotten from the AV room to the library. Gonta did not enter the library. He killed Rantara while he was still in the AV room. If Gonta killed Rantaro in the library while he was still in the AV room, then... So does that mean Gonta threw the shot football? Wait! Wait, I say! Why would anyone do something so crazy like throw a... Wait! That's actually not crazy at Ew, all! Ew, that face! Throwing a shot football is totally normal! Yes, the act of throwing a shot football could lead one to use it as a weapon. Even if a person couldn't fit through the space, a shot put ball certainly would. When Taro's body was across from the AV room sliding door as well, as long as the rear door of the library was open, he would have been able to hit the victim. That's quite the distance, though. And that shot put ball was pretty heavy. Did you forget already? Gonta easily picked up the heavy manhole cover. It would definitely be feasible for him to throw a shot put ball at his target. Yep, a walking talking Roomba can't compare to a mighty beast like Gonta. That Roomba remark is probably not about me, as I have a variety of custodial functions. <laughs> Keep <laughs> Well, Gonta, can you throw a shot put ball from that distance? Yes, probably. <laughs> Gonta. <laughs> You're too honest, Gonta. Gonta, honey. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're so cool, Gonta. You could be the ultimate shot putter. Well, I've heard enough. Gonta's the culprit. Wait! Gonta never hurt anyone! Not even insect! Gonta telling truth! Gentlemen never tell lies! Well, there you have it. What do you guys think? I would like to believe him, but without evidence, we cannot. If everyone is wrong, we'll never find the mastermind. I can't let that happen. I need to do my best to guide everyone to the right answer. Bum, 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 bum. So we agree, Gonta's the culprit. Gonta not culprit, honest. Wait, I forget Kibo's account. During the body discovery, Kibo and Ryoma were in their rooms. Oh. in the AV room door. Do line up with one another. There are no obstacles in the way. If one opened the back door of the library, one could throw a shot and strike a tree. No way the average person can make that shot. But with superhuman strength like Gonta's, it's a different story. Afterward, to close the back door to the library, he would have used the World Jump Projector screen again. See, that's all there is to it. Oh, okay. So we agree, go to the culprit. Go to the If one opens the back door of the library, one could throw a shot and strike truth. No way the average person can make that shot. But with superhuman strength, like Gonta's, it's a different story. Afterward, to close the back door to the library, he would have used the World Jump Projector screen again. See, that's all there is to it. Wait, he would have used the back. Uh oh. Huh? Oh, I just realized something too.
The situation the, uh, at the library was different than what everyone remembers. Everyone's on the wrong track. I need to guide them to the right answer. So we agree. Gaunt is the culprit. Gaunt are not culprit. Honest. A typical degenerate male excuse. There are no obstacles in the way. If I open the back door of the library. I don't know if I should throw the bookcase here or the file here. I'm gonna throw the file. Afterward, to close the back door to the library, he would have used the World Jump projector screen again. Okay, so that's what they want me to do then. So we agree, Gunt is the culprit. Okay. Gunt's in the AV room door. Do you line up with one another? There are no obstacles in this world. I'm getting this thing! No, I missed it. Wrong. I missed it. I said I was gonna get it and I missed it. It would have been impossible for Gonta to have thrown that shot from the AV room. Because there was an obstacle between Rantaro and Gonta. The moving bookcase. When Rantaro was killed, it should have been open. Yup, that's our evidence. The bookcase door was open when he was killed. This layout is really weird, but yes. Show question? Oh, I don't need that. I get it. in this picture. Here, look. These two pictures were taken by the camera facing the moving bookcase. These photos were taken moments before Rantaro was killed. The bookcase door is completely open here, and then it closes automatically. So by the time we entered the library, the door had already closed itself. Before Rantaro was killed, the bookcase door was open. Even if Gonta did throw the shot, it would have hit the bookcase instead. I see. Well, that pretty much shuts the book on that theory, but... If that's true, then there's no possibility that Gonta is the culprit. Gonta! He's in the what? clear! Why are you making this so complicated? Just be the culprit already. We got him. Gonta. Sorry. Sorry, I don't I apologize. Don't think you need to apologize. <laughs> yeah, Honey. that's right. A man shouldn't apologize so easily. Honey, I just want to give I Gonta a hug. Apologize. I am sorry for accusing you, Gonta. No, Gonta, understand, cause we gotta find culprit. Well said. For a degenerate. Shut up. I man, I'm starting to get tired of characters. <laughs> Why is that? It's nice when everyone gets along like this. Are you stupid or something? I can't stand people having a good time. Daddy is too evil to feel ashamed for being evil. We could learn a lot from him. Don't mind me. I'm not actually taking notes. I'm placing bets on racehorses. I'm Jones what? of Relief. I need a raccoon tail to chase my dragon. It's good that Gaunt is in the clear, but don't break out the confetti just yet. I like how they completely ignore the cubs. We're out of suspects now. On top of that, makes me like these characters more. Know how Rantaro died. So we only know what the weapon is? How are we supposed to find the mastermind with that? We know the murder weapon is the shot put ball, but where did the culprit get it? I think it was from the warehouse. I saw track and field equipment there. Then anyone would have been able to obtain it. We need more information. What's wrong, Shuichi? Huh? I still uh, think it's Kaito. Uh, it's nothing. What'd you figure ah! out? How do we find this darn culprit now? Hey, culprit! 
Quit hiding! Just be a man and fess up already! We don't even know if they're a guy or not, though, right? Or if they're even human. Are you referring to me? Oh, don't worry, you guys. We're one step closer to the truth, so don't give up. Try to remember what happened. We can find more clues left by the mastermind. Stop saying mastermind. What kind of clues? I don't think yeah. you know what that word means. If Rantaro was deceived by the mastermind and went to the library, maybe somebody saw Rantaro having a suspicious conversation with someone. It would be a good idea to figure out who knew about our trap. Either way, anything you guys remember might be able to help with the case. Yes, yes! But are you sure the culprit is also the mastermind? Huh? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I think so. Wait. Why? Angie. Then what Atua just told me about how the culprit entered the library is correct. Whoa. Whoa. Uh -huh. I didn't hear anything. Ah, oh, that's right. Only I can hear the voice of Atua. Then I will speak on Atua's behalf, as his prophet. If the culprit is the mastermind, they could have entered the library while avoiding the cameras. Are you serious? There's a way to do that? Super serious, brother. Brother. Super. Like shady weirdo. Brother. Atua says I should continue explaining on his behalf. Yeah, okay, you do that. Yep. Ha, ha, ha. Only Atua knows the truth behind this incident. The culprit was hiding in the library the whole time. Before Kaede and Shuichi even placed the cameras. Where would they have hidden? Inside the hidden door! So you're saying the culprit was lying in wait there? If that's true, the suspects. I don't know at the time of the incident. The only ones who didn't go to the dining hall or basement are. Kokichi and Kibo and Ryoma, right? I knew the culprit was a male! Uh-uh! <laughs> Behold Atua's divine logic! Oh my god, the sparkles around. I've never... Uh, what was Maki's account again? Uh... That's irrelevant. I've never had to debate a god before. I can tell there's a contradiction, but I don't think Angie's noticed it yet. The culprit was hiding in the library the whole time. Before Kaede and Shuichi even placed the cameras. Where would they have hidden? Inside the hidden door. This isn't it. I don't know why I do it when I know it's wrong. The mastermind should know about the hidden door, right? Oh, oh, I, oh. Oh my god, I missed. <laughs> Crystal, you in the Inside the hidden door. Door. No, that's wrong. Wait a minute, Angie. I don't think it was possible to hide in the hidden door. What? You dare challenge Atua? I don't think the hidden door I'm challenging a god, reach. holy crap. The dust is still there. While investigating the mastermind, I placed dust on the card reader. If anyone swiped their card key, the dust would have fallen. We already confirmed during the investigation that there was no dust on the floor. The bookcase hadn't been opened, so I doubt anyone was hiding in there. The fog has lifted. Huh. I'm still
still got a ways to go. Riola? Huh? What do you mean? The culprit could have been in the library before the cameras were even set. You won't be able to prove anything with weak reasoning like that. Ah, it seems you've been contradicted. Oh boy! When this sort of thing happens, you'll go into a one-on-one -on -one debate on a red bottle I want to blah blah to explain the controls in this mode you counter against the other person claim you argue Oh fuck me. <sighs> Yay. Perform a regular cut in the direction of the blade, pressing A. Okay. Cut with the truth blade by pressing X. Okay. In this mode, truth bullets will be called truth blades. Use regular cuts on their opponent's weed words and when a weak spot appears. Trash with the on fruit blade. Okay. Of course you want to blade will What's neat is if you cut through multiple words at once you get a time bonus. <laughs> Loss of progress, oh no. Blade lock, when that happens, you have to mash as fast as you can. Isn't this the bee's knees? What? Not really? Yeah, it's really not. Hmm. <clears throat> v agree! <laughs> Holy shit, that scared me. Happy Friday, bro. Fuck yeah. Been spots. watching the entire day, There's and your stream is fucking over. boss, bud. Keep up the, the good work. The also, happy birth month. Oh! There, you know. Now I get it. Oh god, there's like a line through the screen. Oh god, we're failing epically. Thank you so much for sending me food! Sorry, I'm like small brain. Even if we rule out the hidden door, really, thank you though. Oh my god. The library's got no shortage of hiding spots. <laughs> There's piles of it's really all over. Since the culprit was there before the oh, wait, do I have unlimited arrow? Uh, oh, arrows. I have unlimited arrows. I have unlimited blades. But if the culprit killed him and ran away, wouldn't they have been caught on camera? Not if they went back into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran it, rejoin everyone, and we'd be none the wiser. Oh, did I... Did I do it wrong? Oh. oh. Okay. Not if they went back into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, uh, uh, all they gotta do is act like they just ran. Rejoin everyone and we'd be none the wiser. There we go. I just had the wrong one. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops, I didn't even realize. The culprit met him inside the library? That doesn't seem possible, though. Let's hear it then. What's your reason? No problem for the food, but. Hope you enjoy it. I will if enjoy it, honestly. That sounds very nice. From the camera we place near the front sounds door. like comfort food that I need right now. Thank you very much. This is when Shuichi and I met up with Kaito and Tenko, and then rushed in. This one shows the other four people running in after they heard Tenko scream. And finally, everyone else coming in after hearing the body discovery announcement. You can clearly see everyone entering the library. Why was Mew's face like that? <laughs> it wouldn't make sense if there was someone hiding in the library the whole time. Well, that does cover everyone now, doesn't it? I guess the one who still has a ways to go. It's me. It's okay, Ryoma. Ryoma's growing on me. Don't worry about it. It's better to think about each possibility anyway. Right, Shuichi? Hmm? Ah, um... Shuichi! Yes. Earth to Shuichi! 
Is Shuichi okay? He's been really quiet. Is he worried about something? So the real question is how the culprit entered and exited the library. We cannot continue until we address that problem first. It's quite the mystery. How did the killer avoid being caught by the cameras? Almost like they were invisible. Oh, but it wasn't me. My magic can only make you half invisible. Half invisible. Ooh. My upper half, to be specific. Oh, your upper half. Oh. That's kind of a half-baked invisibility spell, isn't it? But both doors to library had hidden cameras on them. How about the vent in the library? Maybe they came in through there. But Shuichi and I were on lookout in the classroom with the connecting vent. The culprit waited until Kaede and Shuichi weren't looking, then turned invisible. <laughs> Himiko is really gung ho about her invisible culprit theory. Uh. Um, yeah, no. There's no <laughs> way someone snuck into the library through the vent. That's right, we have evidence that proves that would have been possible. <laughs> I'm just imagining someone's like lower half of their body just like what? <laughs> you just see lights running around. Uh, there's a classroom vent and a library vent. Aren't they like the same thing? <laughs> uh I guess we're trying to say that it was the same setup thing, so maybe the library one instead of the classroom one. Oh! No, oh, never mind. Huh? What is the evidence that proves no one snuck into the library through the vent? Uh oh, oh, we have a step the stacked books. Oh my god, we have a separate thing for that. I, I kind of forgot about that. Oh. Yeah, okay. Oopsie poopsie. I get it. Hey, the other vent one worked too! When I set the cameras, I also stacked some books in front of the vent. If someone did crawl in and out from the vent, the books would have collapsed. While we were investigating, they were still neatly stacked the way I placed them. Maybe they put the books back when they left the room. That would be quite difficult to achieve on such a narrow bookcase. If we've ruled out the vent and doors, then how'd the culprits get in and out of the library? Maybe... Divine intervention? Yes, it was a Tua all along. Anta no can think of any other way to enter. Eureka! I know how the culprit got in the library. The front door! The front door. Um, have you been paying attention? The camera would have taken their picture. Not if the culprit timed their movements around the camera intervals. Huh? Intervals? Huh? You lost what me. Is that? Basically, the culprit knew about the cameras and their intervals. So they snuck into the library between camera shots to avoid appearing in the photos. <laughs> I know, I know. Beauty and brains. Why? It's just not fair. Huh? Hey, you. What's this interval you're talking about? You lost me. Huh? Oh, now you're asking me. After the shutter snaps, the camera can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. That was a rule? Because I redesigned the cameras to auto-roll the film instead of having to do it manually. Huh? That's the first time I'm hearing about this. Why didn't you tell us from the start? Honey, that's important to know. <laughs> but, but I told your little beta boy toy after I gave you the remodel. Your camera. beta boy toy? Ah! What? Ah! We are Shuichi? Uh, I'm sorry. I... I guess I forgot to tell you. How 
could you forget to tell me? I didn't think it would affect the plan. I I didn't realize it would matter. Shuichi? I I just forgot to mention it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I forgot. What a pitiful excuse. Boy toy. I, she, okay, I can't get over yeah, that. Beta boy toy. Okay. No, it's not a lie. He probably just forgot. There was so much going on at the time. It's only natural to forget, you know? Kaede? Yeah. Let's put that aside for now and talk about the camera intervals. Each interval lasted for 30 seconds, correct, Mew? Yeah, sure. I'll explain it again to you mushheads. The three cameras that Kaidiot and Fuichi place go off when they pick up movement. From there, it takes 30 seconds for the film to auto-roll to the next photo. So, for 30 seconds, anyone could have entered the I really? The photo <laughs> I really don't like where this is going. That may have been enough time to kill Rantaro and exit the library. It's definitely enough time. You just gotta move at lightning speed. I see, I see. Then there's no doubt the culprit made use of the camera's intervals. That means the culprit was Mew all along, since she knew about the intervals. Don't be an asshole! I have an alibi. Remember the dining hall? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> who else knew no. about the intervals? Hmm. Now, who was it again? Shuichi. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't. Well then, does this mean that he is the culprit we have been seeking? Oh, this is awkward. Shuichi. <laughs> hey, what gives, Shuichi? Shuichi would never do that. Right, Shuichi? Yeah, what Gunta said. Yes. You had better speak soon. Your silence only damns you further. <laughs> Not our beta boy That's toy. Already. Did you kill Rantaro? No, I still think it's Kaito. It makes total sense, totally. Hey, Shuichi. What's gotten into you? Don't tell me you're gonna plead the fifth now. <laughs> oh man, this is getting good. Entertain me, peasants. <laughs> Shuichi can't be the culprit. That's definitely wrong. There's no way. I refuse to believe Shuichi is the culprit. That's definitely not possible. Intermission? You can't end it. Fuck off. They really do be ending it there, okay. Well, not ending it, but whatever. Forward we go. I'm just, oh, come on. Well, now. well, the trial is racing toward its thrilling conclusion. Do you know who the culprit is? Obviously I know, cause I know everything. What, know everything? No, everything! Daddy knows everything about anything. He basically traded his bearhood for godhood. Yes, he has betrayed his earth sign ancestors. <laughs> traded? No, I'm still obviously a bear. It is obvious, right? Right, you guys? Yeah, sure. Ain't no fish, but you, but you damn sure smell like one. Anyway, since I know everything, I'll give you the whole story later. Try your hardest to nab the culprit, and believe me, that's no lie. If I lied, it would shake the game to its very foundation. <laughs> so trust me, and please enjoy the class trial without any worries. Yeah, just don't worry about it. Your boy toy, your beta boy toy is getting accused right now. Without defending himself. Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. I feel like we're getting close to the glory part. It's making me nervous. I don't know who the culprit is, but I'm not paying attention, so it's okay. Yeah, but there's one thing we do know. 
the line between victim and attacker ain't as clear as you might think. I suppose that's one lesson we can take away from this case. I cut off the leg before the poison spread. By spring, flowers will... I'm losing brain cells. Ugh, why do they talk? Say something already. Your tongue-tied silence speaks volumes. I fucking knew you were the culprit. But wait just a minute. None of that is possible. Shuichi was with me the whole time we were on lookout. Except when the time he wasn't with you. <laughs> when are you suggesting Shuichi killed Rantaro? Were you really together the whole time? Huh? What do you mean? I'm asking if you two were on lookout together the whole time. Well, I guess we weren't together the whole time. I'm gonna check out the basement. I'll come with you. You stay here and keep watch. So that's when Shuichi went to kill Rantaro! No! Shuichi wouldn't kill anyone! Don't become emotional. We must seek the truth in a calm and logical manner. Or all our lives will be lost here. I'm not being emotional here. I'm saying it with conviction. Even if Shuichi did go to the basement, he couldn't have killed Rantaro because... The time it took Shuichi to return, the security sensor going off, the murder weapon. Yeah, he's too weak to lift the fucking iron ball. Shuichi ain't got muscles. <laughs> the murder weapon was a shot up ball from the warehouse. We all have access to the warehouse. Why couldn't he have gotten a shot? Because he's too weak. It's obvious. <laughs> I get it. <sighs> the security alarm didn't ring until after Shuichi returned to the classroom. <laughs> Weak beta boy, no! <laughs> Your receiver was off, honey. It only rang after Rantaro moved the hidden door, which means he was still alive. If Shuichi was with me when the alarm went off, then that means he's not the culprit. By the way, I want to confirm one thing with you, Kaede. Oh boy. Who set the security sensor on the bookcase? It was Shuichi, right? That face. Huh? I'll set up the, the set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when Mastermind moves moves when the Mastermind moves the bookcase. <clears throat> Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase, and we'll set the cameras near each door. Yeah, Shuichi was the one who set up the security sensor. What about it? Did you actually check for yourself if the sensor was set on the bookcase, Kaede? No, I didn't check. Did it ever occur to you that Shuichi could have lied about setting the sensor? A, a lie? Come on! Shuichi pretended to place the sensor on the hidden bookcase door. But in actuality, he was holding it the whole time. And when he met up with you, he secretly triggered the sensor to make the security alarm go off. That would cause Kaede to assume that someone had moved the bookcase. I see, sneaky little fucker! At this rate, everyone's gonna think that Shuichi is the culprit! I have to do something! I know for a fact that he's not the culprit! So I gotta do something! He's not the culprit because we haven't banged yet! <clears throat> oh no, not white noise! Say it ain't so. Silencer, what the fuck is that? I'm, I'm offended. I'm personally offended. The 
security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it in order to trigger the alarm. So when Kaede heard the sensor go off, she figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot could make that mistake. Oh, say something. <laughs> say something. Literally anything. I should have evidence, uh, uh, the, have evidence that proves it's beyond a shadow of a doubt. Let me read exactly what the text says real quick. I always forget what they say. Uh, the receiver. Ah, the lag is so bad. Okay. Security alarms receiver the sensor was placed on the moving bookcase, so in case someone moved the bookcase, it would notify Shuichi, so it had to be on the moving bookcase. The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. Oh, it's blocking the V thing. Shuichi was in charge of setting the sensor, so we don't know if he actually did it. He used Kaede as a patsy to make her think Rantaro was alive when the sensor went off. No contradictions there, right? No contradictions the there, Chaos <laughs> Gremlin. Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved. God damn it. Until you can disprove Shuichi had the sensor, he will remain suspicious. Oh, disprove. That's an important word. The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out. Wait, what do they say about the classroom? Why is this relevant? Lag. Kaede and Shuichi were on lookout, although Shuichi left briefly to go check the basement. The two were together the entire time until the receiver went off. Wait, I'm so confused. Give me a second. His brain is small. Oh, right. Full time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it. In order to trigger the alarm. So when Kaede heard the sensor go off. She figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot can make that mistake. You're an idiot. The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. Oops. That's also wrong. Why did I do that? The security sensor was armed, but... I need 30 seconds for that? 30 seconds, dude. Whoops. Holy shit. It's so annoying. Shuichi! See how this doesn't make sense. Or I don't know how to use words properly. The moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it in order to trigger the alarm. So when Kaede heard the sensor go off, she figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot can make that mistake. 
Chuichi. I am slightly confused. I thought I knew where they were going with this. The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor. I'm when fairly certain that's what I need to. In order to trigger the alarm. I'm so fairly Kaede certain that's what I need to do. Off, she figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only simple. an idiot can make that mistake. The security sensor was on, but <laughs> isn't what tricked me. Oops. My god, this cursor is so slow. Oh, Jesus, there we no, go. That's wrong. Wait a minute. This is weird. If the security sensor wasn't placed, then... Oops, not on auto. <laughs> I'm like waiting for the text to go. We wouldn't have been able to take that picture. We were only able to get it because the sensor was triggered by the hidden door. Oh, that's easy to explain. Well, you see. You see. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Uh, I guess you're right. Sorry, I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> Get your small peepee -pee brain out of here. That easily? Yeah, I mean, whatevs. I made a mistake. Big deal. Your life is a mistake. You speak as if you knew that from the start. Hmm. Even I was taken. Hurts when it bites you back in the ass, huh? So you see, Shuichi can't be the culprit. Now wait just a minute. The security sensor had a power supply, so what if it went like this? Ah, uh, no, I was hoping. <laughs> Ryoma! <laughs> and Shuichi had its receiver. Come on, bro. Come However, on, Shuichi come on! Turned the receiver off. Huh? How come? <sighs> that would get you a picture. I wanted no them to forget about this point. The I wanted them to forget about it. But Brioma seems yeah. like he's 5,000 IQ. Says he's gonna check the basement. He actually goes to the library. And thanks to the 30 second interval, he's got time to go in after Rantaro. He could have collected the sensor from the hidden bookcase after killing Rantaro. I see. Then he caused the receiver to go off in front of Kaede to trick her. Shuichi! It's certainly plausible, considering that Shuichi knew about the intervals. You gotta say something, buddy. How needlessly complicated. But I guess it's not impossible. Then, Shuichi really is the culprit? No. <laughs> So the ultimate detective is the killer. What a plot twist! No. Wait! Why do you guys think he's the culprit? Kaede. Hey, please say something. Why aren't you saying anything? Yikes, yikes, yikes! Say something, anything! Shuichi, what's wrong? You're not a culprit, are you? Hey, you gonna say anything? We'll all vote for you if you don't. He's gonna snap. Are you okay with being the culprit? Are you ready to turn yourself in? Was it because like I insulted his hat so many times? Everyone suspects Shuichi. There's no way he's the culprit, but even so. Why won't Shuichi say anything? Is there a reason that he won't say anything? If that's the case, then it's all up to me. To protect everyone, I need to take control of this debate. We weren't before? Even if that means I have to lie to do it. What? A lie? Now, I know that sounds crazy, telling a lie in a class trial, but sometimes telling a lie is necessary to reach the truth? 
there are no lies in this tutorial. From here on out, there will be times in a debate you have to lie. What? Before, you had to refute the lies, but now you'll have to lie yourself. Oh. Doesn't that get your heart pumping? No, I'm scared. Here's how it works. Select a tr truth bullet that like a normal non-stop debate. But when you press hold X, the truth bullet will become a lie bullet when the op with the opposite meaning. Okay. We we lie in. When you use a lie bullet to argue or agree with someone's statement, it will become a perjury. Statement that paints over the truth with lies. While lying, your influence gauge will drain. A successful lie will restore it. If you miss with your lie bullet, you'll take damage. Also, I've heard a rumor that there's a secret way to advance debates. It's called a back route. Only those who lie well will be able to find it. I'm not a good liar. Thank you much, Leah. This is terrible. Oh my god, I'm fucked. Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receiver. But he had to what if I say I had the receiver and not Shuichi? And so when Rantaro moved the bookcase, that's my lie. It actually was a me. Picture was taken without the alarm sounding. Then taking advantage of the camera's interval timer, Shuichi hid in the library and murdered the shit out of Rantaro. And then he grabbed the security sensor from the bookcase and returned to the lookout spot. Afterwards, he set off the receiver in front of Kaede on purpose to make her think the murder had just happened. Praise be to Atua! We've solved this case! Okay, she's all sunshine and rainbows. I can, if I can argue against that, everything should be okay. I have to retake control. I have to tell Let's a lie. The case one more time. This is fucked up. The security sensor is... Shuichi also had the receipt. I'll turn this lie into the truth. I am so confused. Sorry, you guys. I forgot to tell you something important. Uh. Forgot? To tell you the truth, it was me. I had the receiver. Huh? So that's why there's no way Shuichi could have turned off the receiver. If that is true, then the entire premise of the argument thus far is wrong. Is this true, Kaede? No, I'm a bad liar. Call me out. Come on, would I lie to you guys? <laughs> That'd only screw yourself over. If we mess up, you're dead too, you know. Or perhaps you wanted to cover for Shuichi, even at the cost of your life. Huh? I cannot imagine why anyone would risk their life to lie on another's behalf. Words from a true heartless robot. Emotions are only for meatbags. That is a harmful stereotype. I can produce heartfelt remarks through calculations. Through calculations. Less than three? Those kinds of calculations? Oh my god. It's not so unthinkable. All hearts are blind when faced with radiant power. Doing anything for the one you love. Hasn't everyone felt that way before? Less than three! Chat, you're cute. <laughs> I'm sure that person didn't want your love. 
Kaede and Shuichi are pretty buddy-buddy with each other, so I wouldn't doubt that. Plus, the way Kaede just acted right now, I'm pretty sure she lied. Oh, okay, someone called me out. A talented liar like me can spot other people's lies easily. Well, what do you guys think? To believe or not to believe, Kaede? Um, I do want to believe Kaede, but Shuichi does seem pretty suspicious. He has been strangely quiet for a while now, which is classic degenerate male behavior. Yeah, I agree. Shuichi is the only person here who's suspicious. So we all agree that Puichi did it? Then let's just vote already! No, I still think it is too soon to determine the culprit. Kibo! Um, I agree. I sort of can't believe that Shuichi is the culprit. Yeah, this ain't right! I agree! Hmm? But I don't know if Atua agrees. Because right now, it's his nap time. Oh, okay. God's nap time. <laughs> this is quite troublesome. It seems our opinions are on opposite ends. How are we supposed to decide? We're split right down middle. Hold on. Oh, God. Split? Did you just say split? You did. I heard it. I heard it with my belly button microphone. So wait, your ears don't do anything? The what? The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds. More phenomenal trial grounds? The trial grounds are gonna morph? Seriously? <laughs> I totally want to see that. Either way, we have to do something. We can't vote for Shuichi because he's definitely not the culprit. If we vote for him, all hope is lost. I won't be able to save everyone. Oh, that's a lot of people in trouble. I haven't lost hope yet. Before I can save everyone, I need to make sure that we're all on the same page. You're split down the middle. At times like this, debate scrums are perfect. What? In a debate scrum, you will split into two teams. Uh, then you argue your opinions against each other. But look, everyone's so fired up, the subjects of your statements don't match. Uh, that's not how you debate at all. You have to match your subject with your opponents and put them in the correct order. That's how you make a good debate. Your sub your sides your side subject keywords will be displayed, but your opponent's subjects will be won't be revealed yet. Listen closely for the subject of your opponent's argument. Before your opponent finishes their statement, find the subject keyword and press X to argue. Okay. If you and your opponent argues match, then your keyword opponent's keyword will be revealed. And when all the statements match up, you will enter the finale. Try to convince all your opponents at once. Continuously tap the button displayed on the screen to push your opponent's claim out. Don't get pushed back. Push their claim out for a perfect refutation. Okay. I think I understand. Okay. Split opinion. Whoa, what's happening? What the fuck? What?
This song you feels like you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Oh no, oh, no! Both of them were together when the receiver went off. Ah, uh, fuck me. Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? Lag. If Shuichi had the receiver, it could have been just Kibo. Kaede is the one who actually had the receiver. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? I'll do it. We'll know whether or not it's a lie when we talk this through. Anyway, I got distracted from what I was saying, but you this song you knew about the sounds like it should be in like a, a DDR or something. If our points don't match, then we won't have to. Uh, we won't be able to make a convincing argument. You I know. I got it. I got it. Knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Gota. But you silent about intervals too. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Kaito. Kaede backed up Shuichi's alibi, didn't she? Shuichi and Kaede went together the whole Kirumi. Both of them were together when the receiver went off. If Shuichi had the receiver, it could hey, have been disguised. Be you, but me and Waifu are going the one who out actually had the receiver. Thanks for stream, though. You've been awesome. Hope the rest Kaede's of your stream goes I'll just do it. as well. Got it. We'll know whether or not it's a lie when we talk this through. Oh! I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing! Oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa! The buttons change, the buttons change! Ah! Uh, I did it! Yay! I win! Everyone, you have to believe me. Shuichi is not the culprit. If we vote for Shuichi, we'll be making the wrong choice. And if that happens, everyone will be executed. I still I don't see the point. Let that happen, even if it costs me my life. Kaede. Oh, that's the first thing he said. Yeah, it's just like Kaede said. Shuichi ate the culprit. Going to believe in Shuichi too. Gentlemen always believe in. They're friends. doing this out of blind faith. That's incredible. Well, if Shuichi is not our culprit. But who is? Huh, that's interesting. We've already exhausted all possible avenues of discussion. No way. There has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Shuichi? Huh? Shuichi, even though you're not the culprit, you've been quiet for a while. It's because you realized something, huh? You're scared to reveal the truth. <sighs> I thought so. Aww. Shuichi, answer me this. What kind of truth did you realize? Don't be scared to say it. Not just for me, but for everyone else. Please, face the truth. The picture. Picture? Picture from the camera aimed at the hidden door just before the murder. I always thought it was suspicious the way Rantaro was acting. Hmm? What's suspicious? If you look at the picture, it looks like Rantaro is trying to remove the camera, but that must mean he noticed the camera we set up. When did he notice that? I believe it was when the camera took its first picture. This picture was taken when Rantaro moved the bookcase. At that moment, something made him notice the camera. The flash? So he tried to remove it. That's when the bookcase closed. The sensor was triggered and that's when this picture was taken. If that is the case, we must find the reason why he noticed the camera. You're confusing everyone! Except me, of course. Just get to the fucking point! I've been no, they said earlier that it was turned off. 
why did he notice the camera? And the answer is in this picture. It is? I see, Shuichi knows. Wait, am I right? I get it. Oh, wait, that's a- what? I was right all along? Because of the flash, right? What? The flash? Yes, the flash went off when the hidden door camera took a picture. Rantaro noticed the camera's flash. But how can you tell the flash went off? Well, if you compare it to the other pictures that we have. I mean, just look at the Remember shadows. the pictures that were taken when I took down the cameras? This is the picture taken when I removed the front camera. This is the picture from when I removed the rear <laughs> These pictures are so flattering. And this is the picture of Rantaro. Whoa! The brightness is totally different! Same room, circumstance, and camera. And yet, there is a disparity in brightness. Okay, yes. This is something I noticed a long time ago, but I failed to see what relevance this has. What was the purpose of leaving the flash on? Especially since it was meant to be hidden. A mistake, maybe? It's no mistake. There was an objective here. That camera was placed for another reason. Another reason, huh? <laughs> it was to blind the mastermind. If the flash was bright enough, his eyes would be like, ah! And then he would be like, oh no, I can't do anything! The flash wouldn't have been necessary to take the mastermind's photo. That was really boring. It was to blind him. There was no point in blinding them. Oh, no, my eyeballs. What do you mean that wasn't it? I can do one more bullshit answer. I'm not going to die. It was to light up the room. Never mind, that flavor text sucked. I get it. The flash was used to lure whoever moved the bookcase to the camera. So when the flash went off, they would have noticed the camera right away. And that's exactly what happened. Rantaro moved the bookcase, noticed the flash, and then walked over to the camera. But the culprit didn't expect the camera to take another picture when the door closed. 30 seconds is a long time. If you notice the flash, 30 seconds, that takes like a whole five seconds to take that next picture, just saying. What is it? Not 30. Is something wrong? You've been acting kind of strange. Strange? Your last few remarks carry more conviction than before. Do you know who the culprit is? Wait a second. Wait! What? Yep, I know. I've known for a long time. Honey? Mm -hmm. Long time? Because there was only one person able to set the flash on the camera. Isn't that right? What? Honey, what? What? The culprit of this incident is... I'm going... Wait, where is she? Kaito? <laughs> he was my first guess at the start. I had to do it. Oh my god, what? 
You better have a fucking what? No doubt about it. Explain. What? Well, this is as far as it goes. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get to the mastermind. I'm sorry, everyone. Was she banking on it? I'm sorry, Rantaro. I'm oh. sorry. Oh. You stayed silent this whole time because you realized it already. Yeah. Right? Holy shit. But you can't do that. Wait, this can't Maybe be happening! The end of me, but I want my wish to. I'm giving it to you, Shuichi. From now on, you're going to carry on my wish. You're going to protect everyone. why it wasn't blind faith that she had that was that would have been real stupid otherwise i mean the other students are stupid then for believing it you can trust me what i won't let you wish come on granted wait but my beta boy toy wait 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 our relationship just started dude wait no Kaede is the culprit. Oh, he said it. No, honey. Huh? Why? Why is this happening? Kaede did it? Wait! That's not possible! Right, Kaede? Kaede? Wait, did she really? <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Huh? Did you guys really think I'm the culprit? Shh, come on, guys. Like I could. What's going on? When Rantaro was murdered, I was in the classroom with Shuichi, remember? After that, we went to the library, and that's the first time I even saw his body. Plus, I... Well, um... Okay. We live this life. I got the secret game over. What if this was actually all part of the story? It's actually all part of the story. <laughs> well, uh, I, uh, decoy, thank you for 
for the gifted sub. Erlen, thank you for the 100. Wembley, thank you so much for the 14, uh, 14 months. I appreciate it. Well, at least this will go by fast. So why is Kaede like... It's not me all of a sudden. I don't understand. We were Kaede. Like, am I going fucking crazy? Like, we are... That means that I am the one that did it. Like, I don't understand. Wait, what if should we ch Oh God. I don't know this. Wait, what was this again? Oh, fuck me. I, I forgot this. Get it. <laughs> the, the trial was going toward a thrilling conclusion. <gasps> yeah. Right. Totally. So anyway. That happened. Oh, yay! The All right. The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. Oh, look at that! No, First wrong. try! How does she do it? How does she do it? That's crazy. She's so five head. Dang. Five thousand IQ. Have a manual save? Yeah, I think whenever I get up to that point, I will uh, try to do a manual save. I think you can at any point in time. I don't understand. All right, now I gotta tell a lie. All right, at least this this goes by fast. We're fine. We're fine. Ain't nothing Let's bad ever happened. One more time. Shuichi also had the response. I'll turn this lie into the truth. Hold on. All right, time to be a liar. Why do all these kids believe me? I literally have no evidence to back it up. My lie. And all these stupid fucks just believe me. you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Gonta! But me too. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Kaito! Kaede back- That's Shuichi's alibi, didn't she? Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? Hirumi! Both of them were together when they see them. If Shuichi ever- Okay, this music is lit, though. Kibo! Kaede- He's the one who actually had the receiver. Kaede's- I'll do it! I gotta press buttons again. Easy game. Oh, I thought it was gonna crash again. You have to believe me. Shoot. Yeah, it's just like. 
Let me see. I can go to the handbook right now. I don't know if it'll let me save. I'll try, though. Okay. That's something. Oh, wait. I should have saved it after. I forgot. I have to accuse myself. Do the flash thing, too. Oh, there's still two more things I still have to do. Oops, I forgot. I get it. to lure whoever moved the boat. <laughs> Isn't that right, Shuichi? The culprit of... Well, this is awkward. No doubt about it. It's like there's no text and none of this is voiced. <gasps> Let's just hope we don't get another Bidoop. crash. I'm sorry. Kaede. Thanks, Chuichi. Huh? All right, I'm saving again. Wait, I can play dress up? I just saw that. What are this? Oh, my monopad theme. Oh. Okay. Kaede? We have to go a little bit further. She has to be like, I didn't do I couldn't have done it. Jeez, of course not. Do you think I'm even strong enough to throw that shot? My hands are only strong enough to play piano. I'm accusing you of being the culprit. <laughs> yup, it's wrong. Shuichi's just joking around. He wanted to lighten up the mood. It's Shuichi's just joking, guys! Right. No matter how you look at it, I couldn't have killed Rantaro with that shot. I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth, but the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So fight for the truth, even if it is frightening. I know you can do this. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping and let that be your strength. <laughs> <laughs> when the words have a different meaning. No, I'm not joking around. Kaede definitely killed Rantaro. Yeah, he has strength now. Go get him, Shuichi. What the hell did you just say? Oh. It seems as though Shuichi is serious after all. Of course I am. Why don't you tell me then? How did I kill Rantaro with that shot? Yeah, how? You and Kaede were together the whole time, weren't you? How Kaede killed Rantaro with a shot football. 
should become clear when you consider where she used it. Where she used the shot. Huh? What? I lost you guys. Oh my god. The vent. She dropped it down through the vent and the stacked books. Is that why she stacked the books? The ball rolled down. Wait a sec. Is that it? She left the vent open. She pulled the grate off of the vent. She deliberately left it open. I have an alibi. Please. That would be cool, actually. When Antaro was killed, I was in the classroom, standing watch with Shuichi. Hey, they never saw Rentaro. Wait. Oh, maybe not it. Okay, that would be interesting. But okay, okay, okay. It wasn't it. It wasn't it. What were the other, uh, the lookout classroom? Although Shuichi left briefly to go check the basement, the two were together the entire time until the receiver went off. I forgot what the other key thing was. How she kill him? Oh, the promotional what? Music that Monokuma played to encourage everyone to start the killy game. It was on full volume. It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. It's in the library. Rentaro was killed in the library after all. The only explanation. In which case, it's impossible for me to be the culprit. Yikes. I have an alibi. This is so the weird. This is I so weird. Classroom, standing watch with Shuichi. I never saw Rantaro. This is so weird. <laughs> Possible. We are the character, though. I have an alibi. When Rantaro was killed, I was in the classroom, standing. Stupid white noise. Weren't we on the lookout together? It's true that you left, Shuichi, but that wasn't enough time for me to do anything. The truth can be found elsewhere, don't you agree? This is so weird. Shuichi's about to have like a fucking breakdown too. This poor man doesn't deserve this. Uh, I have an alibi. I feel like after this trial, Shuichi's when gonna be scarred for killed, life, dude. I was in the classroom, standing watch with Shuichi. I never saw Rentaro. How she killed him? It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was in the library. Rentaro was killed in the library after all. In which case, it's impossible for me to be the culprit. I have an alibi. Should I use this? I, I'm not... Okay. I'm gonna do... I don't know about this one. Oh, I missed. No! Okay, phew. Rantaro died instantly and we found him right after. He was obviously killed in the library. Okay, so we... I'm sorry, Shuichi, I'm letting you down! Oh, I keep pressing. I have an alibi. When Rantaro was killed, I was in the classroom, standing watch with Shuichi. Kaede hey, never saw Rantaro. Am I trying to refute that? I don't understand. I'm like very perplexed right now with the fact that like I am Kaede. What, 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 what I'm refuting myself. This is so weird. I'm so confused. I'm refuting the fact him? that. It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was in the library. Rentori was killed in the library after all. Yeah, he was in the library. Okay, so it's definitely not that. Wow, I'm refuting myself! 
This is so weird! Okay, sorry. What do you say about that? Oh, it's the same text as before. Okay, it doesn't matter what bullet you use. I was hoping for a different text there. Alright, so the other point. Where the is in the library. Oh, yeah. If Rintaro was killed in the library, it's obvious that the shot was used there. If you don't agree, Shuichi, then I want you to present evidence to persuade us. I know you can do it. Oh, she's pushing me. But why? I have an alibi. What's the reason for this? I was. Why? How many? Oh, I still have a lot of hearts left. We're fine. When Rantaro was killed. They never saw Rantaro. Establish where we know that it was in the war I'm sorry! <laughs> when Rantaro was killed, oh, I was okay. in the classroom standing watch with Shuichi. Am I supposed to lie? To where we know that no, in the that wouldn't make sense. This ain't no split deal. There we go. So, okay. I am Shuichi. We just like changed protagonist. Kaede didn't use the shot football at the scene of the crime. She used it at the first floor classroom where we were keeping watch. Hold on. How could she have hit Rantaro with a shot from a different floor? She rolled it. She rolled the shot from the first floor classroom and hit Rantaro. I am skeptical that she could perform such a feat of accuracy. So it was a magic shot put ball? Yeah. That's not possible. It is possible. If you do it at the right spot in the classroom, it will reach the library. So it seems you already know about that. I didn't want to figure it out. I didn't know. I didn't want to know. So now, wait a second. I'm about to have an existential crisis. <gasps> no. Okay. So we just changed protagonist. And now I'm Shuichi. That means I'm the character with the bad fashion sense. I'm the character with the fucking head. No! I can't turn away from the truth. No! This is the worst ending. Oh, the place she rolled the shot put ball to move it from the classroom. I know that... When you need... better I swear to fucking god select the letter orbs in the right order to create the keyword press a to activate the flash spot okay while the letters are illuminated you will not be able to, to actually select an letter orb to make sure you remember where they are, press X to get the letter. Oh no. Honey, no. I barely listen to you. I'm so checked out. This exists. Why does this exist still? Uh, 
Where was the shot put rolled to make it enter the library, the vent? Okay, this at least doesn't fucking suck, dude. I see now. Okay. It's not the last game. It's at least manageable. Alright. This ain't so bad, we're fine. It still is awful, but it's better at least. If you were to roll the shot in there, it would reach the library. That air duct connects the classroom to the library. So, the shot is rolled into the vent, passes through the duct, and comes out of the air vent above the library bookcase. But how could she have hit Rantaro from all the way over there? The vent was way too far from Rantaro's body. So it was just a coincidence? What kind of coincidence is that? Hmm. What a mystery. I already know the answer to that as well. It was no coincidence the culprit set it up that way intentionally. If I'm remembering correctly, there was something off about her then. Damn it. How could I not realize it? It's okay. You were simping. It's okay, though. It's okay. It's okay. You know, sometimes it happens to the best of us. I, I said I wouldn't back down. I made a promise. Man, we changed pro tags. I like Shuichi and all, but the damn the hat. The I gotta live with this. How did it strike Rantaro's head from that distance? <laughs> yeah, that's my hope. It's not like it started rolling on its own. It fell off a bookcase onto Rantaro's head. Oh. Maybe the shot was on the floor. And Montaro tripped over it, causing him to hit his head on the bookcase. What? Honey? Watch out so you don't slip and fall! What? What if Rontaro's corpse moved on its own? Holy fucking shit. Aren't like you supposed to be smart, woman? The when the shot hit his head. Then he walked a few steps before he finally dropped dead. What? Hey, Shuichi. Don't lose sight of the truth. Aww. The shot that fell from the vent. How did it strike Rantaro's head from that distance? Yeah, that's your fucking. It's not like it's started rolling on its own. Wait, my cursor's not moving. It still worked worry. out somehow, but I. What? It's just like we almost said. The shot rolled along the top of the bookcase and fell on Rantaro's head. It rolled? Along the bookcase? I did say that, but would the shot have rolled that conveniently? It has nothing to do with convenience. The shot rolled exactly how the culprit wanted. They used books on top of the bookcases to direct the path of the shot. The shot's path was directed by books? How would that even work? Ah, it would be easier to explain with the floor plan of the library. Shuichi. Now I feel bad for him. Even more. In fact, there might that might be concrete proof of my theory. I remember one of them having a detailed floor plan. Miyu said that she had it with her drone. That's it. Oh. Miyu, I recall that during the investigation. You said you would use your drone to make a floor plan. Oh, this yeah. is sad. What happened with that? Ha! I've already developed the photos and drafted some sketches. Then let's look at it. Maybe we all find clue. Please, Mia. Oh, want him that badly, huh? Fine. But now you owe me one. Voila! Feast your eyes on these babies. Uh. Hmm? What is? 
See? The books are stacked like stairs from the veil to where Rantaro's body was found. Oh! Shuichi is right! Indeed. They are stacked like stairs. I did not notice when I looked up from the floor. I see, I see. The shot rolled on top of these books, eh? Yes. I'm sure. The shot was rolled into the classroom. If the vent was open, the shot would have maintained momentum. And you did that, right, Kaede? You made sure the vent was open. Good memory, Shuichi. When the shot came through, the stacked books made it change direction. It then rolled down the path made by the books. The books were stacked in rows so that the shot wouldn't fall off. At the same time, the books blocked the shot from view. Then, when the ball was directly above Rantaro, it changed direction, rolled along the groove of the open books, and fell on top of his head. And it was the camera flash that lured him to that exact spot. Setup that complicated is almost like a Rube Goldberg machine. <laughs> so Kaede created this mechanism? Well, it would be. Wait, even with the Rube whatever setup, <laughs> when did she roll the ball into the duct? That's right! Wasn't Shuichi with Kaede in the classroom? When did Kaede roll the shot putt ball? It had to have been at just the right time to kill Rantaro. <clears throat> That's it. The moment we ran out of the classroom. When the sensor went off, I ran out first, and then Kaede followed. But just before she left. Shuichi, the receiver. Shuichi sprinted out of the classroom with the determination of a true detective. I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Shuichi. I'm right, aren't I, Kaede? Well, that's so the trippy. Detective would remember all that. Your words and that smile. Is this your admission of guilt? Hold on! Don't just jump to conclusions. I've still got a lot of questions. <laughs> That's weird. Why do you sound so desperate? There's nothing weird about it. There's just no way I could believe someone like Kaede would be the culprit. Yeah, going to not believe it either. Aww. Y'all are dumb. <laughs> Don't worry, Kaede. I'll clear your name. <laughs> Give me a sec. to grab my food. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I have to play. Shit. Okay. <laughs> um I refuse to believe that Kaede is the culprit. I still have my doubts. Doubts about the noise, of course. 
library should have been quiet, right? Did I miss? Look, I can do this. If that shot was oh. rolling through the vents, <laughs> it would have made a ton of noise. Indeed, so much noise. Rentaro would have heard. Yeah, some noise ain't a big deal. Of course it's a big deal. I refuse to believe that Kaede is the culprit. All right, I got this this time. I still have my doubts. I need a doubt. Doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have been quiet, right? Eh. No! If that shot was rolling through the vents... It would have made a ton of noise. Indeed, so much noise. My child would have heard. Yeah, some noise ain't a big deal. I refuse to believe that Kai. Hey, hey, the I still have my doubts. Doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have been quiet. No! If that shot was rolling through the vents, it would have made a ton of noise. Indeed, so much noise. My the oh, sun is bright. We're gonna I get this. I refuse to believe that Kai. Hey, hey, the I still have my doubts. Push. Library should have been quiet, right? Right there. Yeah, V! That's wrong. The murder occurred while the Killing Game promotional video was being broadcast. So the library would not have been completely quiet at the time. The video drowned out the sound of the shot rolling. What? Kaito, are you done now? Kaito! Damn it! So it's true then? You're saying Kaede really is the culprit? So that means most of Kaede's sins were committed right before Shuichi died. That's correct. I was with her in the classroom. Shuichi! And when she moved the vent grate aside. And when she lined up the books on top of the bookcase. Hmm. Shuichi's never gonna trust anyone ever again, dude. He's gonna have trust issues for life. I feel so bad. And it was the same when you took the murder weapon, wasn't it? You took the shot put ball when you got the cameras for Mew, right, Kaede? Hmm. <laughs> Aww. This is a really cool twist, but really sad. So you were hiding it the entire time? Like, that's us! We were doing that! Where would she have even hidden it? It could only be one place. In the backpack. That's it! Kaede's backpack. She was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry in a backpack. I noticed you also had a spare vest, which you could have wrapped it in. That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. Aww. And that means all of this happened right in front of Shuichi. Yeah, you don't need to say it again. But we should not blame him for that. Aww. None of those actions warranted suspicion at the time, so we might not have noticed. Aww. 
That clears it all up, then. Every part of the crime Kaede plotted. That can't be. It's gotta be mistake, right? But if all of that is true, then that's pretty unfortunate. I mean, it's Kaede, you know? Oh, you suddenly care she about me? preaching about working together, and then she goes and kills in cold blood. No, something still doesn't fit. Oh! Hmm, what doesn't fit? Kaede wouldn't do something like that. Oh, that's all? Huh? You mean she's not the type? But you were the one that said she did it, right? Yes, I did say that. But murder in cold blood is just not in her character. Oh, baby. I truly believe that. I believe in her. Oh. But why? Why do you still believe in me, Shuichi? Oh. Why? Tell me why! Why are you doing this? Are you still looking away from the truth? Not at all. My belief in you is going to lead me to the truth. I'll show you what's behind all this. Mm. I'll show you your truth. Oh. I know this is getting crazy, right? But it's time for another tutorial. Way to buzz kill. Your opponent is on the ropes with their argument argument mode and won't listen to you. You have to remove their arguments and refute with what they're saying. Uh, the objective is to destroy all of the all of your foes' arguments and strike the finishing blow. Oh, rhythm! Ah, oh, fuck me! Not the rhythm game. Uh, the markers on top of your opponent's statements are called rhythm sites. Right when the gauge makes one revolution, press the correct button to sh shoot the statement. Okay. <clears throat> when damaged enough, their armament will break and the music will change. The tempo will also pick up so match the timing. Can't get on rhythm? Try pressing R to focus fever time. <laughs> yeah, fever time. That's great. You can only activate it when your focus energy is full. When your opponent's are is destroyed, you can give your final argument. Okay. Same deal, kind of, as the last game. You split second logic logic. Okay. Oh god. Hmm. You still believe in me? I'm definitely the culprit. You think I wouldn't do it? Um. Oh, 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 oh! Me? I'm definitely. Oh, the I got this! Alright, this is. Okay. Ah! I'm the one who killed Rantaro! That's the truth of this case! And that's all there is to it! I'm a terrible murderer! This is I really hard because everyone. there's. I'm the one who killed Rantaro. Uh, there's in, uh, there's a lag. That's I have to the press the button like a few milliseconds before it actually and goes that's off. Oh, that's so it. fucking annoying. I'm a terrible murderer. Ah! Please stop. I'm trying. Just stop. Remember what I told you? You have to fight for the truth. Shuichi, I know oh you can God, do this. this. Is if you say you believe in me, then... Don't look away from the truth! Please stop! Just stop! Oh, this Remember is so sad! Wait! You this is the first trial! The Why am I depressed? Shuichi, I know you can do this. If you say you believe in me, then... Don't look away from the truth! Please stop! Just stop! Remember what I told you? Ah! Do you know what I was trying to do? You're trying to kill the mastermind.
You weren't persuaded by Monokuma. And you weren't trying to save yourself. Aww. What you were trying to do was kill the Mastermind. Kill the Mastermind? Kaede wasn't targeting Rantaro. She was targeting the Mastermind. She was trying to end this killing game. She was trying to save us all. Isn't that right, Kaede? I see! Otherwise, everyone would have died when the time limit expired. So, she tried to end the killing game by killing the mastermind? But it's all my fault. Oh. Kaede trusted my detective skills. I told her the mastermind might be there. And that's why she set that trap. <laughs> it's all my fault. She trusted my detective work, and I screwed Honey, it no! Up. <laughs> Stop. It's not true. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Please. This is actually so sad. What the fuck? It'll be harder for me. I'm eating chicken to try to make me not depressed, and none of this is your fault. It's mine. Everything's my fault. She's crying so much. No. Shinichi, can I ask you to do one last favor for me? Oh my God, I cannot handle can this. End all of this. What? I want you to reveal everything that happened and convince everyone. And then, I want you to end this. That's. My final wish. I understand. I'll end all of this. I'll reveal everything. The truth and the lies. I want to help you grant Kaede's wish. Shut up, tutorial person. After selecting a Depressed. <clears throat> Thank you. 
The music's kind of chill. <laughs> the music is happening. Bow to me, Ligruma. <laughs> Stop trying to make me laugh, game. Fuck you. <laughs> the truth of the case mm. it all began two days prior when monokuma gave us the additional motive the time limit added to this killing game triggered the crime after the announcement some of us decided to form groups to plan our next move I had my own plan to find a mastermind, and someone offered to help me. At the time, I never would have imagined they would become the culprit. To expose the mastermind, the culprit and I set up hidden cameras in the library. There was a hidden door in the library that showed signs of use. We deduced that the mastermind would return there to let Monokuma out. The next day, we asked Mew if she could modify some cameras for our... We then went to the warehouse to gather the necessary materials. All we needed were disposable cameras and a security sensor. But the culprit found something else there. The murder weapon. That's right. The shot put ball. They put the cameras as well as the shot in their backpack. Then, on the day the time limit would expire, the day of the murder, the culprit and I collected the modified cameras from you and visited the library. Once there, we searched the room for ideal locations to place the cameras, but even then, the culprit was preparing them. They began by removing the vent grate and laid it inside the air duct. Then, they moved the pile of books on top of the bookcase, pretending to organize them. After that, they placed open encyclopedias on the final bookcase. It appeared innocuous enough, but it was actually a path for the murder weapon.
The culprit also tampered with the hidden camera linked to the security sensor. I was responsible for setting up the other cameras, but that one, I didn't even notice their trick. Hmm. They use duct tape to keep the flash function on. After the cameras were set, the culprit and I climbed the stairs to the first floor classroom. We kept a lookout for the others and waited for the security sensor to go off. During the stakeout, we saw Kaito and six others go down to the basement. Rantaro was with them, the first victim. After watching that group into the game room, I returned to the classroom. With about one hour remaining, the security receiver I was holding went off. I assumed it was the mastermind, so I ran out of the classroom to the library. I was in such a hurry, I left the culprit behind. Aww. Looking back on it now, that was the last chance I had to stop the murder. After I had left, the culprit took the shot put ball out of their backpack and rolled it into the classroom vent. This set the murder in motion. Rantaro had moved the bookcase, triggering the receiver. Unbeknownst to him, the trap had been sprung. First, the modified camera took a picture of Rantaro with a flash on. Rantaro noticed the flash and approached. Wait, we're never gonna find out Rantaro's ultimate talent now. The camera flash lured Rantaro. Now I'm even more depressed. Oh my god. Path. The shot the culprit tossed into the vent rolled through the air duct. Came out of the library's vent. Nico! That's toxic! Opening the vent grate and organizing the books. Can't was believe you do this. Create a path. Under normal circumstances, the victim Nico so toxic. Noise. Can't believe I found this out today. <laughs> but the promotional video was masking the sound of the shot rolling. The shot kept rolling, then fell on Rantaro's head, <laughs> killing him instantly. By the time we had entered the room, the murder was complete. All right, game, GG. Uh, having your protagonist be the person, I huh? Imagine, seeing Rantaro's body, the culprit probably thought The mastermind is dead. The game is over. Now we can all go home. But their wish didn't come true. Because Rantaro wasn't the mastermind. It was murder. In an attempt to save all our lives. That is the truth. That's the truth behind your lies, Kaede Akamatsu. The ultimate pianist. Now I'm dead. And that concludes the events of this case. No. Kayede did it? Kunta! Damn it! It is a truth I do not wish to accept. But since Shuichi has brought everything to light, we can at least try to trust the Kaede we've come to know up to this point. The Kaede we've come to know? Even if she did commit a crime, what Kaede has said to us is not a lie. If that was a lie too, it'd be the last straw for me. I'd have nothing left to believe in. Oh. You guys are so nice. 
Even though I betrayed you all. No, that's not true, Kaede. You were trying to save all of us. Nice job, Shuichi. I didn't expect any less. What? You were super reliable back there. But you still have a long way to go. You need to be more assertive. If you did that more often, you'd be a pretty cool guy. What do you mean? He's already a cool guy! That's toxic! Kaede, why? Why are you smiling like that? Why are you still trying to get me to be brave? Why, Kaede? Why are you thinking about everyone except yourself? If you had just been less selfless, he wouldn't have had to murder. Why? Why do you do that? Oh, baby. I'm sorry. Stop, stop, stop! At least save it for the end of the trial! Sheesh! It looks like the debate's finished, so that means it's voting time! All right, you bastard! And make sure y'all vote, cause we're... At last! The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the... It's voting time! Chosen as the black. <clears throat> Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? It was definitely Rantaro. I mean, we could just. We should. We can just say that. We can just say that it was suicide. I mean, why would you go to the library when you said you were going to the bathroom? The dude basically committed suicide. It wasn't me. Why were you going to the library? Why, why were you... Why? Yeah, the ball rolled itself, dude. It wasn't me. Absolutely right. You all voted correctly. We did. Oh. I'm glad. What? Don't screw around. Is this how you want to end That's it? Not, true. <clears throat> not really, but it could have turned out a lot worse, so this is fine too. I don't get it. It's not fine. This is super horrible. The worst ever. <laughs> how did it come to this? Please. Kaede, what would you what would possess you to do something <sighs> like this? Gunta no can accept this, not unless you explain. Real. I won't be satisfied until I hear it straight hey. from you. Kaede, please. Oh no, we're officially the pro tag. I mean, we were before, but now it's like in a different UI and I feel weird. Uh, wait, I can refute that. No, that's wrong. This conversation is going nowhere. Wait. No, that's wrong. 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 I wanted to kill the mastermind, and I thought doing that would end the killing game. No. That's wrong. That's wrong. But... Why did you try to kill them? Maybe they could have been captured. Um, if it hadn't been for that time limit, I probably would have done that. But the time limit meant that capturing the mastermind was less likely to work, you know? Because the mastermind could have just played dumb to run out the clock and kill us all. Yeah. I was worried about that happening. Therefore. 
You sought to kill the mastermind That's instead. Right. I had made up my mind just before we set up the cameras in the library. I thought it was my last chance to save everyone. I couldn't let that chance pass me by. I had to save everyone, no matter what. Even if you had to kill someone. Yeah. That's right. I thought that killing the mastermind was our best shot at escaping this place together. I really believed it, too. But... Kaede, it never dawned on you? As soon as you as that thought entered your head, Monokuma had you right where he wanted. Because what mattered most to Monokuma is that killing game, the killing game started. You really don't get it. Regardless of your reasons, the moment you felt the urge to kill, you had already lost. You agreed to be part of this killing game when you allowed murder to fill your heart. Wait. To put it like that. But he's not wrong. She's the reason the killing game finally started. Uh, no. If Kaede hadn't done anything, we'd all be dead by what? now. Kaede save everyone. We no can blame her. I know that. You don't need to remind me. That's why I'm so pissed off. Pissed off at myself for being so useless. Um. Kokichi, that's enough. I can see through your act. Yeah. Whoops, that obvious, huh? That's right. Kokichi's right. I was being played. And I didn't even kill the mastermind. I killed one of our dear friends instead. What I did was so terrible, so unforgivable. I took an innocent life. I'm nothing but a horrible murderer. You should all hate, blame, and be disgusted by me. Wait! Kaede, please calm down. Uh, After we found Rantaro's body when I realized he wasn't the mastermind, I thought about ending this by confessing to you what I had done. But I couldn't because of Monokuma's first blood Lord. perk. I see, if you'd have confessed there and then, you would have been able to leave. But you decided you couldn't leave this place by yourself, so you kept quiet. Because of the first blood perk, you were forced to hide the truth from us. Yeah, yeah that's right. I see. So the first blood perk worked against the Blackened rather than for them. But at the same time, I thought, if I did this for everyone, then instead of making things easier by confessing, I thought I should lie to you all, so it, it would motivate you to keep moving forward. Then... Is that the reason for the trial? To reveal the mastermind? Because... I felt like it... If I didn't do this, then Rantaro's death would be meaningless. Well then. We were searching for both the culprit and the mastermind during the class trial. Oh, yeah! Kaede did mention that. I never wanted to keep my crime a secret. I was going to tell you all eventually, but before I did, I wanted to expose the mastermind first. Then the killing game would not would have ended and everyone but me would be saved. I thought that was the best way I could atone for killing Rantaro. Sorry. This is my fault. I was wrong. There was no mastermind. Oh, baby. You made her believe it. Oh, this is so bad. You were wrong, but didn't you say the Mastermind was one of us? Uh, okay. That... that's what I thought at first, but in the end we have nothing. No one made any moves at the time limit, the trial was useless. Let's see. Even when Shuichi was about to be voted the Blackened. Still, they did not appear. Maybe... Sheesh, that seriously was a close one! If Kaede had just kept her mouth shut, we'd all be dead right now! Right, Shuichi? Oh. But... On the other hand, she's only in this mess because she decided to say something at that moment. Yes. I wanted to protect Kaede, but I also wanted to unmask the mastermind. But even when the killer was about to be condemned, they remained Sorry. hidden. That has to be... That has to mean that the mastermind is not among us after all. What? So Kaede had the wrong idea the whole time? All of her actions were taken under Shuichi's fall of flawed logic. Okay. That's why this is my fault. All of this happened because my detective work was wrong. Oh. If I never said anything about a mastermind to Kaede, <sighs> Rantaro wouldn't have died and Kaede wouldn't be a murderer. This is all my fault. That's wrong. No, it's not. Huh? Because I killed him, not you. Right? Didn't I? But Kaede, why did you set such a convoluted trap? If your intent was to kill the mastermind, there was no reason for you to cover your tracks. Jeez. Isn't it obvious it's because she didn't want Shuichi to know? Yeah. Of course, but I didn't want everyone else to know either. Because I said I wanted to escape this place with everyone. Because... But you guys wouldn't want to be friends with a girl who killed someone, would you? 
Heyday put a lot of thought into this. She put so much thought into this, it drove her to commit murder like a lunatic. God, you're such a dumbass. Yeah. I know, right? I'm such an idiot. However, We only survived the time limit because of that idiocy. Right. We're still alive thanks to you! <laughs> Kaede, I didn't know how, but I wanted to get you- uh, get out of here with you. I wanted to be friends. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Damn. So you're saying everything you did was because you were thinking of us? And you hid that? You hid that you killed him just to stay and stay and help us? Hi, hello! All right, all right, that's it. What? Ah, that's right. <laughs> I see nothing gets past my adorable little cubs. Now then. Can't let this boring display of grindy action to a halt. So, time to make things interesting. Huh? Thrills, chills, kill! Ah! Don't screw around. There's no way we'll let you do that. Hey! Ah! Punishment time is a sacred segment. You're not allowed to interfere. And if you even try to interfere, We'll just crush you with these here exosols. It's cruel, but it's probably better if one person dies instead of everyone. Like hell am I just gonna sit here and do what you say? Kaede fought with her life on the line, and so will I. Gonta will face you all. Times like this Aww. are why Gonta became strong. My friends. Gentlemen never back down, and neither will Gonta. Gentlemen, don't back down. <laughs> this is the perfect chance to test out my Neo Aikido skills on machines. Oh. Yeah, I'll help. I can... Everyone, stop! Oh. Stop it. Kaede. I... Enough, you guys. I've already prepared myself. You're giving up? Why? You said you'd never give up, that we'd get out of here together. That's what you said, Kaede. Why are you giving up now? Did you mean what you said? I know we can do something. Don't give up until the end. No. I'm not giving up because I have you. Huh? You know? Even after I'm gone, my wish will still be here. So I'm counting on you all and entrusting my wish to every one of you. I believe in you. I believe that you will all make it through this somehow. You have to live! Don't go dying on me now! End this ridiculous killing game! Survive! And get the hell out of this place! It's a promise. And then, be friends after you escape, okay? I think you'll all be the best of friends. Yeah. I shall take that request. <laughs> Going to work hard and keep friends safe till very end. Well, Kaede, you definitely weren't boring. Wait, wait a second! Kaede, please don't! Hey! Shuichi, you better not lose. You can't lose! Yeah, no, you can beat it! It's punishment time! Oh, Shuichi! I believe in you! It's a promise.
Okay, so I'm sad, but I'm also like, yay, one of the cubs is gone now. I guess that's a W. The moment it was over, I felt my legs give out under me. What I just saw, it didn't feel real. As if all reality had vanished and the only thing left was a fictional world. Real or not, Kaede was gone. Kaede Akamatsu no longer existed in our world. Oh well. It's okay after all. I still got four more cubs. Right now, I'm glad you kids came in bulk. <laughs> well. What's done is done. What's dead is dead. No point crying over crushed cubs. <laughs> Unless you want to end up like these sad sex. <laughs> Hello, emotional whiplash, my old friend. Are you fucking kidding me? Talk about overkill! Amen! Atua, please grant Kaede's soul eternal repose. I can't believe this happened to Kaede. I liked her so much! <laughs> Yahoo! All this adrenaline creates such an exquisite feeling of despair! The, it's moments like this that make all the killings worth it! This is why are you doing such a terrible thing? How dare you! You're the worst of the worst! Does human life have no value to, to you at all? Hey, um... I know human life is precious. I'm not a monster, you know. That's wrong. That's wrong. Because <laughs> if human life wasn't precious, ending it wouldn't be nearly as fun. That's wrong. That's wrong. Extreme! There's no greater joy than witnessing such a display of despair entertainment. That's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> You've surpassed psychotic by a wide margin. What now? I don't think I've ever felt quite this irritated. No. I won't forgive you for this. Got that? I won't ever forgive you. Oh. Spoken like a marked man. Excuse me. What is your objective, Monokuma? What are you trying to pull? Do you hate us? If so, have we done something to make you hate us? Huh? Hate you? <laughs> Who can say? Hey. That's your job to figure out. If you really want to know what's going on, you're going to have to work for it. Well. Though the corpse formerly known as Rantaro may have had a hunch. Huh? What is it? What do you mean? What was Rantaro's hunch? <laughs> what indeed? Yeah. He did say he would end this game, and he also knew about the hidden door. Could that be all at all related to this hunch you claim he had? <laughs> I wonder... Why, yeah. What the hell's this hunch you're going on about? Spill it! Then, if you have no intention of telling us, then keep your mouth shut. Cause you're focusing on Kaede instead of her deadweight victim. Well, well, it's not his fault he was useless. He died before his talent could be revealed. If he had lived long enough to reveal it, maybe he would have been more useful. Oh well, he's dead and that's that! That's the indifference of death for ya! However, he wasn't really the mastermind, was he? You're really bugging Huh? Are you still pestering me with these annoying questions? And another thing. Aren't you guys focusing a little too much on whether or not there's a mastermind? If you keep this up, you're all gonna end up like Kaede. What? Here. Maybe spend less time worrying about nonsense and more time watching your back, okay? Right. You never know who's gonna become the next killer! <laughs> Eh -ha, I cannot wait. I wonder what kind of killing game we'll get to see next. Hmm. You may have gotten us this time, but we'll get you next time. You'll see. Why, Why are you still all psyched up? That's nice. It's nice to see that at least one of you has some chutzpah around here. I have a feeling that you're going to live for a while. Thanks. Thanks, I'll do my best. Don't screw around. Shut the hell up. We're not going to have another killing game. I, Kaito, Kaito Momo, I'm not gonna let you have your way anymore. 
Got it. I'm gonna punch that grin right off your face for sure. Is that so? Oh, really? That seems unlikely. Too bad. I'm pretty sure you won't live long enough to do that. Damn. Well. Anyway, you guys have a lot to think about. <laughs> Work hard and do your best to graduate, because the fun's only just begun. Hey, hey Monodam, explain yourself. Mm. Get that mono kid was obnoxious and rude, but that was way over the line. Because I did it for us. Oh shit! Ah! Where are you going? It's getting interesting. Oh shit! Mono cubs, let's go! And with that, Monokuma and the cubs left, and only we remained in the courtroom. I don't think I can take this. I can't stand this anymore. I feel like I'm going crazy. No. Sugumi, you mustn't give up hope. Mm. Is there even hope to be had here? The room feels utterly drained of it. <sighs> mm. What kind of degenerate male cries in public? It's so rude. Um. Tenko, you're crying too. Sorry. Now's not the time to point that out, Kibo. Just let it be. Rare time. In times like this, we should pray for Kaede's soul so she can rest in peace. What? How's anyone supposed to rest in peace after getting killed like that? I don't know. What are we gonna do from now on? <sighs> yeah, I'd like to know too, but I'm so over this already. That's enough! Shut up! Shut up! All you just need to shut up! Kaito's voice boomed in the air and the room went Damn. silent. Every single one of you in your meek little complaints. Shut up. You're pissing me the hell off. But the one who's pissing me off the most Dumbass. is you, Shuichi. Oh, shit. Huh? Did he just sock me in the face? Oh, my God, he did. Clench your teeth. Kaito, you are supposed to say that before you hit him. Did you hear what Kaede said? She said she believed in you. That she passed her wish onto you. But what the hell's wrong with you? You didn't say a damn thing to Monokuma. You call yourself a man? Yikes. Damn it. What's the matter? Say something already. Dumbass. I just hit you. Aren't you pissed off? What's your problem? Enough, Kaito. Sucker punching is pretty low, even for a low-life degenerate male like you. Listen up. You better knock it off or I'm gonna explode my Neo Aikido all over your face! Are you okay? Shuichi, are you okay? Uh, okay, for now. Please, stop. This sort of altercation is just a waste of time. Mm. Gunta, not sure a waste of time, but Gunta agree. Fighting not good. Then... Can we leave now? Staying here will only make us more depressed. Well put, I agree wholeheartedly. Sorry. You all should go ahead without me. Um... Why? Is there a reason you wish to stay in a place like this? Uh, um... I just want to be alone for a while. Just for a little bit. But... We can't just leave you here by your... No. Sugu Sumugi... <laughs> Sugumi. Sumugi, perhaps it would be best if we allowed him some privacy for now. <sighs> okay, I suppose. Shuichi, don't beat yourself up, okay? Yeah. Yep, just hit the reset button on your feelings and you'll feel happy and cheerful in no time. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you got depression. Just hit that good old reset button, man. It works every oh, time. <sighs> Behind a tad insensitive is important. <laughs> Being a tad insensitive is important for survival. It helps one avoid suicidal thoughts. Hey. Gunta will go back too. Let Gunta know if you need his help, okay? One by one, everyone climbed aboard the elevator. Except... I mean... Shuichi, I don't know how well you knew Kaede, but why don't you try going to her ultimate lab? Huh? What do you mean? That's right. Monokuma set the room up, so there's probably not a lot there to remember her by. But there should at least be a bunch of little things that she liked. Uh, okay. Things Kaede liked? Listen up. Understand, there's only one way to get through this awful feeling. No one's gonna be able to console you if you're just sitting here alone. I mean... If anyone's gonna help you, it'll be her, in your memories. Aww. With those words, he stepped onto the elevator. 
before I realized it, I got to my feet. I just started walking and I was headed toward the Ultimate Pianist Research Lab. It's not as if there would be any memories here, but these are the things that she was really passionate about. And that's good enough for now. What a magnificent piano. I would have liked to hear her play it, if only just once. Ah, that reminds me, the song that Kaede was talking about. Of course, it must be here somewhere! I stood in front of the shelves of CDs and searched each one thoroughly, end to end. It should be here somewhere. Where is it? Oh. Here it is! This is it! I took the CD from the shelf and placed it in the player in the corner. Soon, a soft melody had filled the classroom. Oh yeah. My body relaxed, totally enveloped in the music. It was a strange feeling, that sound seeping into my body. Before long, I began to close my eyes. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. The hand-holding. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. It would have been... I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. Bitch, so why please, is it so sad? This game just started. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Yeah, I'll try. I don't know if I can do it, but... No, I'll do it. I have to believe in myself. I won't be afraid anymore. I will face the truth for everyone. I won't give up. For your sake, Kaede. I promise. From the bottom of my heart, I promise you, Kaede. Yep, that's our promise. I'm leaving everything up to you, Shuichi. Goodbye. Why is this so sad? Oh, I guess I should stop. Well, that fucking sucks. Oh, no. I don't want... <sighs> I'm done. I'm so sad. Okay, I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> Just kidding. Huh. Hi, I'm depressed. Uh, wow. That's a first trial. That was a first trial. Why the fuck? Dang, this is the first trial. The first trial! Why am I depressed after the first trial? I feel bad that I ever said ever anything bad about Shuichi's hat. I mean, it still looks like a dork. I hope he takes it off eventually, but I feel bad. <laughs> 